This is everything. He's Adam, and this is Adam vs. Everything. Well, hello there. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Cass, I don't know if you saw any of my messages. I, I saw you on another stream when we hosted, and I tried to post it there too, but uh, I'm going to do your giveaway like the beginning of stream because I, I, I lost track of time last night, and I was like, oh, God, it's 4.30. I need to go. So we'll do it uh, here in just a few minutes as people get in. All right, let me catch up in chat. Let's get started. Feeling good about tonight's run. Run 15 is the run. I mean, it's probably not, but I'm going to say it is. <clears throat> Ranks, no. You're wrong. Uh, Pilot Watch, welcome in. How's it going, Pilot Watch? No, not even if it's stuffed crust. You eat the pizza and then you dip the crust into like garlic butter or sauce. You see? You, you eat the pizza part and then you dip the crust. What's going, Ricks? Narth, welcome in. You're using the wrong dancing mode, Narth. Come on. Mine's way better. Mine's way better. It should be the one that becomes popular on Twitch. Uh, Luth, welcome in. How's it going, Luth? King Min, welcome back. This is not a bot. Welcoming you back. How's it going, Min? Ken, welcome in. Rex is getting beat up. Ken's dead. Lots of things are happening. Cass, welcome back. Thank you again for saving up 100,000 channel points. We'll do the giveaway in just a moment. Just a few minutes. How's it going, Cass? Hysteric, welcome back. How's it going, Hysteric? The Chef. Chef, thank you for the subscription. Um, I'll thank you again when I get back down to it in chat, but I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Sin, welcome in. Welcome in, Sin. 34 hours, thank you, Sin. 451 on Cass. It's kind of crazy that uh, we have over 200 people that are over 450 hours. Unreal. Rakes, 5300. Nesta, welcome in. How's it going, Nesta? Never heard of dipping crust before. What? Hang on. You've never heard of dipping crust? They literally sell, like, at all the pizza chains. They sell, like, marinara sauce and garlic butter and stuff. Dip your crust in. Crusty at first. Maybe not quite the same, though. The Chef. Thank you for continuing the gift sub from Energize. Thank you, Chef. Very much appreciated. Much love to Chef. It does help out a lot. Do a run like mine today. Day two got mauled by a cougar. Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> we had a run where we uh, died to a timber wolf on like day two. Uh, there's not, there's like nothing you can do about it. Sometimes, you know. Um, Pyro, how's it going, Pyro? They don't sell it here, Seth. What? Dip the whole pizza, slice the garlic butter. Yeah, that's the other, that's the other people. I don't mean it in a negative way. There, there are people that either, there are people that either dip their pizza into it. People that wait and dip their crust into it, or people that don't dip at all. And then apparently there are people like Rakes that didn't even know it existed. Does your plain crust as is? May I, I don't know. Probably not. Garlic crust, yeah, that's good. So on Rick, welcome in. Thank you, Rick. Hope you're having a good, good night. Choice style, butter crust. Mm. Mm, I just had dinner and I'm already eating hungry. What are you guys doing to me? All right, guys, I'm a little late, but we're going to do a giveaway first. And I usually don't do giveaways this early in the stream. But I'm going to do one before we get started because Cass has saved up 100,000 channel points. Been here forever. Thank you, Cass. Um, and she has used it to summon a giveaway. So we're going to do that. And because it's early in the stream and we only have like 20 or 30 people, you have a really good chance of winning compared to like late stream when there's 200 people. So uh, let me pull up the next game in the giveaway list. And... Uh, We'll get this uh get this started so uh let's see what is next what is next <laughs> um ooh, i've heard extremely good things about this game and it's on my to playlist for story monday it's been in the voting for story monday like five times and it's not one but it has gotten votes so, uh, from what I understand, this is a, an awesome game series, and this is one of, if not the best. This game is usually 20 bucks. It's a $20 Steam key. It's on sale right now, though, so if you don't win the game and you'd like to buy it, use this link. Help me out. Any new strats for this mode? Rushing, uh, trying to rush wealth to get ahead brains, but it hasn't worked so far. Vin, welcome in. The Tiny Mat playthrough, it's, it was so fun, Vin. Thank you for watching it. You complaining about a mom not aggroing? You got one shot? I know. It came out and one shot me. <laughs> I 
That was pretty awesome. That was my favorite part of one of the, uh, yesterday also. This is what we're giving away. We're giving away a copy of Yakuza Zero. You're only going to have one minute to enter. So if you're a follower, you can enter this. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber. As long as you have followed the channel, you can enter uh, for a chance to win this $20 Steam key. It's Yakuza Zero. When the bot says the giveaway is opened, you have one minute to either use the Adam versus RNG uh, emote, RNG emote for the channel, or type it out if you're not a subscriber. 80 AM VS RNG. Okay, it is open right now. You have one minute. One minute while I'm getting the game open and stuff. Um, use RNG emote if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, type it out. 80 AM VS RNG, Adam versus RNG, uh, for a chance to win this $20 Steam key. And uh, yeah, thanks. thank you again, Cass, for saving up all those points. All right. Get in there. Yes, yeah, so if you're a sub, use RNG emote. If not, uh, type like Vin did, and then it'll get you in. We don't care. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing the sub. Uh, that's weird. It doesn't add the sub to the sub goal if it's a continuation. I bet what it'll do is it'll add it, um, Chef, when you're like when the month ends from uh, Energize and the new one starts. That's what I bet will happen. For later. Doing Zionic. Uh, time's up. Time's up. The winner of Yakuza Zero Steam Key is... Vin. Vin, you've won. Uh, were you the only non-sub that entered? Congrats, Vin. See? You can win if you're not a sub. Told you. Uh, Vin Gareth. Let me get your name in. Let me get your name in. Vin. So, uh, what's going to happen is tomorrow, uh, well, sometime before my next stream, probably tomorrow, no later than Monday, I will whisper you on Twitch, the Steam key, and uh, just respond to my whisper so I know that you've gotten the whisper with the key, because sometimes Twitch is weird, and uh, I'll get, sometimes I get replies from people from, like, two years ago, and they're like, hey, thanks for the message, and I'm like, I sent that over two years ago, and they're like, what? I just got it. So, anyway, Vin, just let me know when you get the whisper so I can mark it off my list, and if I don't hear from you in a few days, I'll just whisper you again. All right, thank you, Cass. Hard run 15 is the run? Uh, absolutely, without a doubt. How's it going, feeling? Power dead, Twinny, welcome back. How's it going, Twinny? Uh, congrats, though, Vin. Brains, welcome in. Yeah, we're trying to rush wealth a little bit more. So uh, I like went and grabbed gold, which I would never do. Ice sheet, no, 15 is still alive. Ice sheets, I, we've, I've done ice sheet. It's not, it's not really fun. Like, once you've done it once, it's like, all right. I don't want to sit again. But we'll go back to random maps after we beat this challenge, for sure. Uh, Lex, welcome back. You summon Granny? Oh, I still have the screen, uh, the preview up, so I didn't see it. Okay, there's a quick Granny summon before we start. Cass, think we give sub to Vin. <laughs> hey, Cass. Uh, subless no more, Vin. Uh, Cass, thank you again. Very much appreciated. Um, so my wife and I, uh, co-authored a bunch of paranormal fantasy, non-romance, sort of not like paranormal romance, but paranormal fantasy. So think of like Twilight without as much sappy love stuff and less glitter, that sort of stuff. But it's been a while. Is it on surface? Welcome in. Lionsheart, welcome back. All right, let me find this, Rakes. Where is this granny summon? And then we can get started. I don't see it. Did you do it before the stream? All right, let me look on Twitch's side. Oh, you did it like right at the start of it, huh? All right. Rakes has used channel points to God. <clears throat> it's like my dear old granny used to say. Pizza should be eaten crust first. But she was old and senile, and now she's talking to us from hell via walkie-talkie. So what does she know? Thank you, Rakes. <laughs> All right, let's go. The recording has begun. Episode two of Run Fifteen. We don't. We haven't even got to the point where we name it yet because we don't have more than one person. Pizza should be eaten crust first. 
You're just gonna make me say that in every one of the voices. Thank you, Rakes. The author writes Simon Fantasy, New Adult Apocalypse stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, back before my wife started uh, not feeling well, not being able to write as much, she and I uh, put out, published over a million words one year. Uh, it was the way we ended up being able to buy our house and stuff like that. that it's been a long time, though. That was like 2012. And um, things have kind of, a lot of things have happened since then, so we haven't been able to do that anymore. Um, but, yeah. It's crazy. One year we put out more words than all the, the entire Harry Potter series combined. And uh, it was what allowed us to move here and buy this house. But it's not the case anymore. Things have really changed. But I won't get into that. Thank you. Dib, welcome back. Title screen, I'll see early. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a couple minutes late because we were doing a giveaway. Blame Cass, no thank Cass. That one. 15, what happened to the nice one? Uh, Mechs happened. Mechs happened to 13. <laughs> kind of stuff was missing for Twilight. Him in her kind of stuff. What? Am I misreading this? Uh, okay, are the thrombos gone? Because I need to open this if they are. I think they're gone. You finished that map? Uh, I have to take a look. Even if I look off stream. What? Do, I thought I held that open. Oh, I didn't even get all the way there. There we go. There we go. Can prepare for max sooner. I mean... There's only so much preparation we can do, and it depends on RNG. We're already behind compared to that run. Uh, on run 13, I had three working colonists by this day, so. Eight people in a castle? That's right. Let's see, Orbital. <laughs> Let's go Orbital. Stream, feel like a break? Yeah, I will, uh, I will think about it for sure. So it's day 13. We only have one person. Uh, Colony 13 had three working people and one person in a coma by now. So... This one might not be the run. We'll see. What happened to the recent one? Are you talking about the one that had built up quite a bit? The run 13 one? Uh, we had a bunch of centipedes. And uh, I didn't have any EMP grenades. Uh, we we probably would have been okay. But here's, here's the thing. For some reason, I forgot EMP grenades. I built the little cubbies for them. I researched it. I built the little cubbies for the throwers. I researched it. I built a shelf to hold the EMP. I set it to hold EMP grenades. And then I forgot to have them make the EMP grenades. And so the... And we didn't have any melee pawns to hold them instead. Um, so centipedes just kind of marched over us. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever have as... Uh, this is a, a pretty awesome seed we've got, though. A pretty lucky seed. We actually have the tree in our closed-in area. So that means we can actually get Psycasters leveled up. Did you have Psycast? We had one, and it was chunk, chunk Skip Div. <laughs> so, yeah. Not one that would help us. How does Raid scaling in this mode? So Raid just, they get harder over time. They constantly get harder. Every single event is harder than the last one, uh, regardless of your wealth. So what I'm trying to do is rush wealth, trying to mine any gold, silver, jade... Etc. that we see early, plant drugs and stuff. And if we die early trying to do that, oh well, we get to start anew. But if we don't and we get enough wealth to buy some uh, new colonists and buy some weapons and stuff, maybe we can get ahead of the curve. That's our current plan. Yeah, this one hopefully we'll uh, end up having. We already have some... Um, we're already starting on Anima Grass since this is closer this time. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get some Psycasters up. But I mean, if Randy gives us another person... We only have one. Skip over EMP. But not chunk skip over EMP. Right? <laughs> yeah, chunk skip wouldn't have done... It does no good during, like, combat scenario. The only time I've ever used chunk skip in a combat scenario was to pull chunks away from people that were using it for cover. But that's, like, very unlikely. Chunk skip blows chunks. You need a sniper with a skip ability is fantastic. Yeah, hopefully we get a better roll when we get uh, at this time. Uh, so we are going to work on getting electricity and just keep putting more rows of traps up. 
until we get some more people. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Keep ourselves fed. That's pretty much it. Uh, how far away is 25 from like here? Okay. So eventually we'll do uh, one more row that kind of comes out here. Very long term. Melee rush them, drop them in the water. Need to move to a new position. Boop. They're there. Yeah. So if we had had like two melee pawns or EMPs, I think, or obviously good side casts, I think we could have handled the eight centipedes. I mean, it wasn't just eight centipedes either, though. There was also like, you know, 11 lancers and six scythers and four um, uh, pikemen, but centipedes are really all that. They're the ones that suck. The other ones just kind of eat up traps. Let's get infernos and a melee to keep them from firing. Rotate blaster so they never get to fire. Let's go in super glue. Astro, welcome in. Thank you for being here, Astro. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, we did get stone up pretty early in this one at least, so we have that going for us. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to research and make a bunch of traps. We're the best. Uh, Espo, thank you for the follow. This has been a way harder than 500% wealth mode, like the normal mode. Uh, and I was not expecting how much harder it would be. Because I guess I know how to pace myself and pace the game in... Um, you control the pace in normal mode, in normal wealth mode. You control the pace of threats as far as, like, the difficulty. Because it's based on your wealth, predominantly. In this, the game provides the pace, and it's up to you to get ahead of it, which has been nearly impossible in this mode. We've only got ahead of it twice, and we're on our 15th attempt. Like, we, it's day 15, we have one person. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna be screwed. In normal wealth mode, this would be fine, Naked Brutality. I'd sit here for three years, just researching and staying on this wealth, and no raids would get past this. <laughs> but it is not the case in this. Is not the case. All right. Um, yeah, this will be fine. I don't even think we really need to close it in super soon. How's it going, Snapshot? Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. So, how's your new laptop treating you, Super Glue, now that you've had it for a little while? Which one? Are you talking about the the big good one, the Run 13, where we had a big base going? We got uh, overran by sand, uh, centipedes, basically. Basically. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we got the research batteries. We need to grab some components. Don't we have a few nearby? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing here? We're doing fine. Just fine. Grab this. Um, also start grabbing some of the steel. I'm just gonna go ahead and mine all four of these. And then tomorrow we'll mine the steel. We'll get our power up. And then once power's up and uh, uh, a stove, we'll work on the next layer of traps. Uh, how are we doing on food? We got four meals. That should be fine. We got enough rice for like 13 more meals. So we're good. Lino, welcome back. Let's go, Lino. Thank you for being here. Eat, eat, eat. All right, let's go. 
mine some steel. Power. So two batteries should last us for quite a long while, actually. Uh, we'll run this power conduit up to here. And we'll let him mine steel today. For a little bit. Are you the game? No. Goodbye forever. Bye, Tet. Nice knowing you. We're glad you research first. What kind did you end up getting? Max size wealth raids look like. Progression mode, such a cool idea though. You want to streamline growth efficiently. Yeah, and the I think the main thing is the naked brutality is what hurts you getting ahead on this mode. Because if you're if you are doing crash landed or tribal, obviously you have three or five people to um to really explode wealth, right? But with one, it's really hard to explode wealth and you get overran early on. We've had um, one of them where we got uh, three raids within like the first five days or something, you know, it's just, it's crazy sometimes. Asus Zenbook 13. Name a pet, Tet. Pet Tet. Pet Tet. What's our work at? Construction's still at a three, so I'm actually all right with this. All right with this. Stuff. Tier three. <laughs> Stuff. Thank you for the sub, man. Tier three is crazy. Three years. Don't let Lunar say it's only a year. That's three years. Three years, man. God, three years ago, I got my affiliate set up playing Grim Dawn. And there was about seven regulars back then. Stuff was one of the first. Thank you, Stuff. It's a long time, man. I definitely... I, I definitely didn't think you would still be here at this point. I'm glad you are. Uh, I wasn't even sure I'd be here at this point. That's almost one whole year. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Thank you, man. My chief died. So what are you up to tonight? Are you VRing? You have the DMs to prove it. Yeah, yeah. Totally sure. Were you made partner? Yeah, yeah, you were. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Shaveri? I don't know if I'm getting your name right, but let me know if you have any questions about RimWorld um, or those guides or anything like that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for checking out the guides. Your mining Skyrim. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that you said um, all the mods are compatible with VR. So. I got it right. It's pretty amazing. I don't get a lot of names right, honestly. All right. Uh, we are going to put down our electric stove. Um, and that's really all we're going to worry about. I might even, maybe I do nutrient paste this early. Stop us from having to cook. He's sanguine. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Especially because we're only on one person, um, being able to only worry about, uh, or not have to worry about cooking, will free us up to get some more wealth explosion and research stuff. Chance got interested in RimWorld again. Thanks to stream. That's awesome. Yeah. Always wonder how people find the stream. So, harvest that bottom row of rice because it's no longer in the zone or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it's kind of there as a, almost like a backup now. I should probably go ahead with some of it. Some of it got burned a little. Uh, I mean, it lasts for 40 days anyway, so I should probably do it. Should probably do it. So we need a few more components. Um, do we have any others that are close by? Components. We have lots of steel nearby. 
lots of steel. Components. Hello? This could be an issue. There's some jade down there. There's some over here, but there's some down here as well. Tomorrow we go get these components. Try to create with a random plus? No, no, this is the same one we have saved. I haven't, um, um, I added it, or I didn't add it to my game, but I saved the, um, the page for it, so. But I am going to check it out sometime. VR friendly holster gestures, swapping skills, spells, looting with drink and drop. Did directional audio. Now you're looking at some visual texture mods to make it pretty. Was there uh, components in the hole up top? Or steel up there. Did I miss some? Steel. 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 <laughs> There's all kinds of friggin' steel. I don't see any components. Steel. Shadows. Oh, yeah. No worries. Worth double checking. More death simulator. This time with extra drugs. Yeah. But Randy's not being nice. It's day 17. We have one person. So. Uh, if we lose. I'm going to try the seed again, though. If we can get. If we can use this seed, which we found at random, by the way. If we get use the seed again and we actually get an early colonist. What day 17? 17. It's kind of ridiculous that we don't have another colonist yet. Combat supplier. We have gold, so we can buy a weapon. Let's go on, Cindy. Welcome in. Can you make a colony live on drugs? Um, I mean, kinda. I, if you have enough traders, you can trade drugs for food, I guess, you know? Kill animals and stuff, but. Uh. So wait until these guys get to us, then we'll trade with them, and then we'll go get those components. The sweet flake. Refine. Quality 2. Use distance by blurring things far away. Sharpen things in the distance. Maybe a bit complicated for you. <laughs> I know. How's it going, Splash Woman? Randy. Kind of hoping for a slaver, honestly. The true Colombian life. Lived like this for years. We've got flake out for animals to eat. Their hearts explode. Easy food. <laughs> I don't really have anything that I want. I don't have any of the we the range weapons I want, so I'm going to save our money. Hey, hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Thank you for the bits. Never gets old. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, we need another colonist, man. There goes a colony. Pretty well, considering that we're on one person on time mode for 18 days. I really think if we don't get a call, if we lose this because we don't get colonists, I'm going to try the seat again. Drug said he had a husky drink himself. Yeah, yeah. So there is a mod to get rid of the nutrition in drugs. But there are some drugs that have just a little bit of nutrition in them. So if there's nothing else for animals to eat, they'll eat it. The first time I found that out, I suddenly had a notification that my um, my chicken had liver failure or something like that. And I went and looked and it was blackout drunk uh, with liver failure for drinking all of the beer. <laughs> so I think that's how most people find out that they can do that. Yeah, we don't have enough for the Zeus hammer. Nowhere near. We have like 900 naked travel dude wielding a Zeus hammer. Oh, I can think about it, but we can't get it. That would be pretty epic, though. Chemical damage to the brain or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, but it, that's that's how I found... I think most people find out is, like, suddenly the animal... Uh, falls down or dies from, from consuming all the drugs. Nutrition. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, so we need the steel. You know what? We can get enough steel today before we go to sleep. Vera's cat traps during the one patch where they were over spawning. <laughs> the traders are leaving. go time to live on some good old nutrient paste good old nutrient paste <sighs> well i can't see your chickens i know quest available crap I didn't turn these off Shuttle damage, tries people attack. Shuttle contains two people after eight hours, rescue them. I might do it in like, sometimes they can just survive on their own, but even so they might down some tribes people that I can imprison. So I might do this. I might build a little prison room really quick. Like just throw one here so I can throw people in. Uh, until we decide whether we really want them or not. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh. Yeah, I don't remember the wildcats. I, well, I mean, I remember you could have events where, um, like, manhunting cats or... Maybe migratory cats? I don't know. You can see the big colony white mixie. Yeah, it was uh, centipedes, basically. All right, I'm going to accept this quest. We can even accept it to get the uh, yeoman title and go ahead and get a psy cast. Might as well. Let's go on Hytella. Good luck, guys. I'm not helping you. I know I'm supposed to, but... Good luck. I mainly have you here so you can down some of the tribals and I can imprison them. That's it. <laughs> and maybe get, uh, well, they're bio-coated guns, but maybe get some of your armor, even if I have to wear tainted. Well, it w it, they probably have an acidifier, right? So, yeah, I would have to get it. I'd have to strip it off of them, but before they die. But I'm all right with that, you know. All right, we got power. Uh, we got nutrient paste. Growing drugs, and I guess we just work on research. Research. Uh, let's go ahead and get Devil Strand early, and I'm going to plant it all up through here. Let's do clips. Thank you, Polywash. Yeah. They're not on the last run thing anymore, right? Because it wasn't the last run. Maybe I should make a... Maybe every time I should make a new last run command and make the old one be exclamation and the number of the run or something. I don't know. Yeah, we can deconstruct the shuttle, which would be nice. Yeah, if we get Burden, that would be really nice. Stun would be all right. What are some more of the Tier 1 ones? Because they, they added some more. Burden, I think, is my favorite one um, out of the Tier 1. Chunk Skip's probably what we'll get. Uh, burden, Stun, Chunk Skip. I feel like I'm missing one or two of the Tier 1 ones. I can't remember. Chunk Skip, yeah. That's what we got last time. Chunk skip. All right. Oh, they are screwed. These guys are just going to get wrecked. All right, so we can go ahead and look at them. Actually, we can come down and get some shooting experience, you know? <laughs> uh, Very neurotic, pyromaniac, psychically sensitive. 
I would still basically take you. Gormond, oh, why are you guys so bad? Why are you so bad? You can fight though. Pain block, pain block is scary sometimes. Okay, Termite is down. Yoink. Here to lurk in VR. Sounds good to me. Thank you, Irish. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> I saved them. How did you even take damage? Just got a cut. Okay. So the tier ones are burden, stun. Chunk skip, pain block, solar pinhole. Solar pinhole creates a five day torch. That's the one I keep uh, I keep forgetting about. Baylin mentioned it as well, but I forgot about that one entirely. Parts arrive tomorrow. Have PC back up on Monday. Don't want to miss stream, so. Yeah, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to set the defaults as well. Don't you use any herbal medicine. All right, let's go ahead and set the defaults for everyone on no medicine at all. None at all. Uh, this person would be really hard to recruit, so. Yeah, we didn't really get anyone from this. We might take their organs for more wealth. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, how long until this one dies? We, we can steal their wealth or uh, their organs for wealth too. Two hours. We won't get them back here in time. Uh, we got Freeholder, not Yeoman, so a little bit short of that. But we get to destroy this at least. And we can grab this pemmican. War Crimes of the Rim, yep. A little answer shot in the face. That was so good. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> uh, that was one of my favorite ones uh, of these runs so far. Crawling it helps you. Yeah. Yeah. Need five more honor for Yeoman. Do -do 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 Yeoman. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell him not to get that pemkin right now. Because we got some other more important things. Where did you load a previous one? Um, this is the same run from the end of last stream, yeah. So, we're 19 days in. Let's go on, Katie. We have not gotten a single new colonist, which is just painful on this mode. Called, I'm a hussy wow. Ship to the stars. Man, Colony 13 had four people right now. At least four people working. The bugs inside the Ancient Danger. That's, a, that's, a, that's another good one. Oh, man. The bugs inside the Ancient Danger and then enraging every animal on the map and then just hiding in the hut while swarm of everything circled around the, the cabin and then coming out and dying. That one is a pretty good one. The one where the mech came out and one shot me. It's a pretty good one. The one where the raiders came and we killed all, but the last one we needed to kill, and that one headshot me with a shotgun, insta-kill. <laughs> Those are all pretty good runs. I just need another colonist, Randy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Wild woman. I don't have enough skill to tame you, Toga. Ugly but kind. 
Oh, uh, melee, crafter, construction. If we get someone with a seven in animal taming, Toga. Yeah, the one-shot Lancer was funny. How's it going, Shawyer? Welcome back. Shotgun to the brain. That wasn't even the first time they headshot me with a shotgun either. In that same run, I got headshot with a shotgun and lost my ear. And the very next attack, headshot insta dead. Calling it 13. Yeah, calling it 13. I don't know if we'll ever get that lucky again. Seriously, that was like the best RNG I've ever had with Randy. Really insane. Skill on pets is very low on him. I think it's like, yeah, a one. A one. Twenty double flame she go a long way. Did you name the character that Mixie? I'm guessing. Husband has a misogynist trait. Uh, nomadic, nomadic. Thank you for the follow, nomadic. Welcome in. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I never thought of it that way. Matt Tile. Raiders shot me in the face. You didn't name them that. <laughs> Pretty good. <sighs> it's so crazy. Colony 13 at this point, we had research. We had like people dedicated to research. Uh, it was almost at the point where we had the siege and got uh, SMGs. Just to put it in like perspective how far behind we are in this one. It's really silly. Uh, name it in run 15 run 15 all right so they're a really hard one to recruit mad squirrel uh, whatever take out one of the traps we'll rebuild it in a second i guess maybe you'll attack toga i don't know we'll see uh, so anyway, we're just going to steal their organs and hopefully sell those organs for weapons or something. Might win the run, that's true. Randy giveth and Randy taketh away, but sometimes it feels like he does a lot more take a thing than give a thing. Do you have a speed mod? Um, we have 4x. So the no pause mod I use makes it so the game pauses or can't pause ever. Not during trade requests, not during anything. It can't pause. And it replaces the pause with a uh, x4 speed. So that's what's giving us that one extra. If you you can have X4 without um, a mod by turning on developer developer mode, but yeah, we do have X4 cargo pods. Well, that's some good cargo pods. Someday we'll use that steel. But I want people. <laughs> so you're swapping from Intel to Ryzen with new processor. Always use Intel for everything. It's not quite sure how Ryzen BIOS work. Any helpful advice where you brick new equipment? Uh, I have a Ryzen in my streaming PC and a Intel in my gaming PC. And it was, I mean, it was pretty self-explanatory. If you know uh, typical motherboard BIOS, you should be fine. Should be fine. It wasn't any, I, I didn't run into anything that I, that surprised me or confused me or anything, Irish. So I think you'll be fine as long as you're familiar with the BIOS in general. Just want to update them. Just update them. Should be fine. Uh, I mean, I don't know how familiar you are with it, but if you're already familiar with BIOS in general, with uh, motherboards that support Intel, you should be fine with the Ryzen motherboards. AMD. So many pet names. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Pouncer, <laughs> Vixen. <laughs> Asked, uh, never try continuous play without pause. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I, that's just how I like to play it. it makes it harder, and uh, I kind of like it uh, for stream-wise as well, because everyone has their own preference, obviously. I don't care how people play, you know, play however you like. And, uh, but a lot of times when I go to a stream and the person is paused, like every, like pausing for five to ten minutes every minute, I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> um, depends on the stream, obviously, but... 
excessive pause is a smart thing to do and it makes the game much easier but it's not a fun thing for me to watch usually yeah i think it'll be fine irish because you is so bad the same level as pretty or beautiful fritz is a lesser he has the interested with maya bass and morand both clients are married to one another despite being in a relationship still acts like he's single so he hits on bass to She's married. He's with a different woman. <laughs> okay, any other word? Bootless thing? Yeah, yeah. You fall asleep to the music too much? I can see that, yeah. A 3x only run? Oh my god. No way. Fritz gets rebuffed. Must Fritz both get moody buffs? Fritz succeeds. Have a huge debuff either way social strife abounds yeah yeah so it's it's yeah it's on that same kind of list as beautiful then all right termite it's almost time to take your organs slap in the heat you don't have to worry about that for much longer you're not gonna have to worry about that much longer at all so they have a 99 percent recruitment difficulty so it'd be very difficult to recruit them. Also don't want to be tending to them and feeding them all the time. So, um, yeah, soon we'll be taking their organs. Soon your organs will be mine. Uh, all right, we need to cut some more stone and make the other I cannot believe, man, we're on day 21 and we only have one person on this time mode. Money locked away inside their bodies. That's right, Axum. Cozy Mountain Base, uh, we got overran by centipedes, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I miss Run 13. Run 13 was the run until it wasn't. How's it going, obviously? Welcome back. Is that you use to be able to pair down where you will start a new colony? Uh, that one is prepare landing. Prepare landing. If you want. So what prepare landing does is it searches the map for a tile or tiles with the parameters that you put in. So it doesn't create one. Um, but yeah, you can use that to search a, a world seed for a kind of map. So it can be it can be really good if you're looking for just a certain biome with like certain rocks or whatever. Uh, but it's prepare landing. Capture ponds in a rage. Only had the option to arrest them. Had to reobtain them. So if you arrest one of your own colonists, Luth, you can just release them and they'll auto rejoin. Uh, they'll be unhappy because they got arrested, so they'll have a mood debuff for a little while. But if you just release them instead of having to like actually recruit them again, they'll just auto rejoin. It's power of the mace. I know we didn't have any. Uh, we didn't have any melee ponds. Fritz one of the original colonists. Success he's had. Have you ever beaten this mode? I've not beaten 500% no pause time mode, no. We've beaten normal wealth mode. Hardest difficulty, no pause, but I've never beaten the time challenge, which is why I'm still doing it. Repair landing is not current, but it still works. Oh yeah, no problem, obviously. You there. Why don't you travel across now to face twice your number in bandits? Or never see the land light again again, yeah. Trying to shoot down any centipedes? Yeah, unless you have EMPs or melee. That's true, they don't get the catharsis and they get a mood debuff for being arrested. Yeah. Really discouraging from playing. Yeah, he's just not giving us anyone. It's day 21. We had four colonists on run 13. If we get word of trust, that would reduce the resistance by 20. Yeah, that's true. Hey, look, Anima Grass. That's the newest one. Yes, a raid. How many of you are there? Oh, we can down all these. All right. Please, please let there be some good people to recruit. Uh, Don't be tough. Don't be tough. You're not tough. Oh, the very one, the very front one is tough and a nimble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
How many traps we got? Uh, we don't have any extra wood or anything. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. We're good if we can down him. Tough and nimble versus a trap row, I know. <laughs> oh. Tough jogger, hard worker. We gotta get her. This is that nimble jerk. Look at him. Oh no. Oh no. We need that one to down so this guy will leave. I need you to come through the traps. That's the nimble one, man. Get over here. Crap. Just need to survive until that other one gets downed. I mean, we can remake that, so. I don't know why he's beating on that wall. It's open all the way. We need to lure him to the trap. Got my finger ripped off. Screw it. Let's go try to lure this guy. Because this one will leave if we can get this one to hit the traps. He's gonna blow himself up on the battery. Yeah, they're leaving. How long until you're dead, ape? We gotta capture you for sure. You're dead. Uh, you're dead. We might can capture you as well. That one's also fine. It's 53. Ape's the one that we really want. Which one is this one? We could go out and try to hit him. He's the nimble one, huh? 27. That would be a good one to get to, but... Let's grab what we can. Gotta make sure we replace that door. We're stripping. We'll probably strip one if after we stabilize this, just so we won't be naked. They're tribal, so they're not. It's not like they're wearing great stuff. But uh, we'll probably actually just strip ape. What's termite wearing actually? Poor. 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 Yeah, we can just strip termite over here and put that on, so that we're not naked anymore. They have a bad back. All right, so we saved the one that's worth um, keeping. We need to close that back. Respects. Uh, hey, y'all. Uh, welcome back, awesome. They were coming back. Yeah, it's my favorite way to play. Are you losing limbs? It doesn't look like it. They're pretty beat up, though, so... We might still lose them. We're barely staying ahead of this. Uh, they might also get an infection, so... Once we get them... Uh, stabilized, we can switch to herbal and feel safe going and getting the herbal. So, like, now we can switch ape to herbal. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like, no, I'm going to bed. She can die. We gotta tend to ourselves too. Okay. You lost a finger, which really sucks.
So Randy can attack again within a half day. And we have uh, seven traps and no door in the back. So we need to get the door back up. Work on getting the traps back before we do anything else. Um, we only have enough steel to really make it. So let's go ahead and chop down these. Let's go instead. Do it all right. I lost a finger, yeah. I don't think Ape did though, right? No. I lost a finger though. All right. Let's cut this down and get that door back up. Yeah, we're gonna need power before the batteries run completely out. But the main thing is we gotta get that door sealed. Awesome. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Is that what you go by? By the way, let me know. But thank you for the follow. How long do the batteries last? They'll last quite a while because they're not really powering that much. Just a couple of lights and the, the nutrient paste. But definitely want to get this back up. The next thing is we need to get the traps back up. Uh, we're also going to take one of Termite's organs. Uh, we don't want to be wasting food on them. Uh, they, they're in 99% difficulty, and they're not a good pawn in general. I mean, they're good at fighting. That's it. So we're going to take some organs. Uh, we're going to start off by harvesting a kidney. Uh, fly, thank you for the follow fly. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Awesome. Or is it Thetis? Thetis? Lost a finger, man. That kind of sucks. It's going to impact our manipulation for a little while. Could be worse, though. Could be much worse. Let's go ahead and clear all. Hit critical and put uh, human corpses in there just for now. So we can burn them or feed them to animals. Yeah, I'm going to take a kidney, a lung, and then uh, probably heart. Serious, named Twitch. Is awesome. Gotcha. How's it going, Gringo? Welcome in. Yeah, but it's, it's just not really feasible for us to recruit them because they they have 99% difficulty. So uh, without a recruitment inspiration, we're basically... Oh, that one's also 99%. Man. But if I'm going to try it, I'd rather try it on Ape. Yeah, Pyromaniac. Tribals, yeah, they're pretty commonly high resistance language barriers. So I don't know why that one guy started breaking through. That was really weird. If he hadn't done that, we would have taken no damage. But, but he did. Alright. Operation. Mad hair. It's fine. And... Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right. Dump a meal in there. Um, now I want to repair this. Good. We still have no other colonists. I mean, that's, that's the thing that's killing us right now. We just don't have enough people. One person on day 23 on time mode just can't doesn't cut it we're behind language is more developed so. <laughs> poor improvement the room went down for the resistance you can get it to lower a little bit yeah but um the amount of resistance that reduces also depends on their mood this one we're gonna let go either way we're just taking their organs and then hopefully we uh this, this won't be a barracks anymore and Put a floor in there if we get to it. Hopefully that'll make Ape a little bit happier. But Operation Mad Hair. It sounds like an A team. Opera.
Got the lung too. Nice. We're gonna be a little unhappy about it. It's all right, we're sanguine. We'll go over it. Fascinations drop, you steal an organ. Yeah, if it's not already down at the maximum. Yeah. Oh, they died for some reason. Oh no. I'm just eaten up inside. Exotic goods. Can we get a join event, please? Please? P -p -p please? I might lead some animals into them and maybe they get down and we heal them and they join, but more crime that comes together. Condolences, thoughts and prayers, etc. Yeah, I get these trees out of here too. Story stomach. No doctor. Isn't that a vital organ? They so in um in 1.1 they change it so stomachs are no longer a vital organ. So you, someone can live without their stomach in, in Rimworld. They just have to eat a lot more. Exotic goods does buy organs, yeah. Yeah, they do. All right, come on in. Come on in. War crimes in your playthroughs? Oh, I gotta do it, man. We need uh, we need wealth big time. Sell them. Uh, some more. Well, you know what? Almost everyone buys gold, right? So we need to sell organs while they're here. Uh, word of love. Chunk skip. Argotech arm. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's get all of their. Let's get all their money. Okay. And then is there something I can lead into them? We can maybe aggro that. Sport of love. Um, doesn't it, does it increase, like, the social, um, uh, what's it called? I think it increases, like, the social stat, their opinion of someone, doesn't it? Um, I, yeah, they don't have any money left, so I can't sell the flask, you know. Makes pawns date, yeah. So it increases their opinion, and they can become, hey, a raid! Yeah! They're not, they're not tribal. Are you guys attacking immediately? I really hope you are. The terrorist. No, they're not. Um, so there's a chance these guys leave before those attack. So we need to get traps up. Increases it by like 40. Let's go on Zed. Welcome in. Phoenix, welcome back. Or pesky, pesky. For real terms, what happened to the last colony? You're talking about which one? The big one, number 13, or you're talking about 14 where I got one shot by a Lancer? They lived happily ever after. How's it going, Lantern? Oh, I'm afraid these guys are gonna. Mad hairs? Come on, Randy. Come on, man. Uh, Maybe I should build a wall here really quick. I think I should. Uh, let's go ahead and move this. We need to block these guys from going out that way. Come on. Because if we can block them going that way, there's no other way for them to leave th than through down here. Oh, the hairs are taking these guys. <laughs> it's a waiting raid. Yeah, it is. It is. Clog that. All right. 
Oh, one of them got down by the rabbits. Dead in five hours. We can't get to him anyway. I think it was a tragedy. Yeah. I think we might have had it too. Okay, here they come. We gotta get ready to scoop people up. It won't reunite a recently divorced couple though. I didn't think about that. That would be nice if it did. All right. He's dead. He's dead. Can you guys not kill them all? That'd be fantastic. Staggerly ugly. Oh, I normally wouldn't take you. But I'm gonna. What day? We're on day 24. We're only one person. One that brain shot you. Same pond from the clip. Is it really? <laughs> this is the one that one shot me with a shotgun to the head that time. going solar welcome back it's the exact same pond that's pretty cool <laughs> now she might join us uh all right we gotta get these traps back up so randy can hit us again within a half a day while around a caravan sim style they'll break out of it yeah they'll break through it going trees she just sees I have a beautiful brain. And she did. She crafted a legendary shawty, the story depicted old pawn getting brain <laughs> he's going lo-fi welcome back thank you for coming back randy's metagaming what's my let's change your band you can do that without a mod you just hold down shift just hold down shift you can set up um pathing that way too so if someone's drafted you can hold shift and right click and you can make them go around so yeah just hold shift visitors why aren't you joiners? Might have something that we want to buy, though. It's really powerful. Always learn the game, yeah. 600 hours and you never knew about the shift click? Yeah. That seed is not this one. I haven't updated this yet. Sorry about that. Brains, welcome back. Brains the one responsible for this no pause mod that I live off of. Thank you, Brains. Yeah, if you hold shift and right click on jobs, you can queue jobs. If you hold shift and right click on the environment, you can, uh, while drafted, it'll queue movement. Uh, they don't do it anymore, I don't think. Unless they re-added it, uh, Louise, but I think they got rid of that at some point. Yeah, yeah, use it for uh, culling blights, for sure. Is you empires? Yeah, that's what I know it from, is RTSs as well. It's back? I gotta check that. 
Because it was down for a while. They're selling them again. Why is this friggin' pin? Oh my god. I just replaced my pin with this new one. It's dead too. Apparently all my pins are dead. I'll try to remember though. Um, So we can get their money. Trying to dark dungeon room over run? Like um was it modded or your own uh your own setup? Eclipse all the time, kinda of screwed you. Yeah, thank you, Lise. I they got rid of that for a little while. I had no idea it was back up. I'm gonna have to check it out. Wonder how much it is USD. Toga. Uh, we can actually heal them. There's a chance that they will join. Because they are a wild animal. They are a wild animal. Weren't they pretty decent? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. So we'll save them. And hopefully they will auto-join. I think it's a pretty low percent though. If I remember right, it's like 2% or something. Ridiculous. The deserter, not accepting that right now. 26 days, one pawn. We had our base like set up on run 13 by now. Unreal. All right, let's get these traps up. Randy, give me a pawn. Start from a mod. Totally medieval eclipse all the time. Pawn only come from drifters. That does sound pretty cool. I know. We had so much done within a year on that run. I think this is a better map, but we just can't... Anything. I might accept these pirates to get another... Prisoner. I mean, if we can get one of those to join within those days, I'm going to leave this up... Uh, 8 being at 99%, it's going to be really difficult to, to get her to join. Ginny, though, we can get to join a few days. Chunk skip. No pawns, only rocks. Gift us a pawn, Randy. <laughs> Just have someone auto join. I almost don't even care what they what they are. Here comes the Gorman Pyromaniac. Paralytic phase. Yeah, I mean, if we had one of those early games, they would almost be out of it by now. Depending. Just ask Randy nicely. Please, Randy. Please, sir. May I have a pawn? Maybe Toga will auto join. Send me a slaver something. A quest for a pawn. I just need more people. You look it up? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that for sure. Sub undefined with that one? Oh, yeah, it was because um, they continued a gift sub, and apparently it, it didn't know what to think about that, so it was like... I don't know. I don't know what that means. Undefined. Yeah, we're feeding them raw food, which is not good. For game in the DLC. Back. New pawn in it, gotcha. Refugee quest? We've gotten a few, yeah. I would accept a refugee quest right now, for sure. I've turned down some, depending on how many refugees it is and how far along we are, but... Yeah, we've had it a couple times. Uh, it seems like both the times I accepted it during this one, during this challenge, I ended up having just them go kill themselves because they were so bad but uh i might not do that now regardless it's madness no this is rim world 
Oh, shaman merchant. Can these be other events? Please. I'll just do a few mods here at 30. And a game upgrade DLC? That's pretty cool, yeah. I'll have to check that out. The light and simple list on Reddit's over 100. Uh, well, the wild person has decided to leave, unfortunately. So they didn't auto join. Pond randomized one. Uh, it's selected from a really long time ago. We just saved him. We just saved him. What we did a really long time ago, probably over a year ago, is that we used prepare carefully to roll pawns until they got to 2200-ish points. And then we locked that point number and then we redistributed everything while staying in that feasible number that you can roll. And then we saved him and I just used him for naked brutality. But I might start rolling random after this challenge again. Viking, thank you for the follow. Viking, welcome in. Uh, that's bad. We probably should just release Ape. Unless we get a... Man, hard worker, jogger, tough. I can't let them go. Even on the chance that we get the 2.4% recruitment or a recruitment um, uh, inspiration. I got to keep someone like that, you know. They're just so good. Good DLC? Yeah, I'll check it out. I thought they had got rid of that. I know they did for a little while. I thought they had for a little while. Um, we don't have anyone to take care of the donkeys, or I would be tempted to buy one. We need a weapon trader or a slaver. One person? Yeah, still one person. We're almost halfway through a year. At this point, run 13, we had like five or six people. So 30 minutes an hour and really preparing your full group of pawns. Yeah, yeah, right. Reduce resistance re lowers the resistance, but the only difference between that and recruit is that uh, once they get to zero resistance remaining, this won't auto recruit them. This is basically for if you're not sure if you're going to keep them or not, or if you don't want them to try to recruit them for whatever reason at the end, but yeah. What I'm worried about though is there's going to be, they're going to, not only are they eating a ton of food, but they're... Uh, if there's any kind of event where the prisoners get out, we have two. Do you have to restart the main pond and dies? No. No. No, we're not doing the Warren thing at the moment. His is completely... I don't know if you know Warren, but he's doing a, a custom challenge, kind of like that. But he's on just normal losing his fun. He's not on 500% or on um, time mode. So we're doing a kind of different thing. So are you referencing? That's what I figured, yeah. So his is, is a, a lot different from ours, yeah. His has his own challenges. But also, it'd be nice if I start off with that charge rifle. I start off naked. <laughs> I start naked. All right, we got to get some more of these traps up. Basically, all we can do now is uh, make traps and food until we have people join. That's what we're going to be doing. Transfer pod. I don't know who you are, where you are. I'm coming. Oh, God, you're so far away. Oh, you look old. Oh, you're 66. <laughs> you know what? You can do something, though. Three hours. All right, let's go. Um, sleeping spot. Don't have anywhere else we'll throw them, right? No. Were you a space refugee? I hope so. Oh, they're part of the Empire. Oh, much prejudice. Uh, I 
Philippus, you've made me sad. You have made me sad. Just to make them fight visiting traders? Yeah, I've done that before, yeah. It just depends, though. Little shift clicking. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't mind it. Thank you, though, brains. I might use it sometime. I like having control over it, though. I might use that sometime. If we don't get, uh, if we get screwed just from not getting enough pawns, I'll do the seed over, but it's not looking very hopeful. How much is this food dispenser? Minus four. Minus four. Uh, Philippus, you've got an infection. Well, it's in your neck. We can't decapitate. Well, I mean, we can decapitate you. Uh, no, we can't. Just cut off the head. That's where the infection is. Pretty manageable. Yeah, yeah, and it's really good too. It's very efficient. Uh, especially since we only have one person, this allows them to not have to uh, cook, you know? Let's go ahead and bring this in. The wild person isn't eating any of it. Now we have all these friggin' mouths to feed. We're not getting this set up. Wood. Uh, no food poisoning. Yeah, so you, you can't get food poisoning for nutrient paste. Um, it doesn't take much work time because all you gotta do is put it in the hopper. You have to cook it and uh, it converts the nutrients, the calories or whatever um, in a pretty efficient way as well. Uh, the only bad thing is if you lose power, you lose it. So you can have some extra meals in reserve if you need to and have them out, you know, uh, set to not be able to to access them either through their uh, assignment or just by disallowing it. Uh, you can even have them keep taking nutrient paste out and just draft and undraft them. So they just keep taking new ones out and then you can set, set those aside. So they're, if you're using nutrient paste, you need to keep in mind that uh, power goes, your food goes is the only thing. And the minus four. But it can be really good, uh, especially when you have a low number of colonists. That way you don't have someone just... Oh, uh, Toga. So there's a chance she joins, though. Just eating up our food. Oh, that's free medical experience. Yeah. God. Halfway through a year. We had a kill tunnel. Like an actual kill tunnel set up by now. We had like six pawns that were working and two in a coma by this part of run 13. We are so far behind. Is the bed and breakfast? When does it become a colony? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, we just keep getting these visitor events and stuff. Please, Randy, send me a slaver, an auto join event, something. Like, we could literally get uh, sieged right now. We could. Who could decide to leave again? Could get mechs. Just arrest the traitors. Ugh. Tempting.
the trainer is what kill me at the moment. Let's see what they have. So, I guess I need to start working on another row of traps in the meantime. I mean, if we get Siege, we just lose. Nothing we can do about that. Nothing we can do about that. We really need someone to join. Wild Woman wonders in. We can't tame her. She don't have a 7. And she's a Pyromaniac. She's a Pyro anyway. Maybe we'll eventually get lucky and this Toga person will join us. Uh, there's like a 2% chance or something like that every time we rescue and heal her. Adam and the Wild Women. That's basically what this is colony is, yeah. Everything, so defense, feed all them, clean. Yeah, I know. There's just no way. Like I said, in normal wealth mode, this would be fine. You know, we could, we could do this for like years. No problem. We just stay low wealth and never have to worry about it, but. Now we're getting low in food because I'm feeding all these people. So we're going to have to go hunt some meat. These can actually fight back as well. Come on. Okay, we've hit it twice. little bit of meat we'll go get the other one how are we doing uh you know what you can get the other one you can get the other one really don't want to sort of cannibalism here two in a row Bow, not a gun, because that's literally all we can make. And the bow or the guns that are on the ground are poor and awful quality, so their accuracy is actually lower than the good bow that we have. Um, Addy, thank you for the follow. Hope I'm getting your name right. Welcome in. That's all we have access to. Like these are really crappy quality. Let's just tame the wild one. Is it really cannibalism? Eat the wild one. Because they're an animal? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh, day 31. Half a year, one person, time mode. How many days in a year? 60. 60. Mechanics of the new special tree? Sure. So basically, if someone has a natural background, like a tribal background, if you check their bio, 
and you hover over their childhood if they have unlock meditation focus type natural that will allow them to meditate if you put a meditation spot down uh, they'll meditate at the tree and as people meditate at the tree multiple people can do so uh, it will its anima grass progression will go up once it gets to 100 percent uh, progress it'll spawn a patch of anima grass uh, after a certain number of patches i think the first is 20 you can harvest the anima grass and grant someone a level of psi cast so it's a way to get uh psi cast powers and levels without having to worry about the empire uh, if someone has natural meditation and so the more people we have um, meditating at it faster the grass grows faster someone gets psi cast so it's a pretty awesome thing they added. I'm glad they added it so that there's a way to get sidecast and level up, like I said, without having to worry about the Empire. It's pretty nice. Building too close to it really matter. It affects the recharge rate of your, um, whatchamacallit, uh, I forget what it's called. The little, like, sci focus stuff. Yeah, it gave a huge boost to tribal, yeah. Yeah, like Shogger said, uh, if it's if you have buildings close to it, it reduces the psi focus gain um, amount you get over time, but it doesn't do anything as far as the grass time to grow or anything. It's care if you use them anymore. Yeah, that's true too. You can buy the psi trainers. Yeah. What is she at? Uh, she'll probably join in five or six days, but by then we might de be dead. Still the base around it? Yeah, it's, it's really strong. The Pyros of the whole map of fire. Yeah, they used to frown on it, yeah. And they no longer limit who can use the awesome new weapons. Three point nine. Hers is actually going down pretty fast. So I don't even know if it's worth keeping her, but <sighs> Chef. Chef, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Chef. It's got undefined because it was so close to when it expired. Yeah, something like that. Something about continuing the gift sub or something. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. I know I thanked you earlier, but thank you again. 2016 for Saturday with a bow and loin cloth. What could go wrong? Yeah. Randy's just not giving us anyone. I don't know why. Persona weapons are fantastic flavor wise. Yeah, I still haven't used any of those to add them. Yeah, that's because we've basically been just doing this challenge. We haven't gotten to that point again yet. You're hunting me? All right, you know what? Let's just do this. Come on, Toga. I've saved your life three times. Three times, Toga. I'm sick of it. <laughs> you better take her out. You know what? I'm gonna melee attack you to death. Get out of here. Friggin' wild woman. Get out. Alright. Toby's dead. Yeah, the seed isn't up to date. I need to update it with this one. This is just a random seed we found. Okay, we'll call it a draw. <laughs> you go in the corpse cabinet. The corpse closet. We literally have skeletons in our closet. Quite literally. Randy, can you do me a favor? Can you either give us another colonist or kill me so I can start over? Like, at this point, either one's fine. Remember a visiting tree caravan go on fire starting spree last night? Deal with that and not be able to beat the crap out of the pirate maniac. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Will we ever see her again? Some of whom are missing organs, yeah. Serena could do that. Uh, transfer part, let's go. Toda. He's a space refugee, a pessimist. I don't even care. 50 years old. You know what? Usually you would not be joining my colonies, but this is a special circumstance. Toad. Let's go. It's nice guy. He's just leaving you to do your little things as a human being. <laughs> All right, stabilize him. Go ahead and make another one of these up here. Uh, he's going to join whether he likes to or not. If he tries to leave her, I'm arresting him. You're in luck. We need bodies, and yours is still warm. <laughs> Toad, you will join, or else I will make you join. Desperate refugee. A single one, too. Yumi. Eight days. We're going to accept that as well. What's going on, squared? No worries, man. No worries. What's going on, squared? So, thank you. Hey, uh, Demonis, welcome in. Welcome back in. So the refugee can either betray us, join us, or just leave. Officially on vacation, nice. nice. You can visit any time, but you can never leave. Yes, welcome to California. Kind, creepy breathing, 56 years old. Scratch scar. We got three, well, we got, yeah. I think that person's gonna join. All right. Hmm. It's like you're gonna be uh, dealing with plants, whether you like it or not. You'll get good at it. You'll get good at it. You can also deal with the prisoners. That'll help me out a bit. Uh, we're not going to name Yumi until they decide to join us or whatever. Because I don't want someone to lose a name that way. Yeah. Uh, we're not cooking at all right now, so. We're not cooking anything. We're eating paste, so. No cooking for us. Finding it overall, not terrible. Yeah. And uh, if they die, they die. So we'll grab this uh, crappy auto pistol, I guess. So they have something. Should help us to get uh, the wood up to make more traps again. Uh, I'm going to put plant cutting on two. There we go. There we go. Solo. Neighbor Tally Run. You had a refugee arrive and almost immediately become lovers of your pawn. Had a good time for 10 days and then she just left without so much of the thanks to the memories. So. 
better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it felt used. <sighs> An assisted living community. That's right. That's right. It's going, Charlie. Welcome back. Welcome back. Has this said if this guy is going to join or not? 1.9. We might get another one of these soon. Still think Ape we might just have to get rid of. But they're so good, it's almost worth just keeping them until we can have them join. Yeah, they. what do they have? They have some scars, but they're going to be a minor pain. Tough, hard worker, jogger. Ugh. Last night? Yeah, it's a very good stream, yeah. What do the red squares mean in priority tab? Uh, that means they're really bad at it. Like, terrible at it. Like, w zero to two skill or something like that. You'll eat your pace and you'll like it. That's right. That's right. We need someone to come buy these drugs. I might give TB in their own bedroom, so if they break down during the night, they don't just instantly start punching me in the head and killing me. Might be a good idea. I think I'm going to throw them in here. <laughs> the more I think about it. Let's throw you in here. No! Stupid wild woman. Breaking our traps. Enough. Get her out of here. Quest Royal Ascent. Yeah, okay. No thanks. Toad, I need to know if you're going to auto join or not. I gotta keep a real close eye on you. Real close eye on you, buddy. It's not drugs, it's recreational enhancing products. <laughs> That's right. Watching you, Toad. I'm watching you. All right. Let me make some more blocks sometime and uh, finish making this trap tunnel. More for Wild Woman? Yeah. At least she won't be missed. That's right. Let's go on some case low. Welcome back. Do we have any other... Rich soil. We're putting heel root there. We have this over here. I got their corn over here. It's far away, so it's not like we're going to be over there very often with the corn, you know? We can just set it and forget it. Corn. 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 Potato. Potato. It's normal soil, so it's fine. Sappers, you always feel you need a much longer, bigger trap tunnel. Looks like you're getting to that point now. Yeah, yeah, I really need to. I, it's been so crazy, though. We've, like, at this point on the other colony, I think we had, like, seven people. It's so crazy. And this one, we are... I don't know what we're doing. We're just waiting. Waiting to hope for the best. You can recreate when you're dead. Get down here. Uh, after we eat, we're going to make some blocks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was really crazy. That's the best RNG I've ever had with Randy on 
this challenge, obviously, but maybe ever. Went right back to recreating, I know. <laughs> Trying to clean out PC case of dust and everything. Can't find your SSD. It's running off of. That's really weird. Let's go on Juliet. Welcome back. What would he need lubricant in the bathroom for? <laughs> it's true. I forgot about that. Found some lubricant in the bathroom in the Outer Worlds. Weird. I don't know why anyone would have that in there. Real strange. It's a mystery. Oh, we might recruit someone. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, granite, granite. I don't know what the crap denier sh <laughs> Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know. The ghost SSD. Bobby Tuna, Bobby Tuna, everyone. How's it going, Odin? Welcome back. Welcome back. Jenna, are you going to join Jenna? Oh, we got someone. Oh my God, it's a Christmas miracle. It only took us like three seasons. All right, who do we got? Uh, McExter, thank you for the refollow. Thank you, McExter. Welcome back. This is impending misfortune. Oh no, misfortune. So, uh, traditionally, every time Misfortune joins a colony, it dies very shortly after. Uh, yeah. Sure, it's fine, though. All right, Misfortune. They have an eight in handling, so we can actually uh, get animals and wild people now. We'll put handling on a one for them. Uh, crafting on two. They also have really good art. So art on one, tether on three, something on four, research if you have nothing else to do. Um, help with plants, actually, too. So I can't have nice things. How's it going, Ponscum? How did you get unfollowed? I have no it's idea, but it's all good. No worries, Big Extra. You run? This is the same one we started at the very end of stream last night. Industry last night. The Christmas miracle. Uh, all right, all right. We're gonna have to grow some more food, TBN. All right, all right. I know you're having a real good time. But We're not having a good time at all, actually. I think I might get rid of eight. They're so good, but they're at 99 percent. It's not going to change. Uh, they're just taking up time, taking up food. Switching, get up. Let's go ahead and uh, everyone has a barracks right now, so let's go ahead and tear this down. The way we can at least get uh, spacious buff. We do it. You know what? We're good enough to build some walls. Let's do it. I have to go hunt soon. There's still a chance, yeah. 99 to 100, but it's unlikely unless we get a uh, inspiration.
Okay, let him eat. So let him eat. Turn sewing off on this temporarily. No rest. No rest. We got defenses to make. We finally have someone. You gotta floor it. When shot by an arrow to the brain or wearing a flak helmet, chances are good. That always feels bad. Feels real bad. So if we get a siege, we just die. Siege. Done. Dead. Over. GG. GG. Make another layer of this when we can. Uh, we need to order a bunch of wood shopping right outside here so we can use that. Okay. TBN, you're, you'll get better at it. Don't you worry. Sure, she would like two new peg legs. Uh, <gasps> where'd he go? No, 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 no. Toad. Toad, no. No. <laughs> I was building defenses and Toad snuck away. No. Crap. Get him. <laughs> Aha. I had to tear down a wall to get to you in time. But I did it. Again. Get in there. Where do you think you're going? He left like three days ago. <laughs> so slow. Uh. All right, we'll get him in no time. Uh, let's plug this actually before I forget about it. So is this the game? Oh no, you plugged it from the wrong side. Oh well. Oh well. Sucks for you. Sucks for all of us, but. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and suspend this for a little bit. Psychic drone low on the females. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. So, Miss Fortune, what was your combat? You have. Uh, shooting decently enough. Let's go ahead and equip that revolver. Sorshin's also unhappy, partially because of that psychic drone. Sorshin's on an insulting spree. Just insult the prisoners, not TBN. Psychic drone other than send a caravan. Uh, this is a different kind of psychic drone. So this is not a droner, it's just a psychic drone. So this event will last for a few days and just go away on its own. Um, you can counteract it with some things kinda, like if you have a uh, Soothe Pulsar, you can use that and it'll make people uh, happy. I think it's a plus 12 actually for a few days, so it kinda counters it. Um, but yeah, this one will just end on its own. The Droner is one you have to go deal with, and the Psychic Ship will be one that you have to deal with on your map. Instead of having to caravan to it. Yeah, that's really weird, Irish. I have no idea, man. What was Misfortune saying during their, uh... 
Misfortune insulted TBN's courageousness. Misfortune and TBN chatted about playing craps. So, insulted courageousness. It was in your PCU shroud. Why would... Yeah, I was going to say, why did you put it there? So, prisoner resistance in order to recruit them, you have to reduce it to zero. Yeah. Recruiting doesn't begin until you get the resistance to zero. Chapter be with you or something. Oh, yeah, that was. Um, there's a mod where if you have someone high social, they can try to talk people down if it's a minor break and it's like an insulting spree, and they'll be like, chill. And sometimes it works. I think that's what you saw. Place to remove the CD DVD ROM ended up above your PCU. That doesn't seem like a great place for it, but at least you found it. Snap out, that's it. Thank you. I couldn't remember the name of it. Snap out. Psychic drone really needs to end. Really needs to end. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 38 days, oh my god. So we're at the point where we could get like centipede raids and we just now got off of one colonist. Hey, look, it's a siege. We don't even have guns. Don't have guns. Um, No, no, it's fine. I don't mind. It's probably GG. Randy just never gave us colonists this run. Got a little bit fortunate that these, but they're going to outrange us. They have bull action. We're kind of lucky that these aren't behind the barricades, but it doesn't really matter. It's winnable. Winnable. I don't know. one in shooting as well. We're just going to have to try to live through this siege. I don't know. Like, we got to hope they don't hit, like, dead IS. There's really nothing we can do. We have uh, an awful gun, a poor gun, and a good short bow. So... Good luck to us. Yeah, TBN has a weapon. It's just very short range. It's an auto pistol. Whoa. Whoa. I like the seed, though, so we'll try it again. Rainy was just not... Uh... Oh, oh. Yeah, they're not going to do anything, really. Rainy just wasn't good about giving us call this time. Range of the mortars, entire map. Mortars are the entire map. 
Misfortune strikes again. Okay, yeah, it took out some of her walls, not a big deal. See what happens. Try thunderstorm. We might get really lucky and they get struck by lightning. <laughs> Randy, can you just start a fire in here? That'd be great. When shooting the same on all difficulties? Um, there's a higher chance that you insta down on harder difficulties. So I guess it kind of is the same, but oh, they're actually shooting at these guys. Yes. Waste your mortars. A fire. Please, Randy. Please, Randy. Don't stop putting it out, wolf. It pulled them off the mortars. The fire did. Uh, can we repair the dispenser really quick? In case they hit it again. Three. Yeah, kinda. We just got the other two and we have, like, no weapons. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the fire. Oh. Guys, we can't be bed resting right now. Repairing consumed materials? No, not if it's not completely destroyed. Oh, misfortune. <laughs> the drugs, the drugs. <laughs> How's it going, Matt? Chell, welcome back, by the way. Killer Spaz, welcome in. How's it going, Spaz? Prisoners are escaping. Is the mortar hit there? There's some rain. Like a drone's ending. Got that going for us. Rain's helping. I have to survive six more shells. I thought we got Toad. Oh, they busted it again. Oh, it's it's set up for Abe, that's why. That's right, they can drop pod more in. I forgot about that. So. Prisoner? Yeah, yeah. I did. Ape is escaping, don't even care. Get out of here. Squirrel self tamed.
They're more is finite. Yeah, they can drop pod more in, but. They killed my squirrel. Sad times. Yeah, there's like not much we can do. Doesn't mod wife the Raiders. I mean, I can do like a Hail Mary with TBN, but I mean, they have, we have like nothing. nothing. Yeah, we're going to have to. All right, let's just go die. We need to redo this seed. Randy didn't give us any people. Uh, we were by ourselves for 36 or 37 days. Then we got misfortune and then we died. <laughs> the Valiant Squirrel Kamikaze. The ends of the days. All right, misfortune. Good luck. Another raid? <laughs> so far behind, guys. Uh, so far behind. There's gold down here, though. All right. Let's try the seed again. Uh, let's save the seed. It's a really good one. Let's take a look at it. No. I said no. All right. Um, record it. Uh, Demon thing for 500 bits. My daughter was wanting to get in trouble. Uh, let's see. GG indeed. 1031 South. Twelve thirty-six West. Okay. How's it going, Kong? Killer Kong, welcome in. Rainy just didn't give us any people, so nothing we could really do about it. Run 15 was not the run. Not the run. On to 16. Uh, so it's... Oh, yeah. The other stuff about it. So the seed is... Let me update the bot with the seed. Let's see. Uh, the seed is for run number... 15, all this is the same, but the coordinates, there we go. So exclamation seed is up to date if anyone else uh, wants that map. It's a really good one. It's a random one we found. We just, Randy didn't give us any one, so we're going to try it again. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go. All the counts. They're good. Um, well, welcome in either way. I wonder who you are. All right, new recording. Oh, who was that? Kong, thank you for the follow, Kong. Appreciate it. Gang, run number 16. We just need Randy to give us some colonists. Rin, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, Rin. New colony, naked brutality. Randy, commitment mode, no pause. Difficulty pumped up to the max, losing his fun all the way up to 500%. And wealth independent, 20 year mode. Seed is Adam versus, 100% map, default sliders. Uh, sweet 16, I hope. I know, every time Misfortune joins a run, we just die. Twenty twenty four. Let's go, Jumboy. Welcome in. 
It's a good map, but man. We just had a single person for almost a whole year. Uh, our colony that made it the furthest in this challenge had like nine people at the point where we lost right there. Multiple mortars, research. Oh, well, happens sometimes, especially Randy. 325 by 325. Let's see if the prepared landing one is still in here, actually. It is not. All right, so it was 1031 South. Uh, everyone's south, so about in the equator. And then, um, 1276 west. So it was in here somewhere. Yeah, it was right in here somewhere. So, 1031, 1276. 1031. I wonder what these other ones are. All right, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Let me update previous uh, run command too. We just need to get some colonists. Okay, exclamation last runs update two. Thank you, Misfortune. Uh, thank you, not Misfortune, Master Pilot Wash. I have Misfortune on my mind because our spirit was just talking about how they really did doom the colony. You had no fault in this, Pilot Wash. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use our saved pawn. Gonna use our saved pawn. Thinking about rebalancing him a little bit and getting some animal training so that if we get wild people events, we can at least Try to tame them, but we're just gonna go straight away. Sorry to run. Nice. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Just need Randy to give us some people. Just give us some people, Randy. Just give us some people. Fifteen is dead. Long live sixteen. This is the run. Uh, so some wood chopping up here. Go ahead and get the growing zone started. Should be plenty until we get a second person. Rice for there. Um, we'll go ahead and set up cutting around here too. Do you need something? Okay. Cooking priority, then growing, then planting. Construction third. Turn off bed rest for now. We're gonna get one if we end up getting a prisoner. Searching is nine. Uh, these are fine as is. Crafting, we will make him do when we need him to do one of those. Mine is an eight, so that's all good. Uh, okay. so that's the geothermal someday. Go ahead and get our campfire thrown in here. Um, furniture, we're gonna need a table. We're gonna put it right near the campfire so we can sit the stool for either one of those. And we need a early game bed. Uh, these three are the most important to start with. Also, let's go ahead and set these berries to harvest. We'll go ahead and make this 
do a butcher spot just outside for now and a crafting spot outside for now Set this up to do make some will be old times one we're gonna do until we have let's go with like three Zone. We'll do the stockpile zone in this first room and dumping zone out here. Uh, for the structure, obviously, we have to use wood to start with. Gotta start with wood. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Little log cabin. It's going crazy. Welcome in. Muggles, welcome back. It's time for sure. Greetings and salutations. Um, we also want to plug these holes really early on. So we're going to uh, claim this door and reinstall it here. And then we will claim two of these and put them over here. All right. Got to set up to make a short bow. Hopefully it's a good one. We could just melee some things to death early, but get some shooting experience out of it instead. Butcher creature forever. Okay, recreation is going to be important coming up here soon, so we'll go ahead and get one of these horseshoe pins. Is all right. We have a meal, so let's let him finish uh, moving these. Okay. Start working. Let's get our bed on night one. Fearless had a question. Oh, I missed it. Thank you for your. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Does this game get repetitive? So it's mainly repetitive at the moment, uh, Lion's Heart, because we are playing the early game so much. But because I'm doing this challenge, I, I don't know, I'll get focused on it and it doesn't really bother me. Um, so, it can, it can get repetitive, but generally you don't lose this early on in the same fashion. But because of the nature of the challenge that we're doing, we do. I'm used to every time we starting we start up a hardest difficulty run that we last, you know, for years. And so it gets to the mid and late game at least. Um, this time thing is a whole new ball game, you know? Thank you, R-Squid. Okay, we'll have him finish uh, the house on night one. In fact, I'll just do this and then I'll set up a schedule correctly after he finishes uh, making the stuff. There we go. The roof area. Click on that. Now we can put a schedule back. Good enough. Uh, thank you, X. Yeah. I grabbed it. It's gonna end up dying, so it's a good thing we grab it now, huh? All right, uh, next thing we need to do is make a couple traps. So Randy can send a raid to you on day one. So we're going to make just a couple traps um, in the pathing near here so that we can run around this. We can always move them and use them elsewhere later. Okay, he's already plugging that. It's good. Uh, let's go ahead and finish that other trap while we... We get some sleep. All right. So we want to cut a little bit more wood. So we can make the bow and we can make the extra room in case we had a prisoner. Yeah, it's a good day one. And you know what? We're not locked in here with a bear this time. So that's, that's nice. That's nice. Last time we had to kite the bear on like day two or something. Kite a bear with a short bow on like day two. I don't see the bear uh, bear nearby this time, luckily. It's just not, yeah, that's what I was just. That's why I was looking at the tree. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and do that now or if the the walk time this early game with only a single person might not be worth getting the grass started because um so I'll probably wait to put the meditation spot near the tree for just a little bit at least until we get our first kind of row of traps going you know uh, we got some gold up here that we need to mine so we can get some wealth and give it off to whatever traders come in. So today we'll let him cut these. Um, we have no more meals. We only need four more for another meal. So we're just going to harvest this, these two berry bushes. We'll kill the alpaca sometime. But now we have enough to make at least another meal, so we should be good for today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add another building here. Another room so that if we do get a prisoner, uh, we're ready. Okay, so let me get that done. We can make it better later on. Uh, and then I think, so we're still on day one. So on Dragoon, welcome back. Yeah, we had a poor quality bow last time right off the bat too. Two, we made two poor quality bows. So let's see what we get this time. And then we got a normal or a good one after that. Normal, that'll do. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and deconstruct this steel here. Production, stone cutter. some wood for it okay should be plenty we're gonna get a fibrous mechanites on day one hmm that's kind of interesting actually so randy gave us a disease on day one let's go ahead and put uh no medicine self tinned uh, it's going to give us a minus 15 mood for a long time. We're going to be serious pain and sick for a long time. It basically gets rid of Sanguine. So it's not into the world. And it's also going to make us move faster and build faster, uh, craft faster, etc. So this might actually be a good thing for us to get early. Aside from the minus 15, should be a pretty decent disease, you know? We could have gotten like plague or gut worms or something, which would have been brutal. This one actually has some benefit to it. We weren't sanguine or didn't have our initial optimism. It might be a problem, but uh, how it is now, it's not a problem. Okay, we're gonna make any stone block. Uh, we're gonna have him do it forever. And I'm gonna put the range on this to about here. Right, uh, so we need to kill one of these for food today. Could just go get some more berries. This will get us food for like probably a couple days. And we get some uh, shooting experience. Right, um, and we'll build a butcher table pretty soon too. I think we'll just use this for right now, though. Okay, he's already cooking. No, 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 no. There you go. I was afraid he was going to start eating at the table. Okay, that'll be enough food for most of tomorrow, too. So let him cut some more stones. Hey, Rain, welcome back. How's it going, Rain?
Uh, how many stone do we actually need for this? So, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120. So we want like 125 blocks where we start making it. Uh, X Coleus. I don't know if I'm getting your name right, but I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Don't care what we make the wall out of right now. The faster we can get it up, the better. Okay, so we have enough. So we are going to go to structure and marble wall. And I think I want them coming through here eventually. So let's go three. Three, three, three. I think that's how we're going to start it. And then we'll actually uh, let them come through this part of the maze and then come out the center of here and we can have a place to shoot from if we get to that point. Sure hope we get to that point this time. We might not. Uh, Rio. Rio, thank you for the follow. Or Rio, I'm not sure. But do appreciate it. Perfect pronunciation. <gasps> that is amazing. <laughs> it's going to start eating the table. As far as Mega Knights, hardcore. No, I was afraid he's going to start eating the raw meat. But ended up not uh, not being the case, luckily. Uh, He needs some rest, but I'm not going to let him rest all the way. So we need to get this done. What day is it? It's day two, so we could have a raid of one to two people. All right, you can rest after that one. Uh, granite and marble. Okay. Are these numbers? Yeah, yeah. We've been doing really well with uh, Room World, I think. Overall. So, yeah, anyone joining for the first time... Um, Room World is what we predominantly play on the stream right now, but basically I do challenge runs of strategy games, both real-time and turn-based. Um, our initial game that I did that on was Darkest Dungeon, where I have a couple of world records in that. Now we're trying some really crazy Room World stuff. We have beaten the hardest difficulty of Room World, no pause, several times, but um, we haven't done the timed mode yet. Raw meat and corpses. I don't know. I guess I should do that from the get go. I just never end up doing it, Whimsic. I'd rather him eat raw meat than starve to death, but I guess on Naked Brutality, when you're microing a single person anyway, it's not. It's not gonna happen that way. So. Probably should do it. Uh, so we need. How many meals do we have? We have one. So we'll probably hunt that last alpaca today. I think corpses, yeah. Corpses is definitely a good one to turn off after you start killing people. Unless you're a uh, cannibal, in which case, best way to keep them happy. All right, let's go ahead and kill this. Oh, nice. Okay, let him cook. Uh, we want to finish this wall today. Even if he's unhappy about it. Man, those fibers and mechanites help, helping us work through this super fast. Like Hive Attack, your box makes really short work of them. It's awesome, Odin. Walls can be shot over but not moved over. Guard towers or something. Yeah, there's a mod for that. That's always the answer. There's a mod for that. They have little, uh, you know, holes in them where you can shoot through. We are not using it. Okay, let him rest. While he's resting, let me go ahead and set up these default things. So, default, no medicine, no medicine. Um, sign. Let's go into manage food restriction. 
Go to lavish. And let's turn off raw meats. Let's turn off raw everything aside from uh, you know what? We don't even have to worry about berries either right now. Like if it comes down to it, we can come back in here and just switch it to another one really quick. Uh so I'm just gonna turn off raw entirely. Corpses. Let's go ahead and send him to no drugs. So if Raiders drop some drugs, he's going to pick it up, scoop it up, and start taking it. We want to chop this wood that's near this tunnel. That way we don't have to haul it very far. Build the traps. What, uh, what start did you do, Odin? Or what kind of game are you playing? Good time for rimming. It's always a good time for rimming. Let's go on Scorpio. Welcome back. Same seed. Yeah, because Randy didn't give us any colonists, so we're gonna press E. Uh, if he gives us colonists this time, how the seed goes. Last time we got to like 30 something days without another colonist, which is not bad if you're playing normal wealth mode, but on this time mode, it's like freaking impossible to, to really uh do anything. Good old Cassandra, due to Android only colony. Rice is almost done. Fires Mechanites are actually helping us quite a bit. We are blasting through stuff. It's kind of silly. Kind of silly. But yeah, we're just hoping for uh, some joint events. Speed. Uh, so once we get up this, or get this first line of fence up here, then we will start on some research. Yeah, it's super speed. It's crazy. We have to be far more help than harvest at this point. Yeah, absolutely. I think because we're sanguine, though. If we weren't, it would be a real pain. We'd probably be having breakdowns. So. But. All right. Uh, I do want to make some more blocks. He'll probably start doing it on his own, though, here soon. We'll force him. Alpaca meat rotted. It's all right. Got rice now. Okay. Go and clear that. Uh, we got 160 granite. Alright. Uh Leoc, Leoc, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, but I appreciate it. 16 the run. I don't know. Only if only if Randy gives us colonists. Just closed without pack of leather. You have to have 60. Yeah. You have to have 60, so we aren't quite uh, we don't quite have enough to make tribal wear yet. If we kill one more alpaca, we will. But let's go ahead and check. Yeah, the alpaca aren't close enough to really worry about it too much. That was 40. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, it's 60. Tribal wear. Uh, details. Material. 60. So it takes 30 work amount. So the time it takes them. Or well, the amount of work they have to put in to make it is 30. But the ingredients are 60. Uh, can you ever plant the anima tree? No. not. Uh, you can move it in a way. And how you do that is you cut it down. What will happen is it, you'll get an anima scream, so a minus six debuff for a, a few days. I think it's actually six days too, and then it will grow back in about two seasons in a semi-random location on the map. So if it's in a really crappy place, cutting it down early game is a good idea. Like if you get an anima tree that's down here, 
It's like, all right, I'm not gonna build it. I'm not gonna let anyone meditate down here because if I do, they're probably gone, you know? Uh, you can always cut it down. It'll grow back in a couple seasons. But if you can deal with a negative six during that time. It's a way to play with psychic powers without worrying about building throne rooms and such. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the Empire. Yep. Yeah. So for anyone that has seen the Animatree, what it does is if you have someone with a natural background, tribal background, like Firekeeper here, if you hover over their childhood background and it says unlock meditation focus type natural, you can then put a meditation spot near the anima tree. And as people meditate there, the anima grass progress will increase. And at 100%, it'll spawn a patch of anima grass. Uh, when you get to your first 20, you can harvest it and then give someone a psi cast. Uh, and then after that, it takes more anima grass to level their psi caster ability up more. Get them more, more abilities. Go into the tunnel and not just break doors. You have to have an opening into your base. It depends on the type of, um, the type of enemy though. So normal raiders, um, normal mech raids, animal attacks, all of those, as long as you have an opening where you know not, not everything is closed, they will take the pathway um, to your base through traps, through whatever. But if it's a sapper, it works completely different. There's a way to manipulate sapper AI, but basically sappers will dig through and other raids won't as long as you have an opening to your base, complete opening. near the tree to keep ponds beauty rating up oh yeah i haven't done that plant day lilies near the tree i've planted day lilies in the house before but yeah i didn't think about doing that it's interesting yeah no problem and i'll i'll go over sapper ai when we get to that stage of the game if we make it to that stage of the game this freaking thing again um but yeah basically as long as you have an opening all the way to your base they'll take that unless they're sappers on a sapper raid more often if you have a base that's fully uh closed normal raids will act like a sapper raid so they'll just break in and uh i made that mistake a long time ago where i had like geothermals set up and boxed in and uh, i accidentally closed my base off completely and the raiders actually broke through like random places in my geothermal walls and destroyed the geothermal and but yeah, normal raids will act like sappers if you have no entrance. Yeah, I'm waiting on the meditation spot this time because I'm trying to get a lot done while we have the fibrous mechanites. Um, and I don't want him walking all the way over there. Okay, so we are going to have him mine all this gold up here. So hopefully we can trade this for another colonist or a weapon early. In the no floors ever faction, that's how I am on a, a normal wealth mode. People have dirt floors forever, and I put steel tile in like the hospital slash research room and nowhere, nothing else. <laughs> it's the only flooring ever. Oh, I forgot to cancel that one. That's unfortunate. Okay, this should handle the first uh, raid or two. Wood floors are dirt. Failboat, two years. Failboat, thank you for the resub. 24 months is a long time. I did Failboat. How are you uh, liking your new job now that it's not really a new job anymore? All right, how's he doing? So after he hauls that wood, we're gonna have him get this gold. Inebriated, but you love your new job. It's awesome, it's awesome. So, normally, in like a normal playthrough, I would not want this gold this early. The reason why we're getting it, though, is because we're playing time mode, and we have to try to get ahead of the curve somehow. Ahead of the curve somehow. 
Okay, uh, so... I'm gonna go ahead and start research soon. You know what, I'm also gonna... switch this to stone... sooner than later. Let's do a dumping zone right here. Oops. We'll set it as critical uh, stone block, or stone chunks rather, and marble. And let's go ahead and have him fill this up with it. That way he can go right outside and get them. Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, move where this is. I heard an alert. Time mode? Yeah, yeah, I can go over that. Oh, there it is. Fail boat! <laughs> Fail boat. Thank you for the $10 donation. Just some of that new monies. Thank you, Fail boat. <laughs> Appreciate it, Fail boat. More love soaks the soil, which always sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Thanks, Fail boat. Glad you're liking the new job. Spreading the love. Thank you, Fail boat. Uh, so, time mode makes it so that the game gets harder with time rather than with wealth. So in normal wealth mode, how the game is uh, naturally without turning on this custom setting, uh, if you keep your wealth down low, you'll never get big raids. So the main strategy, or one of the main strategies for naked brutality on normal mode, even on the hardest difficulty, is to stay small and just research and wait for good pawns. And you might do that for several in-game years and your raids are going to be pretty small. You can handle them with just traps and one guy and a gun. But... On this mode, uh, the game gets harder every single day, no matter what. Your wealth doesn't impact it in one way or the other. So if you don't get ahead of it, there's no way to really stop things. Uh, and it's going to keep getting harder every day for 20 in-game years. At the end of 20 in-game years, Randy technically is, is capable of dropping 50 centipedes twice a day, every day. I mean, you'd have to get pretty unlucky for that to happen, but as far as, like, uh, the difficulty level, it can do that. Game's very hard enough. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Eclipse is ending. Near him. Near him. So you have some time off next week, Failboat, I hope. Alright, we are gonna need a little bit more wood. Uh for the fire at least. I wanna overcut right now. It's for work room world, so. It's your boyfriend's first cat? Nerm. Was a special cat. What kind of cat was Nerm? Squish face cats, gotcha. You think her intelligence was minus five? <laughs> That's enough. Let's make some blocks. Make some blocks. Without skill. Skill. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in skill. Make a few of these. Okay. That's good. Some numbers. I know. Yeah. It's the most consistent aside from when we were doing our Darkest Dungeon challenges. But that was a whole... That was a whole nother level. I don't know if I'll ever recapture that. Someday, hopefully, Trevor. Yeah, aside from uh Rim or aside from Darkest Dungeon, yeah. Absolutely. Alright. So we're gonna redo this in marble. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up.
So this one is still not going as well as run 13. Isn't it crazy? On run 13, we had three working colonists by day 10. I don't know if we'll ever get that luck again. Three rooms. Yeah, I will. It was originally, I originally didn't because, um, uh, we only had the starter room and I just threw this down really quick for a prison, but I'm also going to just break this down and make it one room after I get a, a separate room on top of it. So, in fact, I think I'm just going to break down one of the walls for now. Serum so on the wiki stuff, sell only. No, they made Luciferium easier to get. You can get it from quests, and a lot of traders have it. So if you get to late game, um, there's more Luciferium readily available than there used to be by huge amounts, actually. So it is possible to keep someone or multiple people um, on Luciferium. It's, Luciferium is really good if you can keep enough in stock, you know. Uh, but they need a dose of Luciferium every six every 6.66 .66 days or else they start to yeah die it makes this ferium you can't make it but you can trade for it you can accept it uh, from quests you can caravan to get it you can open ancient dangers sleep out when they needed it yeah yeah that's true they can get cryo sleep sickness but it's not as bad as the alternative a lot of times Just raid tomb or tombs. Yeah, so it's much easier to get it than it used to be. Uh, we we're talking last night about it. So Luciferium used to be this thing where people could binge on it as well, which they can't anymore. And so back in the day, uh, if you got Luciferium off of anything, if it dropped, you would either burn it right away or you would build a wall around it so it was not accessible to anyone <laughs> until you were ready to use it or trade it. Had a trauma savant. I still haven't had trauma savant, so yeah. Use the sphere on. It's pretty OP. That's pretty cool. Helps heal the cryo sickness. It's true. I guess that's true, huh? We need to put a door on here so we can stop having to rebuild traps because these friggin' animals. Going Lashley, welcome back. Going Lashley. What have you been up to lately? Geo guessing. It's kind of addicting. Problem is, I guess the problem is uh, if you don't pay for it, you have like a limited number you can do a day or whatever. I didn't know that first time I went there, and uh, I, I guess I didn't read or something. And uh, my wife and I did one. And we we're like, all right, let's do another one. It's like, nope, sorry, you must subscribe. Tree table? Yeah, I guess I should. The extra wood. Um, I mean, we're mainly eating rice at the moment. Uh, I will after I finish getting the trap stuff done. I don't want to spend too much wood on other stuff at the moment. Hey, that's not that far away. I mean... It kind of, never mind. It really is, unless we make a door here. That's awesome, though. I think we can make a door here and get that. Coast map from last night? No, it is not. How's it going, Carbon? I got one shot shotgun to the head in that one. It's pay to play on your own or to make maps, play along with other people, have an account, playing chat guessers free. Gotcha. So we'll come open this door when there's raiders and we're going to leave it closed otherwise so animals stop coming in here and tripping these traps. All right. Uh, yeah. Colony 13 had three people by now. I don't know what's going on. 
it, you have a higher chance of getting new recruits uh, in like recruitment events, auto join events. If you have um, under four pawns, and we're just not getting them. We're gonna recruit around here, maybe not recruited. Just caught. Uh, they ended up joining, right? Right towards the end. Wasn't that misfortune? Yeah, they ended up being misfortune, yeah. And then the colony ended. <laughs> the shotgun surgeon, yeah. So we're gonna make one more room and then I'm gonna start working on research. No moss. It's not looking hopeful. I mean, if we compare everything to the run that went really well early on, this one is not going as well. It seems like it's going fine because Rainy hasn't hit us with anything early. But we also haven't gotten any people. So I almost would rather him hit us with an early raid of like one to three people, you know? So at least we can get some prisoners and get some recruitment going, but it's just not happening. Just isn't happening. I don't know why. No idea. Just random, that's why. It's random. It's one of the problems with Randy. Or it's Cassandra, you know, you're gonna have uh, a raid, at least one raid in every 11 day cycle. Trader Rip, so happy, got him. Like day three, oh. Yeah, I mean, if we have visitors come by and they're good, taking them, taking them. Can get this done. Okay. Production, we'll get research started now. We got a little bit of steel for it, which we have some here, so we'll uh, we'll just do three nodes of it. A marble urn, I need to see that. All right, cool. Yeah, this should handle the first little raider group. First day, like on one of your first runs you watched? Oh, I know, yeah. It can happen. It feels like there's never any in between. Either we get two raids a day, or we get no raids for like three seasons and then just destroyed because we're so far behind. All right, let's get this. Get the steel. Let's go ahead and boost up researching on our work queue. Uh, we'll put it as a three. Try to get it done. Yeah, man. Ugh. No one. No one by day 11. And I don't know why. But we're gonna research. Oh, transport pod. I don't know who you are, where you are, but I'm coming. Coming, break that wall down, let's go. Are you, uh, they're from the freaking empire. So odds are they won't join. Uh, it's unfortunate. Trying to remind you of Minecraft track. 
for 18. Garden. I've still never played, yeah. It's never played. A lot of people have asked me to play, but I haven't. We start with loose freedom addiction. Uh, yeah. Unless they changed it. But you can definitely get, like, raiders that get down that already are addicted to loose ferium, and then you, uh, you take them and they already have it. Um, yeah. There are, there are ways to get it. Hey, what's... Poor Adam. I'm going to sit... I just want new colonists. So we good mods for it. Yeah, I've just never, I've never gotten into it. I don't know why. So the odds of joining are extremely small. So they're not a space refugee. But we'll tend to them. It's a medical experience. Battery researched. What's good? Thank you for the follow. What's good? The only games, more mods, and more worlds. Day 12, no new colonist. They shouldn't take loose fear when I break down anymore. No transport pod. Uh, all right. Where are they? Let's go. Jade, how close are you to dying? Can we get you back home in time? It's gonna be close. Um, There's no building over there. So we can't tend to her over there. Uh, as a prisoner, she needs to be in a prison to tend to. There's nothing that we can, like, just pop shut and help her. Chemical fascination, psychically deaf, uh, and capable of violence. But she can work, at least. So if we can get her to join. She has a wake-up addiction, too. So she's going to be really unhappy. What's your name? I think someone's talking to you. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I haven't... I need to open this wall at some point, but we don't have time at the moment, really. I need to put a door over there. I'll have to mine it out first. All right, we saved her. I'm capable of violence, but I mean, I just need someone to work. She can stand in the way of an enemy and die, too. Uh, so... She'll be very easy to recruit. And then we'll finally have someone. Okay. Strong old woman. Switch your faction and join this. Not all crazy naked man homesteading at River World. So, it's going to weep welcome back. Yeah, I might too. The reason I'm not stripping her is because, all right, is because if we want her to join, we want her to be as happy as possible, so that um, she reduces in resistance faster and joins faster. But then after we recruit her, I'm gonna take this for myself because she's not capable of violence. But we're okay being naked at the moment, thanks to sanguine stuff. I'm gonna build a proper chair. It just takes less wood and is faster to throw in there. The reason I didn't hear is because a stool you can actually use at the fire and the uh, dining room table, whereas the chair faces a direction and you can't do that anymore. So sometime I need to put a uh, door there. He's old. 67 year old Industrious, tough, steadfast. Remember these guys? Uh, should I arrest you? <gasps> we had an auto join. Yes, it's happening. 
We're actually getting people. 98%. I might arrest. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to now that we got the auto join. Let's check her first. Great memory wimp. Oh my god, she can't fight at all. She's a doctor. She can work. It's fine. Alright, let's name her from the queue. She also came with a crappy gun. Alright, who's in? The next person that spent channel points is Zamana. Okay, let me look at her again. Uh, so we can have her mine. We need... Yeah, it's fine. I'm still going to keep her. Even though she's uh, not great to start out with. Try to stab you in the back. Oh. Yeah. She's not good, but we need people. So, this is what it is. She's a doctor as well, though. Which uh, is good. So, we can have her uh, priority mine. She can clean and haul. And if she has nothing else to do, we'll have her help with the plants. Research. Yeah, we can have her start shooting some stuff too. Any kind of animals that are nearby, we'll have her shoot them to death. So she can, uh, she can start getting at least some skill. Gonna make her this bed. Some experience of mana. Don't burn yourself. Is there anything else out here? A turkey. She's doing her best. Best is pretty terrible. She's still doing it. How's it going, Kaz? Welcome in. J Rob, welcome back. Baby Carrot. Got all these people coming in. How's it going, Baby Carrot? Shopping and dinner. What'd you have for dinner? Team Jones? I mean, uh, T. What was it? Team J1s? TMJ1s? There's all kinds. It's pretty good. Have a hermetic in your current game. Here's your diet. Yeah. Sure, do forever. Okay, well, she did get to one in shooting. TMJ ones, yeah. Microwave tech dinner. Your dad. Your dad made you? Gotcha. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so we do need to get some more traps up. We finished getting that wall. Research is really important, though, too. What clothes does Mana have? Is there a wimp? They're gonna get a. Ooh, she has a Synthread t shirt. Poor quality, but still. But still. Still have enough for tribal wear, really. Really? You run? Yeah. Raids the moment? No, I mean. Just never know when a run's gonna give us colonists or not. That's the main thing about these so far is like, runs that we get early game colonists, they go great. We start getting ahead of the curve a little bit. Granted, we haven't 
win on one of these uh, exact challenges yet, even after that, but... leave the world for hours it's to survive 20 years i mean we've we've already left the world on hardest difficulty several times but on this one it's to survive until the time mode gets the hardest so the time mode gets the hardest at year 20 and then it never goes above that so if we can survive to year 20 we basically have beaten it like robo colonists yeah it's really random that's randy Flood with people or starve the ranks. Yeah, there seems to be no in between. A potential harem. <laughs> That's true. Ever played Phoebe? Yeah, Phoebe is pretty. She's definitely the easiest one. I have a guide up on storytellers, and uh, we went through the uh, game files. See just how crazy different ones can get. Phoebe is absolutely the easiest one. She can only hit you with one raid every eight days. Outside of quests. Just gonna kill robots. Build an army of droids to work for you. There are mods like that, yeah. Moose. They're tribal, huh? Abrasive and ugly. Neurotic jogger. Okay. They're from the Empire, so if they don't join, we're going to let them go. Mod storytellers out there, too. Yeah, I haven't tried any of the mod storytellers. Someday, though. Someday. See how close she is. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I need to finish getting this extra row of traps up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She doesn't join, easy close. Yeah, they changed it. If you strip people now that are non-hostile, they will lose, their faction will lose, or you will lose rep with the faction, even to the point of becoming hostile. We were on going like five years, and then 1.1 broke the save, that feels bad. the do times four over the times one uh let's go get whatever money they have a uh, gift never mind just give us the money that's fine cried little tonight how many runs have you done tonight this is the second run tonight yeah second run tonight So when Jane joins, they're going to have some breakdowns for sure because of their addiction. Um, that's a chemical fascination, not just chemical interest, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Cable of violence. Can have them cook, construct, though. Just need workers. Uh, L, thank you for follow L. Welcome in. Off the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some gold down here, too. I forgot about that. Thank you. I should go get that. Uh, it's so far away. It's really scary. If a raid happens and he's out there, we just lose. But uh, if we get that gold, we have enough. Okay, raid. Terrace already? Three. Four. Okay. Uh, any of them tough?
No tough, no nimble there. Okay. So, I might actually get some prisoners out of this. Uh, we need to go ahead and get this extra food planted in, in anticipation that we might have to uh, feed a bunch more people. Let's go ahead and set a couple zones up. So this will be inside. Add another one for walls. Expand the inside to be inside. Expand walls to be inside the walls. Looks like there might be an opening right here. There might be uh, an opening in there somewhere. Oh yeah, open the tunnel, yeah, yeah. There we go. Here they come. Storyteller? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't even looked into the modded storytellers really, so I don't even know what kind of the options are that they could do. I think it'd be a kind of cool thing if there was some kind of storyteller that literally just like trickled things in non-stop, like a, almost a wave-based kind of game, you know? Like for a certain number of days, it seems like one raider or one animal every single day. And it just keeps increasing over a set number of time. That'd be kind of cool. Almost like a zombie defense sort of thing. Let's go in Swan, welcome in. So this guy's gonna go down first. Uh, we are just going to imprison as many as we can. Smirk does it? Not quite, yeah, not quite. Yeah, they are billion storyteller, yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna imprison every single one of them that we can. Uh, at the very least, we can steal organs. So stuff like that in the Stereo. Planet killer, ugh. That's not how Cassandra's supposed to work, no. Cassandra has a cooldown. No dumb labor, fast walker, beautiful nudist, no. Why are you breaking through that? There's an opening. Yeah, I have no idea why he's trying to break through that. That's really weird. Hopefully. We'll, uh, we'll strip this guy too. How long until this one dies? Three hours. They have a peg leg, greedy pyromaniac. So we definitely don't want them, but we might want their organs. <laughs> might want their organs. They have some crappy clothing. So as soon as they're stabilized, we'll go grab someone else. Is there someone that we really actually want to join? Smoke leaf dependence. Psychopath, fast walker, tortured artist. This one's all right. Uh, aside from the smoke leaf dependence. 49, beautiful, no. So this guy, we might be actually fine with joining us. And he can start building everything. So she stabilized enough. Let's save this guy. Another one we might, uh, if he lives long enough, we might take some organs, but otherwise. Until he dies, we'll probably run out and strip him really quick. She stabilized yet? Seven hours? Eight hours? 
So Zamana can actually go strip them. And we'll go ahead and capture him. Like I said, we can at least get medical experience and some organs. This guy, I think we'd be okay with joining, though. Overall. He's not great, but... And we're getting medical experience. What's going to do what you're looking for is Hildegard Epic. Deal is lots of raids, sieges, lots of other events. It's free clothes! Yeah. Your wires have made him a wooden man. Took all of his organs you could and set him set him free. <laughs> I wash focus but dead. You trying to find a good five man stack? Yeah, yeah, you were talking about that before. Friend of yours, hopefully that pans out. Maybe Karen's dead too. Get these traps back up. Close that door again. So we want to get these out of here. We also strip some down here, right? Yeah, it's all crappy quality, but it's better than being naked. Better than being naked, apparently. Okay. Moody Matt, who's ever survived Polar Sorter, will switch between lots of good events and lots of bad events. That sounds kind of interesting. In Discord with them, the being family friendly, I got you. Marge you with small annoying instants like disease and mad animals, but rage you less often. <laughs> Nothing's better than being naked. How's it going, wizard? Welcome in. Alright, uh so it's organ stealing time. So, we're going to steal this person's... Oh, we don't have any herbal medicine set up. Well, we'll steal your organ later. Don't die yet. Got to set these up. Keywords. Okay. Designed to force you to expect and expect. Hit you with a little of everything. All right. So this guy we uh, want to try to recruit, right? Probably should have stripped him. These two, we don't care if they die or not. Kind of want their organs, but I might just get rid of them because of uh, our food problems. I think it might. I think it might. I mean, we have that gold to go get too. If we ever get a traitor. Okay, we got enough herbal meta. No, we only got one. We need two for a surgery. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get rid of these ones. We definitely don't want them. They can come back later though. I could just kill them. 
Start trauma savant. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, we just don't have uh Do I have the means to feed them right now? So this might be slightly cruel. Oh no, they died. How'd that happen? All right, you two join or this is what's going to happen to you. <laughs> uh, critical human corpses. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Solve that problem. Problem solved. Problem solved. We need so much wood. We need so much wood. Also basically out of raw food. So they already kind of ate us out of house and home. Uh, so I'm going to have to go hunt tomorrow. Zamana, you're going to have to cut some logs. Is this person ever getting better? Yeah, some money. You move those. And then I need you to cut some wood. Cut some wood, Zamana. And then we need to get this planted. And then we gotta go hunt. There are some uh some berries we can harvest, but that's not gonna be enough. I get the trash back up too. Rainy could hit us immediately. So much to do. Gotta get that shut again. Any animals up here? There's a rat. Main challenge comes from a few resources combined with a large number of enemies. Try to steal the last bit of food you could harvest from destroyed and polluted worlds. On an alternate alternative challenge, just raid size, true challenge, view versus the world, post apocalyptic. Yeah, there is quite a few berries over here as well. All right. Okay, let's get these berries. Uh, and then we gotta cook it. All the beds prisoner. Will the guy from the Empire just leave? There's no beds. Um, if he's capable of walking, I think he would. Yeah. He is leaving. He didn't decide to join. Look, I mean, I was fine with him joining. But... So Jane's going to join in a couple days. Um, so we're on going berserk. Okay. All right. Free medical experience. As long as we didn't do anything crazy to him. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Main thing is we need a lot of wood right now. And we need to... Yeah, we need to get our traps back up. Traps back up and uh, hopefully recruit some people. Matches for the beds. Use food machine. I, call, I use them pretty often too. I used it in the last run. The only reason I have a switch this time is because we are actually getting some people. Yeah. Pace is good, especially on low quality numbers. Very well, might switch to it again on this run.
Chain's gotta be getting close to joining. I still have Fibrous Meganites. It's actually helping us quite a bit. Silverware. Silverware. Silver. Silver war, not silverware. It's capable of walking in. Uh, all right. Schedule. Let's go ahead and unrestrict people again. No cook needed. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about uh, food poisoning. The work time is just harvesting and dumping it in there. It's really good. So there's some muffalo over there. They could enrage and attack us. I don't see any other big animals nearby though. Um, was there a mega sloth somewhere? Yeah, it's pretty far away. There's a bear. That's way far away too. We don't have enough traps to kill all these mega, uh, these muffalo if they attack us. Uh, so we're gonna have to live off berries again. Man, all those friggin' prisoners that we had went through our meals real fast. Craft. Barely better than the woods. Uh. Snipe, when you go. Yeah, they're better armor piercing as well. They just take forever to make, yep. A really long time to make. Probably had some mana do this so they could get some uh, experience, but. All right, Just last little bit. What day are we on? Uh. Turn to starve, but feed prisoners. Come soft. I have to feed them in this game. I actually starve. Sad times. How long on the rice? Uh, it's starting to get there. We only need probably another day of food before rice gets done. Jay's gonna join soon as we help out. Stop having to feed her. Manually feed her anyway. It's a rat over here I can grab. Man, I really want those muffalo. At least one of them. But uh, the chance of them enraging and just wiping the colony. That's very real. Like for some traders to come through too. That'd be nice. Jade, how close are you to, let's see, 3.7, okay. Not 3.4, she's not going down very fast. Uh, it's because of her wake up withdrawal. Malnourished too, okay, gotta get some food. Uh, I'll make three meals. Okay, rice is done. Get re sown. So that part. Okay. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and just harvest all that we can. Might as well go ahead and get it. It's not going to go bad anytime soon. Sometimes joins, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, she probably won't, but... Two of them are levels. Better deals with traders. Faster recruiting in the future. Yeah, if we make it to a future, that's the problem. That's the problem. Ah, this mod is going to get in that last bit of gold. Nice. Forgot what I had set up down here. Hey, 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 you come back. 
carry this crap back with you. What are you doing? Jade down there too. Low medicine, low food. Don't I know it? Don't I know it? Fifty eight percent chemical starvation. She's gonna have that for pretty much ever, even after she joins. But we just need people. Master at Jade Bend, nothing else will suffice. Sappy and the Huskies. 95 year old ascetic priest named Sappy. <laughs> Four man hunting Huskies. Why are you 95 years old, Sappy? Why have you lived for so long? Why haven't you died so someone else to be our reward for this quest? Just me is around this point once. I know, yeah, that's the thing. Sappy why? Because he's awesome. I was going bard. Sappy why are you alive? Why are you alive? New lovers. Me and Zamana. Okay. It's kind of good. Uh, that will allow us to use a double bed so this is not a barracks anymore. New lovers. Okay, after he makes that food, we'll uh, rip these beds up. Other colonist points elsewhere. Skip on age. Yeah, he probably has like extremely good stats. Just be alive. Someone plays magic. Oh, Nico. Uh, only millions of people play it. Probably. Maybe not millions. Getting busy. Yeah, this will make us happy too, which is real nice. Get the traps back up. We have no research done. We're done. Done. Day 19. No research. Haven't played since that card first came out. 1.8. She's gonna she's gonna join soon. Good thing is now we're getting happy. Quest. All right. Now we're getting really happy. So. Uh, because being lovers, so now we might have more inspirations, including a uh, recruitment inspiration. So Jade will join really soon. Uh, they're gonna have breakdowns. As soon as they join, we're gonna uh, have them start cooking and constructing. When we have breakdowns, we'll just deal with it. You're always happy. That's good. That'll free me up to uh, do more planting. And researching actually is what I should do. All right, let's get these traps done finally. Really lucky Rainy didn't attack us. Uh, since, well, since that last raid, obviously. Chop the wood, chop the wood. Uh, X aim. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Aim. Welcome in. Food addictions. Uh, I mean, these ones don't have addictions, so I, I don't have one set up specifically for put them on. I mean, she's at 65%. We actually have Wake Up there, too. We could administer Wake Up, but we only have two. What the real Randy was in our hearts all along. I believe it. Ooh, 
mainly have granite. Granite? Recruit faster? I don't know. That's kind of what I was wondering, too. I mean, she's almost... She's about to join at this point, but I'm wondering if I should have administered Wake Up in order to just make her have a better mood. Remote fur dusters are very good for defense. Do you know something about it? Yes, they are really good. Uh, Thrumbo fur duster with a button-up shirt and a flak vest has the same defense as a cataphract armor. And it's much easier to come by, much easier to get. So, and uh, yeah, so. Thrumbo fur duster, flak vest, button-up shirt, basically have cataphract armor. Eventually, the idea is to replace the spikes with anti-grain warhead IEDs. Should I eat it? A waste of a draw? Yeah, that's true. I wonder if I should burn this really quick before she wakes up. She's almost out of it. I think I will, actually. Uh, is he also addicted to smoke leaf? Yep, so we'll just burn all this. I mean, smoke leaf addiction isn't as big of a deal, actually. Just burnt her drugs. Yeah, Devil Strain is really, really good too. As long as you're in a map where you can grow it relatively safely. It's, a, it's an awesome thing to get. It's got a lot of defense for just cloth, basically. Just got to get to it. Kind of one of our goals was to get to uh, Devil Strand early game in this, but we just we were on one person for so long again. Colony thirteen had like five people by now. <laughs> the research done. It's really silly. I miss Colony thirteen. I talk about it all the time. I'll never forget them. It's true though. How's it going, Wizards? Welcome back. Something that'll protect you from headshots. No matter what, there's always a chance for them to one-shot you in the head. Oh no, the IO Death song. Mechs are coming. Um, so even if you have, like, the best armor in the game, you can still get insta-killed headshot with, like, a short bow. There's always a chance for an instant down. Makes it way less likely. But there's nothing that can 100% protect you from headshots. Knights? I, oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. Multiple wizards. Nice. He keeps talking about his ex, Colony 13. Huge red flag. <laughs> it's true. Come on, Jade. Oh, she's down to a zero. She's going to join in a day or two, probably. Then she's going to immediately have a breakdown. Switch to EMCA? No. I doubt Tynan's gonna do that. I would be really, really shocked. I mean, he hangs out in streams and types in stream chats and streaming is a really big reason why the game is taken off. Kind of right helmet. It's like 150% protection. Yeah, yeah. So wonder in first so that she can punch it. Games, yeah. yeah. Opportunity to ask you a question is cool. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that too. Oh, we got an auto join. Who are you? Oh my God! Look at you. You're terrible. You can fight. <laughs> you can fight and build. All right, cool. Welcome in. 
We need bodies. Your body's warm and it can shoot at people. So who's next in the queue? Rainy's giving us some people. They're not great, but we're actually getting a few. All right, super glue, you're in. You are in super glue. Patienting, bed rest, hauling. Handling animals uh, someday, but not today. Destruction as a one. Destruction as a one, and if you're not building, clean. Um, that means I can put, you're taking me off of construction and bump up research. Yeah, this will do. And actually, we'll put, even though Zamana's terrible at it, we just need to get some research done. So Zamana can start researching if she's not mining. Okay. Okay, we'll carry. <laughs> of caring, cooking, socializing, firefighting, intellect. <laughs> By God, they can build. They like doing it. So. blocks um yeah you can cut blocks at some point too when we need that i haven't built the door you need well, I, I need to get the traps up more importantly than the door over on the left side jade's gonna join soon super glue already had a breakdown just join already had a breakdown maybe without a table Whoops. Whoops. Let's go to Ibex. What day are we on? Uh, we're on day 22. Yeah, yeah. They shouldn't be jealous of it after uh, we set them in here. So there we go. I should do it. I don't think the bed was there for uh, first when they did that. Seven or Paragon and D3 already. What'd you roll this uh, season? Oh my god. Silver War. Whoa, I destroyed that guy. There you go. There's a short bow to the brain. So, uh, Silver War... Enraged, he berserked in prison, and he was beside me, and I just turned and legolist him right through the brain. And that's the end of him. Boom, headshot. Alright, well, I guess uh I guess that's one less mouth to feed. Alrighty. You ask you anything? You can, doesn't mean I'll answer anything. Go for it. Depends on what you ask, but yeah. What's up, Chris? Jealous watched you and Zamana get it on while he's trying to sleep. He's going snowblind? Let me a lot, yeah. That was what you wanted to ask. <laughs> Sink that out of there so it's no longer a barracks. Got any cannibals? I do not. I do not. It's got in, still sad about run 13. Yeah, me too. And this one's not going nearly as well. I mean, we finally got some new uh, people in. They're not great, but they are bodies. So now if we can just get 
Uh, get these traps back up. I might even start making traps out of blocks because we have some. It takes friggin' ever to make traps out of blocks, though. Okay, Super Glue is going to have Catharsis. He's going to go back to work and... This is 16, yeah. The best for Jade Beds. So. Is what still restricted? Jade, 77% on their withdrawal. Base and deploy them after at least, yeah. That's true. All right, Jade joins. Get you a name in a second, Jade. Let me uh, check your work, though. All right, I'm gonna have her start cooking. Destruction is second. Uh, plant cutting, actually, we need more trees cut, so. Let's do plant cutting to two at the moment. Destruction three. Okay. All right, Jade, who are you from the queue? You are hysteric. Welcome in, hysteric. You're incapable of violence, so I, I hate you just a little bit, but. You know, I can put your body in a choke point and people can beat up uh, beat up on you while other people shoot, so. Uh, let's go ahead and switch their schedule too. I might do the biphasic thing soon too, but. She's also going to have a breakdown. We already know this. We know this. Okay. Drag these traps back up, man. Let's go to Anska. Take a bunch of tiny mammals to get handling up. Butcher for food to return some investment. Yeah, maybe. Depends on how close they are, you know. Like, if I see something nearby, we might uh, do that. And they can be meat shields, and then we can eat them. Especially if they're grazing animals, but... Alright. Uh, I'm going to put plant cutting over growing on my character now. So that he starts helping get these trees cut down. So we got to get those traps up, man. Four? I know. But it took us friggin... 24 days to get them and all three of the new ones are bad what was a run killer what are some of the things that have killed us during this uh we've had raids on day one there was one time that we had three raids within the first five days uh all the ones that have gotten established and actually to a point where we have like a full base have died to um big uh, uh big mech raids pretty much john used two on guns already so if you are able to use to make charge rifles, that's your number one. Charge rifles, in my opinion, if you're if you're looking for what to use your inspiration zone, charge rifle. Uh, next is assault rifle or heavy SMG. For the most part, those are like the top three that I would do. If you're not seeing any of those yet, you could go ahead and use it on like bolt action or something like that. Mini guns are good, but they're really unpredictable. And they're better in, like, AoE setup situations. Smoke leaves, solder and stones. Uh, so what? Yeah. They're at 81%. 81%. They'll be over it eventually. I wonder what percent they were when they first joined the colony. No idea.
Don't remember at all. Chain shotgun's really good too. Uh, it takes a different kind of setup if you're not using like a normal uh, kill box. Or I mean, you could have like a flank area for your chain shotgun, but yeah, chain shotgun's a really strong, really strong weapon. Close range weapons, yeah. They're really crazy good. But again, you have to be in really close range. Okay, we almost got the second row of traps back up. We really gotta get the, uh, the research going. So, I'm gonna bump research up on our character. It's already at three. It's already at three. Staring having a tantrum. What are you gonna attack? The wall. Okay, that's fine. What else? Another wall. Cool. That door. Rather not break that. Or this, actually. We don't have a lot of wood, you know? Transport pod crash. Tony, you already have a family, Tony? Tony, I just don't even know if I care about you. Oh, you're like right here. <laughs> All right, fine, Tony. Fine. We even have an unowned bed. Depressive chemical fascination. Everyone wants drugs. Everyone that drops in here. Chain shotguns put by MP throwers and kill box. Yeah, they're really good. Can team handle and get them a bunch of little furries to follow them around. Sarah's gonna keep fainting. They're gonna ignore that anyway, but for 86%. Okay, we got the uh, second layer of traps up. You have drugs too, we would care. If you drop pot into the base, I guess so. Free drugs for anyone that drop pods into the base. We haven't had any traders this game, right? Just a couple of travelers. You know, actual trade caravans. We're 25 days in. Are ugly bases more efficient? I mean, I guess it depends on your your taste at what ugly means, but usually the most efficient bases are where everything is pretty close together uh, in big open spaces. So you get the, the uh, buff for being in a spacious area and stuff like that. So, I mean, it doesn't look maybe as nice as having like little buildings set up and roads to them and stuff like that, but yeah. Chapter will be too long. The AI will start hitting the walls. Um, an Ibex doe self teams. The only time I've had that happen, obviously, is if they're a sapper or if the raid already got had already been broken. Let's see, so they shouldn't, as long as there is an opening all the way to the base, and they're not sappers, and the raid hasn't broken. If they break, they'll start. Uh, like if they're retreating, they'll start breaking through all the. All the walls from where they are. The deer's like, wait, why are you why are you making a meat shield zone? Why the meat shield zone? You know what? No reason at all. Absolutely no reason. Don't even worry about it.
All right, let's name you, little deer. Someday you will die defending us, and you will become a venison steak. Uh, the next pet name in the queue is Doodoo from Rakes. Thanks, Rakes. Hey, pirate. Oh, God, it must be after. Oh, no, no, it's not quite as late. How's it going, pirate? No trade caravans pearled, no pawns, though. That's true. That's true. Little doo-doo. One this year, so you're missing your jerky. Got me, pirate. Vampire. Research going so slow. Joyce, let's go on Jose. Welcome in. Vegetarian traits where people don't like eating meat. Not in the base game. There's ascetic where people will like eat raw stuff and not be bothered by it. The deserter? No. 40 seconds, so that would mean a day would be about 16 minutes real time. It's pretty interesting. On 1x speed, I'm assuming, right? If you do 1x speed, an uh, in game day is about 16 minutes. Hmm. Higher real time. Someone asked that the other day, and I didn't know uh, I didn't know the answer, so. Let's try to remember that. 90%. Marriage is on! Oh, Zaman and I are going to be so happy. We won't care about any... We will, we will eat corpses and... Oh, Psychic Soothe. Forced weather. What kind of weather? Fog? For a new colonist? You know what? 9.5 days. Absolutely. Come on over, Johnson. Fog is going to lower our accuracy, but... You know what? We have crappy bows anyway, so. Forced weather. All right, bring me, bring forth the Johnson. Oh, why are you a pyromaniac? But trigger happy with zero shooting. <laughs> Nimble melee though. Oh, why is everyone so bad? Okay. We need bodies, you know what? Johnson, you might want to set some things on fire at some point, but... I'll try to look the other way. <laughs> Who's next in the queue? It's Hytala. Alright. Growing and plant cutting as a one. That's pretty nice. Uh, so that will allow me to take... Growing and planting down below research on my character. Okay, so that will help a little bit. Not a great character, but we can use the body. We gotta get research done. We're so far, far behind, so far behind. Let's play with 5,000% work speed. No, I've never played like that. Let's go to Isaac Wokeman. Good. Yeah, we used to eat deer jerky all the time as a kid. Venison jerky. Um, it's really good. So we're going to need another bed. I, I'm going to go ahead and break this open, and we'll make a different prison uh, sometime. Sometime. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's 
It's going to hold that open too. Still like no deer plague in Alabama. Can try down the roads that hitting one. Wrath Rumbos. Okay. We don't have the means to kill them, but that would be incredible. If we got Thrumbo Dusters, oh, that could save us from the next raid. But we really gotta get some research. Just done. Just done. Okay. We'll eventually get a, uh, a room over there. Not yet. So we're going to go ahead and move these. Can't because we're working on them. That's right. So we got five people. We need four beds all together. So we, we're good. We're good. Food's looking all right. Finally have electricity pretty soon. After a long time of not having it. Very long time. Eric still having that breakdown. How long is their over their addiction? Or 92%. So close to a structure, maybe you can drop a roof on them. Word for you. It's pretty interesting. I haven't tried dropping a roof on them yet. No manhunt that way. I know about the uh, making a hot room and trying to lead, you know, lead animal animals in there, kill them or down them. Um, try that on thrombos, of course. They just break through. But dropping a roof on them is kind of interesting. Because it only takes one pillar to do, huh? Hmm. I might try it out. Inspiration, they pretty much carried your colony until insects came. Yeah, yeah. We had that pet thrombo on stream named Tank that we even used res serums on. Uh, we got it early. An early self-tame. And uh, carried the run for a long time. So then it has to be there already when they sleep. Gotcha. Because then they wake up when you start building. So we could wall them in until they start death. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. We tried that, um, I don't know, late into the beta, actually. It was already fixed at that time. It's too loud. Situation, 1.3% chance you got it. Thrombos are awesome if you can keep them fed. Besides the roof, yeah. Yeah, so like if it falls asleep here, you could go build a roof over it and then try to collapse the roof. Yeah. Probably too much effort for what it's worth right now anyway. Uh, build roof area, one, two, three, four. Okay, Zmana, are you the one that's set for mining? Yes, you are. Five thrombos, they aren't worth the food. It takes to keep them. Well, if you're on a map where they can just eat trees, where they can just roam and eat the trees, it's not as bad. But yeah, they, they do eat a whole lot. And having one early game was enough to tank raids for us. But five is a lot to keep fed. They need everything. Uh, all right, so, oh my God, we finally got batteries. We're gonna try to rush the mortars. Rush. Rush to mortars. We're halfway through the first year. Manhunter pack. Uh, we're already closed off, right? So schedule people to stay inside the walls. What kind of manhunter pack? Links? That's really small. What? That's really small, but we are closed off, right? So that's closed. This is closed. 
This is closed. Uh, yeah, we're we're fine back here. They're so inaccurate for you, they seem pointless. Well, I mean, against sieges, it's nice to have mortars up. You know, it's one of the like few ways to survive a siege, especially on these big maps where like if there's a siege down here, there's no way we're gonna get there before they set up. Don't forget EMPs, yeah. It's gonna be a long time for get enough research for EMP, but. I believe it's such a small manhunter pack. It's really odd. Never encounter one of those. The sieges. So, uh, siege is when the enemy sets up their own mortars and they shell your base, and they you can't pull them to you unless you deal damage to them in some way. And the safest way is to use your own mortars against them. Your resources for the chance to inflict serious damage. Yeah. So enemies can use mortars on you. Which, uh, if we have a siege right now, we just lose. We couldn't do anything. We have short bows. We have short bows. So. We could leave our base either because of the links. Get a threat from that back zone from the mountain. No. The only way that we could do that is. Uh, so, mountain is basically like fog of war. There might be an opening to the edge of the map. We don't know. So if we were to dig right here, like if we dig this steel and it turns out there, there's an opening behind the steel all the way to the edge, then raids can spawn there and we won't be able to close it off because you can't build next to the edge of the map. So there is a risk when you start building into a mountain. You never want to build all the way to the, uh, or you, you need to be careful and maybe scan with a melee weapon to make sure at least the borders that you're digging to don't extend or make an opening all the way to the edge. Some maps are deceivingly, uh, like the mountains are deceivingly bad. It'll look like you have this big mountain range for defense and you start digging and it's got all these friggin' openings. 13 guys, all with sniper rifles. Ugh. How do you scan it? Uh, so how you do it, let's see, do we have someone with a melee weapon? So you need someone with a melee weapon you draft them and you click on the melee weapon. And when you hover over, if you see the icon that shows your melee weapon, that means there's something solid there that they could attack. So if you scan over, oh, there we go. You see how it turns from melee attack to that? That means that's open. That means there's nothing there to attack. That's just open. So we know there's an opening there. So you can grab your melee weapon and scan the edge if you want to try to see if there's like an opening to the edge. Doesn't look like there's one on this map. So, it would be safe on this map to dig all the way. That's the easiest way without digging. Yeah, it's a nice little trick. A cheese you did not know. Today I learned, yeah. Yeah, my, my pleasure. <laughs> it's really nice, especially if you like building mountain bases. You can... So, as you scan through for those open places, you can then mark the open places with, like, uh, a plan, you know? Like, if that was there, mark it, and you can decide whether you want to dig to that opening for a reason, or if you want to avoid it. Did we do that? Yeah, it's very, it's really helpful. <clears throat> they will patch it. It's been there for a long time. Now, if you want, you can go even crazier with it. We haven't used this, but you can also scan an ancient danger to see what's inside. We just learned that you could also use it for that solar flare right as we get electricity. Um, you can scan an ancient danger to see what kind of enemy is before you open it. If you do that and you, you select for them to click it, it'll t say, I can't attack X or whatever. They can't reach X. So if you click and it's like, I can't attack, you know, whatever insect, you know that it's an insect one. We haven't done that yet, but you can. You like it when the sappers find it for you? <laughs> All right, so we actually have electricity. We have a solar flare, though, so we can't use it. Um, we get the electric stove down. We get lights, and then we just need to spam traps and get research. Spam traps, get research. One, two, three, four, five, six. A meteorite of silver. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Oh, hopefully that's close. Oh my god, that's the opposite of close. Oh god. <laughs> Solar Flare? Would it work? No. No, Solar Flare takes out all electricity for some, for some reason. patch it out they'll patch it out so when these links are gone we will make another row of traps and we just need to get uh can i actually <sighs> yeah we don't really have um get rid of this we able to get rid of this the stove is up uh super glue it's not too happy right now so let him chill Alright, so we're going to copy this uh, cook some meal times four over to the stove. And we're going to bump this up to 12. And then we're going to copy this one. So if we don't have enough materials to make four at a time, uh, we'll make one at a time. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with this one, though, is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to have this one pause and not restart up until we start getting below five. So what this should do is it basically should wait until we have enough materials to make four at a time up to 12 or more. But if we start running out of enough food to make four at a time and get all the way down where we only have one meal each, they'll start restocking them one at a time. Should work that way. Okay, so we wanna, do we have, we have 75 granite, 54 marble, okay. Uh, 75. 54. Time, oh, it's far, yeah. Let's use some uh, reverse psychology on Randy. I'm sure that'll work. Oh, we're almost halfway through the first year. We are so behind, man. So behind. Mm -hmm. Solar Flare can end at any time. That'd be great. Thanks. Thanks, Randy. Uh-oh. We got our one wish. Clips is ending. It's going to be foggy for a long time, though. Um, Steric. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to reinstall this one. Is it dark there? It is dark right there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. These freaking links are still here. Launch tunnel I'll have to get for the AI starts slipping out. Goes into sapper mode. I don't know. I don't really. I don't usually have it happen unless you break the raid, or um. Uh, or their sappers or whatever, unusually clever, etc. Thermo kind of wants to self tame. I wish he would. I wish he would. zone here. Let's 
I think we have enough steel for a little while. I don't think we're going to really be using it anytime soon. So we can knock uh, Zamana out of mining temporarily. So they can go back on research. Let me finish the one they're on. Back up. It's mod or core? They're a mod, yeah. Right last week. Just three layers, really? That's really weird. Hmm. I wonder if that's a recent change. So we had mechs breaking through the wall instead of going through? Because I've seen mechs go like up and down these long, you know, tunnels of uh, barricade nothing, barricade nothing, and not start breaking through. So that's really, really odd. No, I think as, as long as we get these uh, trees cut down, the solar flare happening and then have these trees up was what uh, kind of screwed with that. But there should be plenty of power for what we have once it starts churning. Those links done yet? Yeah, they're starting to leave the map, so starting to fall asleep. Before you go to bed, starting to become a routine for you. That's awesome. Thank you, Lance. Every night, aside from Sunday. So on Sunday, I guess you just gotta stay up all night. It's the only option. There's no other streams, obviously. So on Z, welcome back. Doing all right. Doing all right. Yeah, I want Hysteric to be cooking, not me. So. You'd be so tired, though. <laughs> the middle, it might be partially because it was winding against your bedroom. Yeah, that is weird. It's really weird. Yeah, pretty well. Gain some confidence thanks to you. Start playing on losing is fun. Awesome, yeah. Play on whatever's fun for you. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Grinding out these challenges is fun for me, but if uh, it gets frustrating or something, just, you know, dial it back or maybe dial like one part of it back. But as long as you're having fun. So, what else are you doing aside from losing is fun on your, like, which storyteller and stuff, map and all that good stuff? Um, so it looks like the links are gone, so we can go ahead and go back to unrestricted. So we can start working on this stuff. Always do losing is fun. Get that research done. If we can get to mortars, I'll feel much, much better. I'll be shocked if we get to mortars, though. We should definitely already be there, but uh, this run did not go as I hoped. Sammy shows non permanent summer, has a 30 day growing period with cats. Commit mode, timber forest with flat terrain, USA. Small hills at best with a river. Gotcha. Yeah, so there's one thing about temperate forest that's deceptively 
harder than some maps. I still don't think it's I still think it's the easiest overall to be successful with. But uh, if you look at most maps and you look at the movement speed on the terrain, there's there's quite a few that have better movement speed than uh, Temperate Forest 87% everywhere. So Temperate Forest is, uh, is a little annoying for movement speed until you can get some paths set up and whatnot. But I mean, it also impacts the enemies. So it kind of is a trade-off. But aside from that, I think Temperate Forest is uh, definitely the easiest way to go. Best way to go. Do you did a map, a map exactly like that. This map looks promising. Yeah, I mean, we have an, I mean, this isn't our best start, but we have an okay start. So if we, we finally have research going, if we can get to mortars before we get a siege, I will feel okay about it. We still haven't had a single trader caravan, which is weird. That would help out a lot. We mined a bunch of gold. We have 333 gold. If we can get a slaver or not even a slaver, we need a weapon trader. If a weapon trader shows up and we can buy like a couple of charge rifles or charge rifle marine armor or something like that, you know, uh, we should be good for a little while. Viking fives. Oh yeah, the Boral Forest. Forest. Um, that's my favorite tile set, even though I hate playing on it in, not really hate playing on it, but playing on it is definitely a chore because of all the places you can't build and they're usually really cold maps, but uh, it's my favorite tile set get all the seasons yeah we have this big chunk of silver which is really worrisome but we just need like if a weapons dealer showed up right now i would immediately send zamana down here to mine but put a home zone down there or whatever but no such luck yet So our goal right now, get to mortars. After that, uh, we'll get guns along the way. Bolt action, at least. Get to mortars, make some bolt action while researching mortars. Um, and then, I guess I'll grab Devil Strand really quick. Throw a bunch of Devil Strand down in these pockets back here. And then just try to survive until we can trade all that crap off. All right, we're researching machining. Go, got another layer of traps. But yes, you actually have to think about that. If I were sent, well, we're playing on time mode where wealth isn't um, an issue. The game just gets harder no matter what. So with the time-based mode, it's uh, uh, independent from wealth. The difficulty is independent from wealth. So the game every day gets harder no matter what. So even if you back your wealth down or have something that knocks your wealth down, next read's still going to be harder. So the real challenge in Negi Brutality 500% and uh, the time mode is trying to get ahead of that curve. So we, we got a bunch of wealth um, out of gold like in the first couple days of the game in anticipation, well, hoping that we would get a good trader, but we haven't had any traders. How's it going, DK? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Arch Hills? Um, we are in mountain. Yeah, it's a mountain tile, and uh, we're on 325 by 325. Don't have a lot more blocks. Uh, who's doing the least important stuff right now? Researching is the most important. It's really what is building. Building and cleaning. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have him start making some blocks as a secondary thing. He really sucks at it, but you know what? We need blocks. DK, thank you for the follow, DK. Appreciate it. Any performance problems? Stays the setup screen and maps this large. I haven't had any. I mean, it might vary based on your machine, obviously. 
Uh, as far as the pathing stuff goes, the main thing... So there are some benefits and some detriments about having a bigger map. So the main thing is that things can land further away, which can be good sometimes, depending on what it is, and bad sometimes. So, for instance, if you have a uh, defoliator ship, if we had a defoliator ship land, like, anywhere down here, we could just ignore it for the entire game. Like, it's... It will never reach our base, the uh, the poison ring. So you can just ignore it. Where if you're on a small map, you're going to have to deal with it. But if we have a siege that spawns down here and we need to go take care of it before mortars, it's so far away that it's going to set up and shell us. and They're going to have a defensive position before we even get there. Or like if we have a mortar uh, or a, a mech cluster set up with a mortar and a mortar shield, we just got to eat the mortars. There's no way we're going to get down there in time and deal with it. So... As far as pathing goes, I haven't had problems with pathing, but you can always test it out. Uh, which storyteller? Randy on this one. Thanks, Boo. Try Randy. Blood and dust. Colonist gets one shot on day two. What happened to the other one? Um, we just didn't get a colonist <clears throat> on the last one, Fugor. We didn't get a second colonist until like day 38 or something, 36. And by then, we were too far behind. This one, we actually didn't get a second colony until in the 20s. And then we got a bunch all at once. So now we're trying to rush to catch back up. Let's say you strip a Fallen Pawn and then capture them and decide you want to recruit them. They have a negative buff from Nudity. How would you go about giving their clothes back? You can set up a zone in the prison and set it on critical and set it for clothing. If you dump clothing in the prison, uh, prisoners will put it on automatically. Oh, the one that was going good in the mountains. Oh, oh, that was run 13. That one, we died. Hey, look, a slaver. That one, we died to uh, centipedes. So these ones will sell some colonists. And if they have really good colonists, we're going to get them. Uh, at the very least, we can give them or sell them some of our gold. I was really hoping for a weapons dealer. Also with them here, I feel a little bit safer. A little bit safer with them here. Our best social pawn is, let's see, I have an eight. Steric has an 11. Train with Otter. Yeah, so like Nico said, make a stockpile in the prison, set it for like critical so that they take and set it for whatever clothing you want them to bring in uh, only. All these, this one looks old. Oh, they're both beautiful pawns. Look how expensive they are. He's not... What? I can't believe that's not a beautiful pot. Oh my god, look at this. Industrious. Oh, look at all this. Holy crap, Marco. Yeah, this one's beautiful. Marco is crazy good. I don't know that I've ever seen just a random pawn as good as Marco. Can we get him? No, oh, we can't get him. Can't get him. We only have 1,800. Marco, why? Why, Marco? That's a crazy good pawn. Aside from his age, that's something you would make in, like, prepare carefully. That's their pemmican, yeah, I don't have any. I could sell herbal medicine, but that still wouldn't get us enough, I don't think. Let's look. Yeah, still not enough. So. Still not enough. Oh, well. Probably best we save it for weapons anyway, but God. We could run to the silver. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Zvana, let's go. Can we get enough silver out of this in time? I don't know. It's so far away. If we lose the mana, I'll be, un I'll be sad. Take the risk of the silver, yeah. Show him again? Sure. Actually, where is he? Which one was he? Marco. Marco 
Industrious Undergrounder. God, he has uh, double digits in construction, mining, plants. It's really good. I mean, aside from combat and him being a little bit older, he's really good. Crazy. Crazy. It was time to get some silver. Yeah, that's why I try to do the silver. Crazy good for just a random slaver or slaver pawn. Yeah, no problem, Shire. How much do we need? We need about 300 more. Yeah. I think we might have just enough, but it'd take all of our money. What I'm really worried about, though, is we do this, and we still have no weapons, and we have no money to buy weapons, so... I follow. Thank you, Lance. Yeah, maybe I should just have them grab this while they're here, too. Man, it's a really good pawn, but I keep... I'm second-guessing whether we should spend everything on it. Might never get that trader. That's true. But will this guy help us to survive a raid? No. He won't. Uh, did we not get the other silver brought up? Oh, okay. I was like, where did that go? Did I take the silver? Oh, to map 17, I got you. Unusual for a slave. <laughs> Yeah, so we can get it. All right, let's do it. Plant drugs and double strand. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, let's see who's next in the queue. Pawn scum. Marco. Okay. Pawn scum. A burning passion. Socialist. Uh, plant cutting. Growing as a one. Destruction as a two. Mining as three is fine. And so that can allow us, let's see, who else is on? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's mine. You're really bad at mining, aren't you? Oh, you have a nine. You're just really slow for some reason. Oh, you're kind of starving to death. Just a little. You're just a little starving to death. I don't know. Go ahead and eat that. It's fine. Is it reserved? Hang on. Someone else reserving this? Before I'm getting Zamana on it? Yeah, okay. Someone else was trying to come down here and get it. They left a gift as well. Ooh, seven medicine after we just sold them all of our herbal medicine. Oh my lord. Alright, we need a bit. We need another bed. So we're going to uh, make this bed. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Pretty nice.
how much longer on this uh, fog? Uh, we got like four more days. That tunnel's done. All right. So we got a little room right here. What do we got? We got marble. We got some marble. Fog change plant growth? I don't know, actually. I know it it, uh, it impacts um, accuracy. I'm actually not sure if it counts as blotting out some of the sun. No, I didn't think you. Okay, uh, I might even build another research bench, even though we don't have anyone that's good at it, but I need to force research get done. Oh, Zavana. My bad, Zavana. Is there a rat in my farm? We have our pet Ibex. But... Yeah, there's a rat. Welcome back, I squared. Yeah, it lowers light percent, which, uh, hmm. So, so, I mean, I guess it would impact plants too, huh? Oh, I didn't mark uh, pond scum off. Astro, welcome back. Thank you for the follow, Astro. Thank you for coming back in. All right. So, where is 25 from this? Um, probably hit from back here. That's 13 across, so let's get 7 to 17. Where's 25 at? It's like right there. Okay. Hmm. Turtles and chill. Davey, thank you for the 100 bits. And Adam, we trust. Thank you, Davey. Come the plant. It'll show a decreased plant growth rate due to low sunlight. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for, like, daytime to come along. That's why I clicked it. I mean, it's saying growth rate 100%. So it's not going to impact rice, really, unless it drops down below 51%. Is that what I'm want to see here? Because it does say growth rate 100%. Uh, and in the rich soil, 140 I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't show it on that that part of the tooltip. I don't know. So on Davy, thank you again for the hundred bits, and Machiavelli, welcome in. Welcome. In. All right. So who else can I force to work on this? I guess Asteric can do it. Quite welcome. You had a chance to try out that uh, music section yet? If you had another big host come through? Out of curiosity. You get those corpses moved sometime. Dump them in the river so that they rot faster. Or, this is not a river, but... Dump them in the water so they rot faster. New mods? Yeah, we're playing with some quality of life mods, Gabe. Uh, there's the link. Thank you, Finn. Uh, the most game-changing one is probably wall lights. Aside from that, mainly, um, like, work tab, medical tab, animal tab. For more information on these. Um, but yeah, you can check out the, the link there. Spire trade. Spire trade.
mediocre. We can get that up a little bit. But I just need to rush research. Research, research, research. What kind of blocks we got left? We do have some granite left. Dow do? Wall light same as normal bulbs? Um, let me check actually. So the downside to the wall lights is that it produce you can only put it on a wall. So the light comes from this area, whereas if you have the um the normal bulb from the game, you can put it further out and it does a bigger circle. Uh let's see, it costs five steel for a wall light, whereas the normal standing lamp costs twenty. So it's a fourth of the steel, but it can only light from one direction. Have the same light properties. Ten watts. I wonder what this actually takes up. Thirty watts. So yeah, they're cheaper. They take less wattage, but they only light from that area. So you need more of them. Yeah, it takes less power. Um, fourth of the cost, a third of the power, but you need more of them. Whereas like, how many do I have to light this whole area? I have six. Where we could do it with two with the other one. So I guess it kind of balances out. The wall lights look a lot better. Yeah. So with six, yeah, it's pretty pretty much the same as it would be for us to have two bulbs in here. I think we could get about the same coverage with two bulbs. Not 100%. I haven't used the normal lights in so long. I just don't like them out in the middle of the floor. Doing all right, Davey. Doing all right. All right, so... We're gonna work on uh, increasing this even further. And then uh, we're gonna put some pillars right there. We need to get these moved out of the way too. Salsa, thank you for the follow salsa. Welcome in. Mad Dame Salsa, appreciate it. Floor space is pretty even too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think they look, give less light overall to balance it. Less light and directional. You want to have them change cost or lighting properties? Seems a wash. I think they look much better. I think overall you're spending about the same wattage in steel because you need more of them. Um, but looks much better. I'm so afraid we're gonna get hit by siege before we can get mortars up. Uh, he's not good at researching, but I'm putting him on it. The mod has settings to just cost power use. Oh, I didn't even know that. So you can actually adjust it as well to balance it however you want. That's true. Yeah, you need more power line too. I didn't think about that. I had to run power over here to connect all these, whereas a normal bulb out here would just connect to this side. Uh, also, for anyone that doesn't know, the actual power conduits do have a hit to beauty, but like these little cables don't. Those are just like... I'm not... Not real. It's just a graphical thing. I know. None of the game's real. It's all just graphical stuff. But you know what I mean. As far as the ponds are concerned, these wires don't matter, but the conduits do. Forced weather. Almost the seven days. Rainy's been a little quiet. I'm getting kind of anxious. I mean, he did hit us pretty hard early. Uh, the last thing he did was the lynxes, right? The lynx. So, and that was a few days ago. So in a few 
few days since the links. All right, so we got three people researching full time. There, are, none of them are good at it, so our research is still kind of moving slow. But it's moving slightly faster than before. Now that we have three. Okay. Um. So I can start having super glue since he's mainly just uh, building. I have to start working on some flooring just to make this um, higher quality so that um, we get better mood from being in here and then we may have more inspirations. So let's go with some marble tile. Uh, we'll just start with like a strip of it up here and a strip of it. So what do we end up putting ponds come on mainly? Plants? Yeah. And look, he got all this wood in that time. It's crazy. That's crazy. So I guess now would be the time to uh, also think about um, getting that trap stockpile. Because Randy can hit you twice a day. Uh, at worst, he can do twice a day. And so if we have something that comes right through here and takes out all the traps and we have another one before you can build them, that'd be really bad. So I might do like, we already have storage here. So I might have um, super glue start making traps. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I have them start making traps and just storing them. Do we actually want that coming through there? Probably. Hmm. I can fix it later. If you like tweaking the options for the seal cost and watch the bulb, you can adjust that in the mod options. Hey, Night Spark, welcome back. How's it going, Night Spark? We are on day 33, so I'm guessing you were going to ask. Next up in the queue of death, Demon. Sam, Kaz, Trevor, Zamana again. Hey, Zeus, Ah Squared, Musgrop, and Jerezy. Just woke up, sipping some coffee. That sounds terrible, but hopefully you're enjoying it. Give us the pets. We still don't really have anyone that's good at it. Our best handler is a five. Five. What's on the map? I wouldn't. I would like to have some donkeys at the moment, or huskies. But uh, if donkeys come on the map, I'll probably try to tame some. We'll have to check that every now and then. Also, fine. Put those down. But if you do feel like they should cost more steel, give less light, etc., you can change it. It's good to know, yeah. I've never messed around with that. Quest available. Rebecca's secret. A 42-year-old geologist named Rebecca is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you. There's some kind of threat following Rebecca. She's unwilling to say what. Well, you know what, Rebecca? Get lost. Unknown threats. So quest threats are separate than storyteller events. So you can have a threat uh, from a quest happen and then the storyteller hits you at the same time. So for instance, she could have mechs following her and then we get hit with a mech raid at the same time. Mechs would just kill us either way. What if it was Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms? Uh, in this scenario, I'm gonna say no still. Um, By the way, I really need to post the move for tomorrow. I will, if my wife doesn't make a decision after the stream, uh, I'm just going to pick and I'll let you guys know after stream tonight. I keep saying I need to uh, stop having these at the very last minute, post at the very last minute, but it happened again. It happened again. 
Anyone on researching? I don't want to on haul plus. Because I want you guys. I want you guys researching. Always. Go on the map. Yeah, we didn't get our second pawn until like the late 20s. Uh, which is kind of crazy. I think we got our second pawn in like 26 or something maybe. But now from there, we've kind of tried to explode. We're really behind on research is the main thing. Really, really behind on research. We're trying to get to mortars right now. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Man, I've seen that so many times. Times a movie? Uh, 9 p.m. on Sunday nights. Yeah. Hey, guys, squid. Okay, we are 2,500 away from getting mortars. Uh, also, we have the machining table. Uh, we're going to be able to make bolt action as soon as this is done. So we need to go ahead and get um, compact machinery and steel. So there's some compact machinery. I think there was some more. There's some. Okay. I believe pond scum was really good at mining too. Yeah, so after these are hauled in, we'll be doing that. What, weapons? Yeah, this is the sad thing. Short bow. Uh, poor revolver. Poor revolver. A log. Incapable of violence. Pawn scum we haven't given anything to yet. We've had no... Um, like I said, we were on a single pawn until like day 26. We've had one trader, and it was a slaver. Log, yeah. Atala, you know what? Let's equip you with this club instead of the log, at least. Wood. <laughs> I kind of forgot we equipped the log on him, so. That's slightly impressive. It's better than bad. It's good. It's log. Save healer max serums for... I think it's worth using your only one on a brain scar from a shock lance. If they're a really good pawn, yeah, maybe. Uh, that's usually what I do too, is if they have some kind of uh, thing that's giving them the minus 10 from being in serious pain all the time, they can't be fixed otherwise. So like something on the torso, something to do with the head, like you said, the brain. Uh, I think those are pretty decent uses for mech, healer mech serum, yeah. And after you get your wealth up quite a bit, you're going to be offered more of those from uh, quest rewards. So they're they're kind of rare, but you will get opportunity to get more of them through quests. Pond scum, I'm going to set you mining primary for a moment. Walk around holding his wood in his hands. Uh, forced, forced weather is from a quest. Yeah, we're almost done with it. We have about a day left. It was a quest that we got a colonist from, so I absolutely took it. Uh, check out this colonist we just bought, by the way. For anyone that didn't see, we just had this colonist that we got from a slaver. Look at this thing. It took us all of our golds. We traded it for silver. Actually, it took us silver meteorite and two nodes of golds to buy them. Industrious. With all these stats, no health issues. Kind of crazy. A little bit old. And uh, not good at fighting. But it's kind of crazy that this was just a random slaver. Random slaver. Worth all the money. Yeah, I'm just worried that we're going to have... Um, we have no weapons. Like, we have nothing. We're about to be able to make guns, though. I'll feel much better. Almost at guns. Look at this thing. These are living people. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're right. I care for each of my pawns deeply. They all have just as much worth and meaning as any other. That hard's a Christmas movie. That's what people say. 
Uh, but yeah, if you have a movie suggestion, I'm trying to mainly um, show stuff that I haven't seen. Uh, that maybe my wife haven't seen. If you have a movie suggestion, feel free to put it in the movie section in uh, Discord for movie night. Um, it needs to be on either Netflix or Amazon Prime at the moment. Claus movie with the youngling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we watch Santa Claus every year. They're all equal. Some are just more equal than others. Do you have any animals? We have one Ibex that self tamed. We don't. We didn't have anyone that can do taming really until just a moment ago, and they only have a five. So I'm going to check every so often for. Um, boars and things. Or not boars. Um, sorry. Uh, donkeys and things like that. But so far, no. Is that movie running from Alan Rickman? As such, it's a Harry Potter movie. Huh. <laughs> doors yeah yeah and it's just an auto team so it's a prime how about that one we're probably gonna end up watching snow piercer i don't know how interested people are in that one but that's kind of what's on the top of the list at the moment i've never seen it Alcohol addiction. Oh no, do we have some beer from the Raiders? Oh no. Is that the train one? Yeah, I've never seen it, so I'm blind to that. You what you heard? That's what I've heard too, that's good. You liked it a lot. So much anyway. Sequel to Willow Wonka the Chalk Factory. No spoilers if you guys would. But that's what I'm thinking about watching tomorrow. It's going cocking. Punishment. You think it was good too? It's good to hear, yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna watch tomorrow. In the series. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a series until uh, I uh, put the movie on the, you know, possibility list. It's all right. Man. I didn't realize the Raiders had dropped beer. We have two people that have chemical fascination or interest or whatever. No, fascination. It's unfortunate. Someone just got over an addiction. Hey, you get back here. Oh my god, we can make guns. Uh, let's see. Our best is a seven. As well as for the drugs. Yeah. I forgot to even check. Any melee pawns? No one's specific, but um, we have some that have higher stat in melee. I think Hytala, yeah. Itala has an eight, so he can be melee and pawn scum, perhaps also. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make one for each though, at this stage, and then uh, we'll try to get a sword or something for Itala. Here all the drugs with someone binges works well. Oh yeah, that's kind of interesting. Have everyone just carry them on their body. I didn't think about that. That's better than running to burn them all. So you could do something like new policy, holds, and uh, keep an inventory. And have just like like that, and so. When someone has a drug bin, just hit hold on everyone aside from that person. It's kind of, that's pretty interesting. Beat Raider down. <laughs> yeah, think of that overdone. Not mine, I was holding it for a friend, officer. <laughs> no. That's right. Hmm. 
Weapons, uh, range weapons, assault rifle, bolt action, chain shotgun, the charge, charge ones, um, heavy SMG. Hey, the weather controller's done. What do you know? What do you know? Just keep working. Oh, poor quality. That's unfortunate. But better than not having a gun at all. Poor quality really sucks, though. We could have him keep getting almost done and then starting over to kind of build that, but I'm afraid we're going to get hit before we get these done. Over the explosive conduit. Or explodes. Access to the seal. Gotcha. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we just mine it from out here now. It's the last one we're gonna have a make for right now. Equip that. Who's our next best shooter? Put them in order. Super glue is a nine. So that's pretty much it. Everyone else terrible. All right, cool. Hysteric is incapable of violence. All right, Spiglou, you grab that one. Zamana, you grab that one. We have Zamana go kill some stuff, honestly. Free them all the time, yeah. Dog, uh, switch the joints. There's a little bit of nutrients in it, so animals will end up, um, if there's no other food they can get to, uh, or there's none on the map or whatever, they'll eat drugs. It's a Stardew song. That's what it reminds me of, too, yeah. I I turned that off. I guess it's just because that's what they were carrying when they dropped it. Had nutrition? Yeah, like a little bit. That's why. That's why they do that. Alright. Um, you don't have time, man. Get up, eat a meal. start using a backup generator for times like this it's crazy that our other base because the map was windier was powered by a single um turbine for like oh my god i don't even know how much we had on that thing batteries were always full we had turrets and everything it was always going though always going uh I mean, we have excess wood right now. We can always tear this down later. I don't really like doing it, though. Pons use chocolate to train animals, even though you have rice. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. Yeah, we get geothermal if we get to that far. We'll be, uh, we'll be in really good shape. Backup traps? Not yet. We were just talking about that, actually. 
we've just got a head on wood for the first time. And I built this to kind of store some in to run out there. So we're gonna have super glue start working on that soon. Soon. quiet for a little while last thing was a manhunter pack but we were able to just close ourselves in so did basically nothing really worried about a siege i a siege would just kill us i mean these bolt actions might give us a chance at kind of sniping someone from the edge depending on what kind of weapons enemies have but in general a siege would be the shells sorts of siege yeah problem is when you can't hit the shells for the guys uh hitting you with bolt action or snipers you know it just depends but also where it where it, they come in at the last siege that we had on this map uh they were like down here so by the time we got there they had defense set up and we were in this choke point chocolate chocolate Maybe it'll be a lab. Did it accidentally. It looked awesome, though. <laughs> Wild Woman wonders in. We don't have anyone that can tame her yet. She's also 60 and beautiful. Yeah, we're not going to tame her ever. Might kill her. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up, but I'm not going to have to do it yet. So we're going to need a bunch of that steel to make the mortars as soon as that's done. Milk. Gotta get to bed. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, still blind. Thank you again for hanging out. Have a good night. Have a good night. Well, action is done. Another normal quality. So, I'm pull actions on everyone, even though several people are not good at shooting. Probably have some people go out and uh, shoot some animals here soon. Why are you so slow, Hytella? Oh my god. Oh my god. You really screwed your liver up? And all you did was drink, like, three beers? Good joint. Good going, Hytella. Uh, man. Beer kegs? That was really bad luck. Really bad luck. this out.
Hopefully it's not too much overhead mountain in there. It doesn't look like there's any yet. Does it need transplant? Uh, let me double check. I think you have to transplant though, right? Yeah, don't you have to transplant to fix the liver? That's a good idea. I can steal the wild woman's liver. I can make this into a prison temporarily and steal her liver. What's the percent chance of a... Uh... Probably wait until he's done with his uh... addiction. 50% chance. For sure you need one? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. How's it going, Sean? Welcome back in. To yet, to manage your all? I don't. No, I do not. We just started growing smoke leaf just because it sells for a good amount without having to uh, process it. I was going to have a lot of breakdowns. But is what it is. going so you got some grass the tree yeah we had so because i was on one person for so long i decided not to set up a meditation spot there in the beginning because it was a, a little bit of a walk from the little base so we just really started meditating at it as well so we're behind on that too can you xp roll joints yeah yeah it actually levels up two things right at the same time All right, what's the impressiveness of this room? Slightly impressive. We can get it up higher pretty easily, but just we gotta get to mortars. That's all that really matters right now. Oh, there's some steel back there too. Let's see how deep that goes. I don't think I'm gonna mine it all right now. It's not a ton of steel. Not a ton. Uh, Sui? Sui, thank you for the follow and welcome in. I'm guessing that means you got my message. But, uh, I've been streaming, so I couldn't check, so. Same with T, though. Yeah. Let's go on, Sui. Welcome in. Um, so. Yeah, we're just rushing to mortars. Much you can rush with three people that don't have very much intelligence researching and working on our little kill tunnel traps it's going all right a little concerned still though we might as well make the extra ones in here i kind of want this to open up here too but that's all right that's all right oh we need the pillars almost forgot the pillars so we're gonna do granite column Phelan, thank you for the gift sub to Sui. Thank you, Phelan. Much love to Phelan. 480. You get some food. Sounds good. Lurk sometime. You have time to watch. Yeah, it sounds good. Thank you for the follow. Enjoy your food. Good morning, Vietnam. That makes me sad. How's it going, Ghoul? How's it going, Ghoul? All right, that'll force them in here. Um, how much granite do we have? Not a ton. Security granite barricade. All right, almost have a kill tunnel set up. Uh, group of travelers, they're just passing through. Won't be here long at all. Yeah, we're starting to get the anima grass going. Slowly but surely. I think we have maybe three people with meditation backgrounds, right? We got Firekeeper. Uh, not test subject. All right, we have one person. 
we look best game ever best game ever all right um so we will eventually put the wall back in there i'll put a wall in there i should say we need this defense set up also let's get rid of this visitors again okay it's fine we could roll a different event so that works for me just let them finish doing that Rion researching so close to mortars so close well, like 40 percent 35 maybe columns over barricades um yes so the columns if one of them ends up breaking uh columns are only like 25 percent cover uh whereas barricades are like 57 or whatever it is so if one of these break you don't want to give the enemy 57 percent cover um so that's why i use the columns at the entrance instead of barricades or chunks or something like that to make sure that you can't get back here and get cover pretty much i think i might put us another one there actually um all right super glue i don't know that i was going to initially roof that but all right sorry actually I was thinking about me putting our mortars there but be time later uh we have 109 marble So we just basically want to use all of our wood on traps in here. Uh, we need to be able to get in and repair these. So I don't want to put one right in front of it. So we'll kind of do this. And then we're going to alternate this every other. We'll put steel back there at some point. We need uh, another way to get in there. So I'm doing some barricades have more HP. Yeah, yeah. More cover if one does go down. Cat's just trying to steal your sandwich. It's gonna be human human food. She wanted not to have it. Burn the anima tree down. We could arrest him. I mean, what he doesn't have is catharsis, though. That's the problem there. Sure, you can't burn it, really? I mean, I know it can die from uh, poison. Yeah, 0% flammability. Interesting. So defoliator ships can take it out, but uh, forest fires can't. But that and berserk, it's true. Yeah. It's just since we had people to deal with this. All right. Uh, so we need to get this cleared out of plants as well. Tell him we have catharsis. We might actually hit a double catharsis with him at some point. Why? Well, the grass. Well, I was mainly cutting the small trees and stuff. Grass is kind of just a byproduct, I guess, of it. I need to actually put the um, what should we call it in here? There we go. I don't want them to have cover. 
Slow the walk speed. Yeah, that's what we were talking about the other night, too. So I might want to do that before I build those traps. I would need to... Um... Hmm. What would that... I mean, this is not roof, so it shouldn't superheat anything. How much wood would that take us? We would want to get rid of these doors during that. Almost 900 wood to do it. Huh. And then we can't make more traps right now. It might still be worth. What's the movement speed on burn floor? I don't remember. And then we just have them not clean it, not repair it, not rebuild. I mean, had a trader bring alpha beavers for sale in his caravan. They ate your anima tree. We had a alpha beaver event that ate our, our anima tree in one of these. Probably watched clipped it. Yeah, I can't remember the uh, actual move speed of the burns. Burn flooring. Um. Yeah, let's go get the steel. Or nine marble. We might make some uh, steel traps in here too, at some point. He's still being quiet, which is really worrisome. We're actually on almost day 40. Uh, it's been a long time since we had a raid. A long time. Let's go ahead and clear the animal zone from over here. And let's set up home zone. So we are going to repair this. I actually want them to clean this too. Come on, mortars. Who do we have that's the third person on researching? Hysteric? Uh, they're doing that after cooking. Okay, there they go. It's Mana and myself. Any overhead mountain? That's overhead mountain, so it's actually pretty good. We got kind of lucky there. We we're able to carve that out without getting overhead mountain. Put nine three. Put no, not sure if we got changed. It's worth the effort. Oh yeah, that's worse than just soil then. Or I mean, that's better run speed than just the 87% on soil. <clears throat> so we have some rich soil over here. Might be where I end up putting Devil Strand if we get to that point. Uh, overhead Mountain. Overhead Mountain. So Overhead Mountain can spawn infestation. So if you look at the um, visibility of roof icon, you ho hover over the dark green in the bottom right, it'll say Overhead Mountain. Um, that can spawn infestations if you leave it. Um, if it's not too cold and you leave it as open space with the... Uh, I, I think it has something to do with actually enclosing with the roof these days. But... Anyway, point is, Overhead Mountain is the tiles that can spawn infestations. 
Tala, are you going to have a second breakdown? Yeah, he is. He is. Can't believe that was off of, like, three beers that were laying there. Ugh. Played Nexomon Extinction? I have not. Well, you probably knew I hadn't, but... Uh, mortars, mortars, mortars. Okay. So, let's just put more traps down. Lightweights. Uh, yeah, apparently. would love it. Monster Raising Indie Game, similar to Pokemon. Next one. I think I've seen something about it, actually. Sounds familiar. It's still 93%. Yeah, so definitely not worth it then, huh? Because movement speed already is 87. You just test it. So 93. And baseline on soil is 87. So... Poppers is better. It's minus twenty percent on movement speed if popped. That's kind of interesting. So trigger your own fire foam poppers and then don't clean it up. Get them down to 75. So any way to get it lower other than water. We actually have this natural paths thing which allows you to dig areas for water. But I don't know how OP that would seem with this run. I'm mainly using it just for uh, beating down dirt into a hard path i think it would be maybe a little op to put knee deep water in here <laughs> mm, we need another way to access this get rid of this Let's do seal spike trap. Howard's many friends. Climb from nearby. Bits profane. So we get attacked by two groups for this person that we know nothing about. No. You balance like it erodes surrounding area. Destroys whatever was on the tile. Cave in or something. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to use it on this. My inspired trade is over. Challenge, you say this is the toughest world challenge you've done? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't think the time mode would be as hard uh, as it has been. But it's much harder than just normal wealth mode. Part of it, though, is how random uh, elements are in ours. Whereas... Yeah. Anyway, it's definitely harder than like 5% wealth mode. One of your enemies is the terrorist. Yeah, that was our first raider group that came. Terrorist. Shallow water has move speed at 30%. That would help so much. Walk speed, 30%. So we can fill this with water and that would be extremely strong. How's it going, League? Your name is an affront to my religion. <laughs> but welcome in. Just build a pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it does make sense that people would know how to dig a hole. Doing fine. Um, I'm just going to put granite. We have granite. I'll probably just put this in here. Make another opening. Do you have any? We don't really have a lot of wood left. All right. But we'll use one. Mm -hmm. 
Or water marsh at south entrance. Yeah, way down here. Yeah. It's pretty far away. Someday, maybe. But. Moat is valid defense. Yeah. Yeah, and being able to build, like, trenches and stuff like that. Sorry, I tell him. So close, so close to mortars. Still no overhead mountain there? No, there is not. Might as well just mine all that out too. Zeroing for this hallucinations at you, gotcha. Challenge, survive as long as possible. You try to get ship as well. If we survive the 20 years of time mode, then we'll build the ship is basically what it is. That'll like be the ending of it. But yeah, so the big part of the challenge is just uh, playing on the uh, time mode, which uh, gets harder over time every day until it gets to the 20 years. So that's really the, the win is just getting the 20 years. And if we get there, you know, the game won't... The raids and stuff can't get any harder after that point, so then we'll try to launch a ship. But the main thing is seeing how crazy time mode can get pretty much on 500%. Build a grave, let it fill with water. Yeah, see? Yeah. Mortars. Oh, so close, so close. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. So we have to get bio fuel refining. Security. Mortar. Spread these out a little bit. So we're going to get on these. That EMP? No, we're nowhere near. Nowhere near that in the research yet. Graves slow enemies, no cover. So it makes sense to bury them in the kill box. Yeah, what is the movement speed on a grave too? That's another thing we talked about the other night. I can check what it is really quick. colony cap out after two years it's like 20 centuries after one year yeah maybe i don't know it lets you put it up on the 20 year thing so i'm really curious so movement speed on grave It still shows it as 87, but the actual walking across the grave is kind of like walking across a chunk, right? Pretty sure that's kind of what it does. Does it not anymore? Or does it have to be a filled grave to do it? I think it has to be filled, doesn't it? Is the original move speed of soil? Yeah, that's what I was seeing, but let's slow them down if someone's buried in it. Because that's what someone was uh, mentioning as well. I hadn't used for that purpose before. All right, super glue. What do we need to finish this? We didn't get the rest of the components over here. is pretty devoid of components. There's some way down here. So it's 
tomorrow, pond scum, you're gonna take a risk and come all the way down here for some components. Pretty sure we already checked this area. Yeah, that's way down there, man. Percent, yeah. It's the same. Mods are on, there's the mod list. So, we gotta go get these now. Like, we need these done when, by the time the research is done. And hopefully we don't get raided while he's out. <sighs> Living on the edge. Hate doing this at the edge of maps. We've uh, we've had too many people kidnapped this way. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Okay, Spoolu. Uh, when you are done sleeping. Eat a meal, work on mortars. Grab granite. Skyrim Graveyard Keeper, NBA 2K21. Try to distract yourself. I don't know. Are you looking for something more to like zone out to or something that's going to like keep your attention away from other things? Whose feet do you sleep by? Uh, that's a good question. You sleep by super glue's feet. Super glue's feet. Transport pod crash relationship. Another Johnson. Lazy misandrist. So far away. We need to make this door. Afraid I'm going to forget about it. Don't mind that out. He's going to die soon. Don't need to care for him. No, nah, we can get him back. Uh, he's a member of another faction, so he probably isn't going to auto-join. He's... Uh, Hytala's grandfather? He's Hytala's grandfather. Zero and Sil, welcome back. Davey, thank you for the 100 bits and the, uh, the macro. <laughs> thank you, Davey. I'm you're surrounded by Johnsons, yeah. There's com some components. There's some components. We just need to get this done. So super glue. Uh, super glue. Let's do this. Pond scum needs to eat. So after pond scum eats, go ahead and mine this out. Thank you, Davey. Oh, we're finally getting married. It's Mana and I. God, this house is dirty. Can't get married in here. Clean this up. No, mechanoid cluster. Oh, what? That's tiny. Smoke spewer. Oh, we got real lucky. What the crap? That's so much smaller. Oh, I got, I almost got unlucky. <laughs> I just saved them from that spot. Randy was trying to kill me. He dropped someone there that we had a relationship with. I went over and he tried to drop a mech cluster on top of me. Uh, but yeah, this is no problem. Even an unstable power cell. Hmm. Hmm. That's what she said. Classic Randy. Okay. 
Uh, let's have... You guys get in the walls. Okay. Our drones presser, save them for your raider friends. Yeah, yeah. Smoke spear is a little unfortunate, but uh, it's gonna make food grow slower. Well, not just food, plants grow slower. This isn't a bad one at all. Not a bad one at all. We're getting married. There's a mine over the back area. Yeah, and I put a door there. There was only a one tile, so now there's a door back there instead. Makes food, yeah, it makes uh, all your crops, all the plants grow slower. Yep. Just makes it a little bit darker on the map, pretty much. Uh, what a what a beautiful ceremony. Samana in her cowboy hat and me and my bowler. Okay, well, uh, our characters gonna be pretty happy for a while. So, let's go ahead and uh, do this work zone area. I want to see if we can come across or come over here without a uh, without pathing in a really really bad way. Let's find out. Yeah, all right, it's path pathing the ba uh, back way. Nutrient paste meal for emergency food. I don't know yet. I did on a on the first run tonight, but I haven't decided yet on this one. Getting married, not having children. Depends on the person. That could be glorious for some people. Let's go to Hunter. Welcome back. What that means? Let's grow a larger plot. Could, yeah. Turtles and chill. Usually, when I send the macro, that means I am laying back in my chair, but want to give bits or have nothing witty to say. Or. That was weird. Uh, or you're playing WoW and you actually hit it. Yeah, thank you, Davey, for the bits, man. Talos having a tantrum. <gasps> I don't know that could happen. I told tried to shoot hysteric. What? I've never had that happen on this. Yeah, they're the ones having withdrawal. We could take away their legs until they're over it, but, uh... donkeys wander on the map yet oh there is one there is one we haven't no not yet i didn't know that uh calming uh whatever the snap out thing could do that it's crazy crazy cause haven't ever lost pawn to a random tantrum shot yeah
If they grab that, I'll uh, remove that from the work zone. Whoops. Set of memories. There's a kid hitting the mortar. Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave the med cluster alone. It's tempting to wake it, but there's a chance that we actually destroy a bit of it and they come and attack us and we end up wiping most of it. So, it's unfortunate it doesn't have like an activator though, uh, because some things will just ignore this. Six of the Hopstead Challenge. Yeah, I've never, um, I didn't know about them until kind of recently. I've only watched a little bit, but um, maybe I'll be in one someday. I have no idea. It'd be awesome, though. Uh, all right, let's clear one of these, or clear this, I should say. Clear that work zone. Very entertaining. Okay. Uh, we got our two mortars, uh, super glue, hauling wood, the door, it's good. So we are going to shrink this zone from here. I'm going to make a new stockpile zone here. We're going to put this as clear all, critical, uh, go down to manufacture. Factored mortar shells, and we're gonna do high explosive shells. So, really just repairing all the crap that Hytella broke. Great effect move speed. Yeah, apparently not anymore. Uh, we checked and it's same as soil speed, so I removed it. Might just be, seems that way because of animation. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, production biofuel refinery. So we're gonna get that done. Add, make. High explosive shells. Uh, do until we have 10. What are we missing? Nothing? Okay. Chem fuel from organics. Do you until we have 100? Still fine for now. Bragging the horse pin? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, we'll probably put a chest table up before too long. Also, need to bring this inside. light over there can fuel I'm just gonna work him till he's almost starving We'll move this over to you. My God, we have mortars and mortar shells. Okay, we can feel a little bit safer about sieges now. So now we need to uh, 
Switch gears a little bit. I'm going to grab Devil Strands. Still, we have. Don't have a ton still. Radium nearby? Not that I've seen EMPs. Yeah, we EMP is going to take quite a while because EMP is connected with microelectronics. That's a big research project. But yeah, we do need to get there. We need to get to turrets. We'll probably grab turrets after Devil Strand and then try to get to microelectronics. Uh, where is our most likely sapper going to come through? Here and here. So we need some sapper fallback too. Even if we just have like a little bunker over here to shoot from, better than nothing. Uh, I wonder if there's an overhead mountain under this. Probably not. Plus, ready mix. Just normal Randy. Mountain on the left, the one here. Yeah, we'll have to do that sometime. Sometime. that collapsing. Steal mine out? Yeah, yeah. Yep. That was a little close. So we'll make a little bunker spot over here. Uh, for sappers, just in case. Also need to light this area. Is the overhead here? As long as we don't get to overhead mountain, I'm good. Strand's almost done. We're just going to plant this whole area with Devil Strand and maybe up here too. It's going to take a long time for Devil Strand to come in. So, we have multiple people planting. We also should get some paths set up. Alright. No roof left over here, right? Okay. Uh, what do we have? We have granite. Granite. So, we're kind of going to make a little bunker pillbox thing here in case sappers break through this area or this one. We should be able to get better later. Uh, if sappers come through here, we're in pretty good shape. I might make a couple of defensive places here to shoot through. 
They come through this side, they'll break into our kill tunnel, which isn't ideal, but at least they'll be in our kill range. So, let's see here. We can use this for other things too, but we're going to put a lot of doors on both sides of this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move it back one. Okay. Uh, that's marble. We know it was marble. Okay. Granite. Good to start. Those up there too. Yeah, that's all we have. Could just expand this, I suppose. There's no more rich soil, but uh, we had a disease on like day one in this one as well. Oops. But it ended up being uh, fibrous mechanites, and so it helped us kind of get ahead a little bit when we only had one person. We were working super fast. Cargo pods, all right. Berries, okay, they can stay there forever. Don't care about that at all. Wild woman wandered in. Sissy. Able of firefighting, chemical fascination, hard worker, slow learner, 80 years old. Hearing loss. It's your favorite disease to get? Yeah, it was really nice. Really nice. Um, I kind of want to do the rest of the floor in marble, but we don't have a lot of marble. Nearby, anyway. Trauma Savant, it's not your warden. Yeah, I haven't had someone with it. We've had prisoners with it. Man, this guy's still down. this moved over I'm put a shelf by this thing too quiet for a long time look at this making out while playing horseshoes <laughs> so oh yeah no worries i know what you meant ids no we haven't researched ids yet either So we're going to set this to critical, clear all, go to food, raw food, and rice. And then for these, we're going to have them just dump it on the floor. Expect size raids? Yes. Yep. There are kind of break points in general. Uh, with the colonist numbers, depending on the storyteller, but yeah, I'm guessing it does, yeah, in time mode also, because it just says wealth independent mode. It doesn't mention if the population curve changes it, but in general, population curve changes a couple things. One is how likely you are to uh, get, like, join events and things like that. <clears throat> Another is the percent chance to instantly kill someone when they're downed. Um... And then there's a break point where it gets, uh, the game gets much harder to get more points to play with when they, when it spends points on raids. Anti-misfortune. Soothe Randy. Isn't it weird? Davey's dead, which means he's going to bed. 
Good night, Davy. Maybe. I doubt you're going to bed. <laughs> no. Uh, cases survives. In normal mode, yeah. Pawn just add more wealth. Yep. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's get to microelectronics first. And that way we'll get EMPs and we'll be able to trade with uh, space traders. Space traders. We'll be able to sell our drugs that are about to come in. Com console, yeah. Hopefully we can get to it. That'll be a game changer also. Bye, Johnson. So the last thing we had happen was the mech cluster. But it wasn't a bad one. Although it is uh, kind of taking a hit on our food. A little bit. So Pond Scum, I'm going to put you back on primarily planting. For a little bit. Okay, super glue, what are you making? Traps. Surgery to give someone a new lung, they should immediately have the operation administer smoke leaf joint to confirm the lung works right then. Uh yes, absolutely. Max the mortar barrage to try to snipe the power thing. I'm probably just gonna leave him there, Sarge, as a defense against raiders. It's a little risky, but this one's kind of less risky. Um, normally the risk is that they will join another mech, so they'll like defeat a raid and there'll be another mech cluster and they pull each other. There's not a lot of actual mechs here, so I think I'm just gonna leave it up and hope the turrets help us take out raids coming from this side of the map. How slow are the plants growing? Um... Well, it's nighttime, so I can't tell. <laughs> I was like, hang on a second. It's showing 0%. But that's because it's nighttime. I'll have to check during the day. I'm wondering, yeah, if it's the same percentage as Volcanic Winter. I don't know. It seems like the same basic thing. Yeah, no problem, Lise. It's a little scary. What's well, Volcanic Winter? So Volcanic Winter is one of the uh, rare major uh, climate type events where your map is slightly darker for a long time. It can last for uh, entire years, like multiple years. It can last a very, very long time. Um, it makes it so that uh, growing is reduced by quite a bit. And since it makes it darker, I'm wondering if it would also uh, affect aim, like in the daytime. But the main thing is it just makes things grow slower for a long time. How's Colony looking? Promising, yeah. On day 45. You got four years on one? Yeah, Volcanic Winter. So Volcanic Winter is one of those that's like not usually game ending. It's just kind of a, it changes the dynamic of the map. And it kind of depends, I guess, on your growing season on your map but it can last forever. Well, not, not literally, but it feels like it lasts forever. Definitely the longest event. It actually just falls off on its own anyway. Ragacam. 
Canic Winter is great on a desert map. Yeah. That's a good point. Thank you, Ibex. Frying tab, solar are affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solar panels. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, odds are pretty good. Yeah, that we'll see one if uh, if we make it the whole twenty years. We'll probably see all the events. There's a pet body somewhere. Oh, an animal body. Yeah, that's all right. What do we have down? Whoa! Someone dropped those components. Uh, it was when I re-restricted re the zone. It's a good thing I went and looked down here. It's just six components wasting away. Pond scum's on it. We're only 67% of the way to the first Anima Grass. It's crazy. That's crazy. Heavy armor? Nope. nope. Need to research flak vests too. Look at pond scum. Holy crap. Knew something was about to... A shuttle. Pirates are attacking the crash shuttle. Shuttle contains blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm probably not going to take any risk like this because it can stack with other things. So this would have to be... Yep. Nope. I was going to say, they would have to be an incredible pawn to take them. Your favorite custom scenario was a never-ending volcanic winter. Heavy fur dusters, yeah, that's true. This is gonna take us a long time to get to the devil strand that I really want. Uh, we also train a little of our shooting doing that. I thought I was gonna have a breakdown, I don't wanna take him out there, but these three all have pretty bad shooting. trying to survive permit toxic fallout Ugh. strand so much easier to get why dusters because of how much of the body they cover so each kind of clothing has a specific a part and dusters have pretty good armor in general uh but different things cover different parts of the body that's why that's like uh you try to always have button down shirts because it covers more than like the t-shirts for instance Yeah, we can go hunt those two tomorrow. Actually, three out that we could hunt. Fairly easy. Oh, there's one down there, too. Whoa, what happened to the... Oh, the wild people are over here eating those berry drops. <laughs> so tomorrow, we'll send these three off to do that. So they can help. A siege! Oh, we got our mortars up in time! <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold fire. Hold fire there. I have no idea where that was aimed. Cable of violence can't do that either. Didn't even realize that. Uh, Go ahead and start arming the other one. Uh, we got the mortars up just in time. Holy crap. The best headwear? Um, generally, you just, I mean, like marine armor or marine helm and cataphract helm, things like that. But the, the most likely that you are uh, to get early ish that is best, in my opinion, it's probably uh, flag helms.
shield defies for the armor and shield belts. Oh, okay. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. They're assaulting the colony. Uh, are the mortar ones? Yep, they stopped building the mortar. Okay. Our first fight in a long, long time. All right, guys. Go over here. I have no idea where you're going. Tal's going to have a breakdown during this. Destroy the material that they needed. If you do enough damage, yeah. It looks like the second one must have hit uh, a really good spot. Yeah, it's dark and raining. What kind of weapons they got? Uh, frag grenade. Cinderary launchers in the back. Frag grenade needs to go. Oh, I forgot to hold the freaking door open. Uh-oh. Yeah, the reason they're going this way is because I didn't hit hold that one door open. Hopefully when they break through one of these, they'll start going the right way, but... Anti-Tel had a breakdown. Yeah, there's no way I can get to the door. They'll they'll kill Hysteric. Down that guy. It's not good. Those are gonna get through there. These ones will come up through this way, but I don't know what to do about these ones because that friggin' door. Oh, some of them are starting to come this way at least. Inspire creativity. Okay. Hi, Tala, don't do it, man. <laughs> I don't remember if they made it so you can still, you can outlaw doors now from people with breaks or not. I don't think so, right? Yeah, that's some marine armor. Oh, and he died. Okay, we're good. Might have ended up being beneficial if that happened, honestly. Okay. Um... Oh, there's an armor. There's a really good armor. Uh, uh, we don't really have a prison, so I was rearranging stuff, so this is going to have to do. Steric. That. Um. Strip. 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 Capture. Capture. We can look at them afterwards. Capture. Get over here. Capture. Stare, did you shut that door? Yeah. Oh, I have an SMG. Good shape. Got a marine helmet. Marine armor. Yeah. Got some good stuff out of this. This is going to help us so much. Uh, I got to remember to hold this friggin' door open next time, too. Pond scum. Pond scum. Thank you for the 400 bits. Thank you, Pond scum. <laughs> yeah, luckily we had just had that wedding. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, 
All right, let's look at this. Jogger, Night Owl, Gay. That one's good. They're already being tended to. This one's not really being tended to. Quick Sleeper, Psychopath, Pessimist is kind of unfortunate, but Great Memory, Nudist, they're okay. They, they're not they're not very good. So you heal them instead. This one, Lazy, Ugly, Chemical, Fascination. So these two are not great. These two I wouldn't mind having. Um, we need to turn this into an actual prison really quick. So let's just reinstall the stuff over here. We can deal with how ugly it is for a while. Move this bed over. Or super glue. So we're going to move this stuff. How's it going, Quinter? Welcome in. Belmont, you still Oh, I have it. I just keep always forget about it, Jay. Yeah, I do have it. It's game. Yeah, there's some things on the map I don't want to allow, like those berries down there at the bottom right now, but. Unitain Apparel, what kind of penalty? Um it stacks too though, yeah. I think it is the minus five, right? But I think it also stacks. I have a lot of food, so we need to get rid of some of these prisoners. Roll treating you. Doing all right. Yeah, I would take minus three for the marine armor for sure. So, or even minus five or whatever. So we're going to strip them for sure. Also, the smoke pops also don't taint, if I remember right. Good chain shotgun. Good flak jacket. Shield pack. Gonna expand the work zone. It's over here. Plus three, two units minus five. Yeah, there's a the shield belt. Uh, let's go ahead and go strip all these. Strip, strip, strip. All this loot feels like setup, but yeah. Randy's always setting us up. Randy's always setting us up. Good marine armor, but tainted. Let's put on Zamana. They also, uh, we just married them, so it's not a big deal.
armor and jacket isn't terrible either. Yeah. So this one, let's double check. This guy, Jogger, Gay Night Owl. Um, they're pretty decent. I would take them. So. Jumper. Lazy, another chemical interest. Lazy kind of sucks. Ugly also isn't great. Uh, we can chain them to a research bench though. So maybe if we have enough food for them. Psychopath. Pessimist kind of sucks. Quick sleeper's good. They can fight. They can craft. They can research. Pessimist is really annoying, but in a run like this, I might have to just take them. Great memory nudist. They also can fight. Not really good at anything else. We might just steal some organs from them. Uh, we really need to get... Okay, that food is growing. Might have to extend food even further. Just do that smoke machine down there. Drug like call, you know. Even the bad ones are good as meat shields. Yeah, but I just gotta think, are we gonna have enough food to keep the bad ones alive long enough? Uh, sleeping. Yeah. Let him sleep. Let him sleep. Alright, we need to cut some more trees. So, I'm gonna... Let's see, we already have plant cutting on one on two different people. I want to bump mine up to a one temporarily as well. Drop the siege site? Good question. Good question. Almost forgot this uh, started as a siege. Got 15 meals. 12 high explosives. Transport pod crash. Holy crap, 466 steel. Linka. An optimist, ascetic bloodlust. 58s. So they're a little on the upper end, but they can fight, man. They can fight. Um, capture them. Capture them. If we can get them back in time. Eight hours. It's going to be kind of close how far away we are. But there's no, like, building down south. I might need to start making a little building down here sometime. They'll get destroyed a lot. Well, actually, we just do nothing but put walls there just to stabilize prisoners. It's kind of a long-term goal, I guess, though. Time for some nutrient paste, yeah. Actually got a lot of meals. Because they didn't put these in the zone, so... Zerk. Downed her. So, it's a mood by Mystery and Beer, Psychite Tea, Smoke Leaf, and some Ambrosia. <laughs> Hold her. Uh, all right. We gotta get some. Well, we're kind of queued up for it already. Tempted to take the smoke cloud out, but I think we're okay. I think we're all right. They will join like right away. They're they'll join in no time at all. We end up deleting that zone somehow. Uh, I see. I see. All right. Uh, we need to get this 
taken care of. We still have a lot of stuff set up to haul in. Steric has a chemical fascination, so they're doing some flake. Prison, season of feeding time, yeah. Yeah. We did just get all the um, components and steel from down there. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Derek, no. Yeah. Can't really stop him. He has a chemical fascination. Really would like to get a traitor. Really would like a traitor. Uh, any wood nearby that we can chop? I mean, we have all this set to chop out here, but they are taking their time. Spire creativity on Hytala. That's interesting. I tell, are you good at making anything? No, not really. Oh, where's that heavy SMG? Heavy SMG. So I'm gonna put that on you. You don't have to be a great shot to just unleash a bunch of SMG bullets, honestly. Okay. Super glue, what are you up to? You're still carrying crap around. And we need to leave that. We need to go open that door while I'm thinking of it before I forget about it again. So many people, yeah. More stools around the dining table, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to end up making a bigger table as well. Okay, they already joined. Uh, we need to get a bed for them. All right, let's get you a name. Next in the queue is Sim. There we go. Demon is in. We have Devil Strand growing up north, done. Well, you were kind of trying to survive, but we well, this entire area is set for Devil Strand. Two so rounds, just build more of them. Devil Strand. It's going to take forever, though. It's been a messy, messy trip to get to this part. I'll take care of it. I have marine armor now. You want to have a breakdown? I'll show you a breakdown. <laughs> All right. Finally. Oh, we do need a liver. Yeah, yeah. We need a liver on one of the ones that we don't want to join. Uh, which one was the worst one? There was one that we really didn't want. It was. Get out of the way. It was this one, right? Yeah. They weren't very good at all. So we can take their liver. So we need one for Hytala. The kid. The cult kid. Pace boys. Get your sporks. Uh, sporks. Not necessary. You can use a straw. Just use a straw. All right.
It's a young liver. It's a killer kid. Well, I mean, he can't live without the liver, so. Come on, hysteric. Oh, we should put him in the bed first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we got it anyway. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. We got some blocks. Yeah, we got some granite. We need to trade off this junk. So I can soothe on the females. Nice. Nice. Sim, you need a bed. Oh, you have a bed now. Okay, Sim, I need to set up your stuff. Uh, let's look at you again. Wow, you're getting a lot of stuff. Look at you. First thing you're going to get is a weapon. Okay. Uh, you can help with the wardening and construction. I might have you actually, you know what? If you have nothing else to do. No, I'm going to help. I'm going to have you help with uh, growing and stuff. You don't like it, but you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They're bloodlust, so we can wear tainted stuff on them as well. Uh, do we bring any of the tainted stuff in? Are people already wearing some of it? Hmm. Oh, we didn't have the... It was the mana, right? Tainted marine armor, plus one. So they're wearing two tainted things, and it's a minus eight. That's not a big deal. So Sim can wear any tainted stuff, and it's they're good to go. Uh, let me mark Sim off the list. All right. Oh, we should probably get that out of the prison. They're not, they're not going to like seeing their friend dead, probably. Probably. Okay. Is there nine? God, it's going to take a long time to get that done. I'm really tempted to go ahead and just take care of this so that our growing isn't slowed. Uh, is it daytime? Well, yeah, let's check. Let's see what the growth rate is during the day with the smoke spewer. Player, shooting guard, just got 16 steals. So. What kind of steel are shells? Um, uh, explosive, yeah, explosive shells. Still, ha we still haven't cleared all this out yet. Actually, let's hang on with a cloth until we get the other more important stuff brought up. Yeah, maybe we should take it out. It's making our stuff grow much slower. And it would be pretty easy to take it out too. I mean, there's only three pikemen. Yeah, there's wild, wild people sleeping down here. They have hypothermia, extreme hypothermia. What? It's bedtime. About 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and take it out. Um, shouldn't be an issue. In fact, we'll probably they'll probably all three die to the traps. Yeah, yeah, I have it set up to take them. 12 high explosive and 6 incendiary. Real tribute collector. Now's the time to pull it. Alright, let's do it.
Uh, do we not have any mortar shells left up here? We just have the ones... It might be loaded with them. Thank you, Veed. Why the crops aren't growing? Yeah, yeah. Part of the coal... Part of it is because it's lowering the temperature, and part of it because it's blocking some light. Okay. We got one more shot. Uh, if that doesn't wake him up, we'll have to go grab some of these mortars. Oh. Okay. Come on. Where are you guys going? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Empire Y. Now we're gonna waste some traps. You guys could've... Oh, we can sell some people to the Empire too. No, but I wanna keep those. That's gonna die of the traps, yeah. Thanks for nothing, Empire. Down in the siege, yeah. Should be something that helps mortar accuracy. There's a mod that makes it so that it takes into consideration a combination of your intellect and your uh, shooting skill, which I think is fair. And it works for enemies also. Yeah, we have a few backup traps, yeah. Not a lot. Uh, so who's coming down to get stuff? Pond scum? Which one are you getting? Let's get these. What's going on with this wild guy? Ah. Frostbite in his right fourth toe caused an infection. All right. Interesting. Transport pod. Mead. I'll take some mead. Let's see. Cycly hypersensitive transhumanist. Capable of violence. I changed my mind. I will. No mead for me, please. No mead for me. So many passives in this run, yeah. Passives and drug addicts. I'm, I'll get the traps back up as soon as we have wood. I just don't have wood. Share link. Sure, I saw. Oh, come on. Hippie colony. <laughs> just need a bunch of nudists now. A nearby settlement wants eight button-down shirts of normal plus quality. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. You just hang on a second. Come on, guy. I don't want to waste all these. I mean, now that it's woken up, I, I don't mind not taking out the turrets. Oh, and more spacecraft in the same spot as uh, last time. I mean, it'd be nice to have that power cell, but it's not the end of the world if we don't get it. Okay. Since someone with a shield belt, yeah. I just didn't want to take any risk at all. It's almost done. 
only one turret left. Hmm. So we can take it out from this side pretty easily. Even do it lowers the temperature and it lowers sunlight. So lower temperature, lower light. Reduce growing speed. shield belts. We gotta make sure no one's wearing one that has a gun. No. Okay. We're dying in the room. Yeah, because of hypothermia. God. That's why we need to take it out. I mean, I guess I can throw a heater in there really quick. Uh, we don't have any wood. I can't make a campfire. Oh, I didn't realize that we're that close. My bad. Well, at least those ones weren't super good ones, but yeah, it does suck. I didn't realize it because I was dealing with the mortar, uh, the mech. Oh, well. Well, we don't need as much food anymore. Got that going on. <laughs> this all die at once. But yeah, we have, like, no wood aside from what we just cut out here, but even that, we wouldn't have gotten there in time. It's all right. All right, we got Sim from it. That does suck though. Yeah, now we have the nutrient paste all to ourselves. Guys, it's just so long to get down here and get this. We really need some hauling animals. Really, really do. So Blue's grabbing that. Pond scum. Yeah, it's fine. Sim is fully healed. Right. Horses, they... Yeah, we don't have anyone that's really good at taming either, though. And horses take... Uh, they're advanced, but they take a long time to tame. I'm really wanting some donkeys. Well, I really want huskies, but... Yeah, our highest is five at the moment. Yeah, the temperature killed the wild people. That was going to have a breakdown again soon. How close is he to being done with this? We did get the liver from the one guy at least. Okay, we're starting to get wood back up, so super glue will be able to make uh, traps. Might leave some of this down here. I don't know if it's worth this grab. So I could sue this ending, which is not good. He was one off being able to carry all the meals. Yeah, just screw that. Just grab the rest of the steel. Let's go. Schedule, super glue. Uh, I don't want you to go out there anymore. You stay in the walls. I'm really tuned to just leave. I think, yeah, that's, that's what? Three trips? Two or three trips? I'll pick up and haul. <laughs> so many drugs that we need to sell. We don't even have room for them anymore. Do it to uh, get this done so I can shove all that crap in there. How's the grass going? Oh my god, we're at one anima grass. Yeah, you know what? 28, no. You can just stay up here. Alright, whoops. Clear the work zone. Okay, let's go ahead and just finish this off. We have six. We are 
basically out of rice. Okay. Ever use the caravanning hall or consider it too exploity? Uh, oh, or you like make a caravan and then cancel it in order to get like crap loads of stuff carried at once? Is that what you're talking about? If so, yeah, I don't use it. Do you grow anima grass? Never bothered with a tree yet? If you have someone with a, uh, a background that allows for natural meditation, they can meditate at the tree to grow anima grass. Uh, you have lots of people do it at the same time. And uh, more people, the higher the percentage of the, of the grass goes per... Well, the faster it goes, basically. But it grows anima grass, and then when you get to 20... First time, 20. Uh, you can use it to... Level up someone's side casting. Only needs one more hit. There we go. Go ahead and load that one. Hold fire. So smoke is over. I'll be able to go get these without the, uh, I mean that one turret there is fine. It might draw some fire, split a raid up. Pond scum. I thought I changed your mining. You have growing and plant cutting as one. What are you doing? Allow sewing. That's in the work zone. Why are you mining instead of growing? Not sure why he's not... It won't let me force them to either. Is it considered not the growing season because it was getting too cold? Weird. Skill level. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. Thank you. No, no, it's 15. They can definitely grow Devil Strand. Yeah, it must have been the temperature from dropping from the um, uh, the smoke. It's putting in a range where it was uh, below the growth temperature for for Devil Strand, and so they weren't sowing it. It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, so what's the blue up to? Making the wooden spikes finally. Finally. All right, three on research. Does kind of suck that uh, we lost those people, but none of them were super good. But it would have been nice to just have some more bodies. some up here they're gonna be coming in this way so the odds are they're gonna hit those steel traps on this side predominantly melee anyway Deer launcher. Do you have anyone else in crafting? Super glue. Sim could actually cut some blocks. What are they doing? Plant cutting. So we'll put that as a four on them. They have nothing else to do. Yeah, not yet. 
We don't even need that one now, really, with this, but I think I might as well have it. Definitely want to fix at least that one, though. Yeah, good catch. Uh, okay. We have, like, no blocks. No blocks. Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, and I need to do the bounty. So, um, let me set up the bounty, and then I'll use the restroom. I'll tell you guys what it's about. But basically, uh, the bounty is a segment of the stream that's sponsored through Twitch. Usually it's a game or a trailer or something like that. A lot of times through Amazon, actually. Specifically. And I just realized what time it was, and I have an hour bounty to do. So before we get raided again or anything like that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this and start the bounty. Uh, if you are only interested in RimWorlds, no worries. I will be back to RimWorld, of course. That's the main game right now. Uh, but we will be playing something else for an hour. If And uh, if you leave a lurk, if you leave a viewer account during that hour, it helps financially support the stream so I can stream RimWorld more often. Um, but yeah, it is our main game at the, at the moment. But I need to start the bounty before it gets any later. Go ahead and stop the recording. You do exclamation bounty for more information if you would like, but uh, that's pretty much it. It's a sponsored game for an hour, and the more people that watch, the higher our viewer number during that time, the more they pay out. It's one of the big ways, actually, that I'm able to keep streaming. So let me get it set up here. We used to have bounties all the time. We used to do one almost every night. But now we only get like once a, one a week. One a week. So it's a new game called Chicken Police. I have no idea what this is. What? We're going to find out. All right. I have switched over. Uh, so like I said, just in case, if you are going to leave, um, no hard feelings at all. If you stick around or if you leave a lurk, if you leave a viewer count number, it'll help financially support the stream. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, no worries, I will be live with more RimWorld on Monday. So I'm off Sunday, it's the only night I'm off. Uh, but more RimWorld, this exact same run, Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Chicken Police, yeah. Chicken Police, yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to use the restroom, and then uh, let's see what this game is about. Be right back.
All right, back, back. All right, so I've never played this game. I know nothing about it, but we're gonna try it out for an hour. Black one sugar, Nico. Uh, those of you that stuck around, thank you for that. Let me see if there's anything they wanted me to read about it before we start. Chicken Police is a fun mix between point and click adventure and visual novel. It's a fun take on the film noir theme. Please note that it features some mature themes like violence, explicit language. The game is not meant for children. If you already happen to own this game, feel free to give this key away. Uh, I did not own this game. All right. Uh, noir. All right. I'm going to turn uh, the mixer volume down because I don't know what the volume is going to be like when we open this. I've never opened it uh, on stream. Let's find out. We go ahead and start the recording. All right. Recording has begun. The intro screen looked pretty awesome, though. I'm excited about Run 16, though, on uh, Room Worlds. I'm kind of kind of sad that I can't stream on Sundays, so I want to I want to continue that run. All right. Let me know if it ends up being too loud, too quiet, etc. Man, it seems kind of loud for a for being on like twenty percent or something. What was your detective story? Um, do you have my resolution? What do you know? You have my resolution. Okay, let's go. Chicken police. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm getting old. My name is Sonny, Sonny Featherland, an investigator for 20 years and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. How's it going, Stasis? It's one serious looking chicken. It's very true, Conkin. Chicken police. Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. Retirement. Serious chicken is serious. What could possibly go wrong? Clawville City, Roark District, former Atlas Hotel. I thought Phelan was talking about him saying clucking. Not to you, Cogman. Oh, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building and perhaps the whole city itself. 
Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. So I had to give her a chance. The first womanly thing in his place. All right. What in the world? Uh, hang on, lady. I'm looking at some stuff. Books I'm never going to read. Maybe nobody ever has. Even, <laughs> yeah, even here, animals still go for the drugs. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Blood Boil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. Is there anyone uh, played Vampire the Masquerade? No, I've never played any of those. I got my wallet. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. That's right, grab that gun. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Thank goodness I got that. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. I don't even know what these papers are. <laughs> I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is going to stay there forever. Yeah. Just give up. The wild gentlemen. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was, burned to the ground. An owl, a wolf, maybe a cougar, perhaps a goat, I can't tell. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Yeah, maybe. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. Celebrity cops. <laughs> Look at this parrot woman. This is... Uh, <laughs> this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. Sad. So the time I came back, is it real? It is real, wizard. It's a bounty. Exclamation bounty would tell you more about what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, if you hang out or leave a viewer number in this, it'll help out. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it. Or what it had to do with shoes. <laughs> M.B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but... Yeah, I guess I'll so. I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. Um, so apparently, he got a thing with his parrot lady. Junior Bond, gotcha. Oh, I could have turned the lights on. That would have helped. All right. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid. But I think I'm going to end up dead in here, whether I like it or not. All right, let's see what uh, this lady has to say. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherman. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend hilarious. Uh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. <laughs> That's not what you're excited to come back to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. You never know, though. There's a lot of games that are really bizarre like this that end up being good games, good stories. Why, thanks, Lolek. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on Stasis. leave. <laughs> I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Look how classy she is. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I don't usually drink. The best stream? Alternate universe call of Cthulhu? <laughs> well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So... Maybe some sherry. She shaved her shoulders and everything. No, she shaved everything that we can see aside from her shoulders and up. 
so she shaved her chest for us if you insist but bourbon please look what we've done we've pushed our alcoholic agenda on this lovely deborah lady <laughs> thank the wild ancient world. teacher that's all i have please read stuff out the door the dad joke what a coincidence so come on spill it from the beginning down below i don't know i think we have some kind of uh strange minotaur type thing going on get a game how's it going tnt all right people places the codex statistics detective rank all right well we've liquored her up a little bit oh cheap whiskey every whiskey has the same color nowadays at least in this price range so how's it going ask jazz welcome in we can just look at her who is this dame anyway and what the cluck is she <laughs> doing in my apartment what the New cluck Year's Eve? that's better now if i understand correctly your mistress is receiving threats what kind of threats exactly john bobo welcome in furry lovers it's a very strange matter first there were letters then it came printed on a wine bottle's label sent as a gift then carved into a brick dun, dun, dun. through the window and finally they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters i think it's time to dig a little deeper if you don't mind i'd like to ask you some routine questions zootopia noir <laughs> willis watson please oh. that's why i'm here uh new function questioning unlocked okay Focus on what you know about the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. <clears throat> it's black and white. It's a good question. John Doe. This fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. He is suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? Sound bite of you saying something? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought about that one. What did you have in mind, Coggin? Gather impressions from the suspect. Every impression adds a new question line. New impression, question one, two, three, four. So many options. Detective meter is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? Blah, blah, blah. I like that. Plus 100. I must be cautious and <clears throat> smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. No innuendo there at all. So that have us up laughing. <laughs> what exactly are you? Or no, okay, excuse me. Who exactly are you? My bad. Who exactly are you, ma'am? <laughs> I'm... I'm not somebody important, Mr. Beverland. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter. You're in love right? with this game? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You're not telling me something. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. What do you mean? Uh, so we can say, tell me which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe? You're not very confident. Are you sure you're all right? She's shy, huh? Ah, she's all right. You're not very confident. In favor of their boss, Are maybe? You sure you're all right. Yes. Excuse me. I'm just a bit nervous. 
I've never done anything like this before. First time for everything. Breaking into the apartments of strangers isn't that big a deal. Some people do it as a hobby. Please don't make fun of me, Mr. Featherland. This is hard for me as it is. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't want him to say that. Did you come alone all by yourself or tell me what's your star sign, sweetheart? <laughs> I have to go with this one. I have to know what it says. Uh, this is not the one that I should go to, I don't think. For a positive, but I have to do it. I have to know what, <laughs> what happens here. Tell me, what's your star sign, sweetheart? Oh, my lord. My what? My star sign? I don't see how that's relevant. Lady, I am a chicken and I just downed a bunch of whiskey. I like to be unpredictable sometimes. It's an old detective thing. Just answer the question, I don't know what please. I'm saying. You'll understand everything in time. All right. The dancer. The, the dancer? Is the dancer. The dancer. Huh. I see. Thank you. This could be useful later on. You want Granny to say what? Okay. Coggin has used channel points uh, for me to say. It's like my dear old granny used to say. What the cluck? Thank you, Coggin. Fuck yeah. If you say so. What the cluck indeed. We got a minus 10. <laughs> Why did you have to visit me on this particular evening? Stop playing the fright and pray, sunshine. Start singing. No, we'll, we'll go. Boo. Why did you have to <laughs> visit can... me this particular <laughs> evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. It's really interesting figures. How's it going, Robert? Cluck, cluck, cluck. You know what? I need to put on my I chicken costume. that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant to For anyone that doesn't know, during October, we do uh, 13 days of horror streams, and I wear a chicken costume. So this game's hitting pretty close to home. Maybe actually I have plus 10. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? Were you born and raised in Clawville? Do you even know what you want? Let's ask about her employer. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? Employer. My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. Katsenko, huh? How so? Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. I don't like you talking directly to me, Sonny. All right, stop breaking the fourth wall. Sure, it's not intentional, but are you toying with me? What exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? How did you get this address? What do you want from me? All right, let's ask her what she wants for me. What do you want from me? Me? Oh, don't be silly, Deborah. I mean your employer. I was just talking to myself out loud. Well, Miss Katsenko thinks you're a great detective. And Rip you're also reliable. In this world. That's why I came. It's true. That's really sad. If you want to eat any kind of animal, you can only really eat the head. <laughs> Did she also give you the lockpick? Please. Could you let this go? I'm Got a really feeling I'd be a vegetarian in this world. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm just teasing you. As soon as I saw you, you were forgiven. That's... that's very nice of you. It has nothing to do with being nice, Deborah, but you're welcome. Oh, plus 20. <clears throat> Alcoholic. <clears throat> you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Have you ever have felt truly vulnerable? Kind of thing is that to ask, and she's also a prey animal, which we've kind of hit on a little bit. All right, go with this one. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino, I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll 
take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to <laughs> understand Cyphus. each other. You'd be a straight cannibal. <laughs> If you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Yeah, why should I believe you? Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? It just came out. Because my mistress trusts you. I mean, it's in <clears throat> it's interesting. I, I like mystery games in general. And the voiceovers are done really well so far. We've only had two voiced characters, but... Uh, every character we've ran into has been voiced completely. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. Link this and the other. Oh, yeah, you did. That's where I saw it. Thank you, Ibex. I knew I had seen this name. You have a You're the one that words, did it. That's right. Not. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. You think they gave me this bounty because of the because of the chicken costume? It's a minnow deer, yeah. How's it going, Tax? No, I still haven't played Wolf Among Us. No. It's been on my to playlist for years and years. I've heard that it's really, really good though. It was me. The scene was when you were out hunting, stumbled upon a fawn chowing down bug corpse. Ugh. Be honest and tell me what you're afraid of. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart. <gasps> no, Wessler. not Hobart There's Wessler. No people know him. Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Mm. Exactly. He's a is he a weasel or a rat? Feathery gods, help me. <laughs> Feathery gods. So you get it. Wessler. Now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. Similar vibes, Wolf Mungus. This piece of the puzzle changes everything. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the Telltale games, well, what happened to them, but... Yeah, yeah, I've heard really good things about it. Let's see if here. Oh, I'm a true detective! This reminds me of, like, when uh, you play the uh, Lego games. Uh, like the Star Wars one, and you get true Jedi if you get enough pieces of Lego. Focus accuracy, 90%. I guess we lost that 10 when I, like, came on to her with her star sign, but... The legendary chicken police back in action. Still a bit wary, but untarnished. Important clue. Employer Natasha's current significant other in the infamous gangster... Er, is the infamous gangster Ibn Wessler. There's a Netflix Wolf Among Us? I uh, don't know. Video game series, I don't know. You summon the devil. <laughs> Cognitive is your channel voice to summon the devil. Feathery gods, help me! Help me, feathery gods, help me. I'm not sure the devil would be saying that. Maybe he's in charge of the feathery gods. <laughs> Thank you, Cogan. Uh. So we can speak to her Why again. Take it to the police. Oh, okay. Just go there and file a report. Photos, oh, true detective. Lights, My bad. Fingerprints. I thought you were talking about Wolf drill. Among Us. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily. What? Their phone pizza. numbers are only six digits. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. I'm gonna dial that. Well, okay. Let's see. What are you trying to show me, lady? Oh, we have a bag. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Katsukaddle? Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. <laughs> uh, we got like a rhino and a pigeon and maybe like two otters at the Sar Club. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? Good feathery gods. I glanced at the opposite wall. 
with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternal dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Oh Why no. Now? Molly, the parrot from the picture. Fuck. I'm just two seasons from retirement. Two seasons from retirement. Mr. That's how it always happens. Whoa. <laughs> All she does is say her name. What are we doing here? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. Body language is good. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. <gasps> blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club, especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure he's, to meet he's you. He's not stopped pointing at her this I mean, whole time. Sunny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sunny. We have a friend that's a bunny. Nice. Nice. We had a lot of stuff to look at. Let's check this out. Clues. The victim, a lady, is the target of some strange threats. All of them are written. The mysterious messenger, Miss Deborah Ibanez, employer is a certain Miss Natasha Katzenko. The employer, Natasha's current significant other, is the infamous gangster, Ibn Wessler. I'll find Natasha at the Sar Club. Natasha must know my wife, Molly, from somewhere. Perhaps she has very good informants. I must find out what the connection is. So we've learned about Deborah. I'm not gonna go through all these. Natasha, this is the person I know. Lewis. All right. You're still here? Thank you again, Mr. Feather. I Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Thought so. Okay. Very interactive with everything else, right? Not the phone. Lewis's number is 555-932. Not rotary phone. Oh, we actually have to wait for it to get around like a real rotary phone. Oh, I should see if we can drink again, yeah. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? No, not at all. Of course not, Freddy. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask. hear this guy. Busy. You like the rotary phones? For you, anything. Just a bit. Definitely remember using them at my grandmother's house when I was a kid. What was that other number? It was mine, right? 555-111. Wasn't that my number? Whose number was it? Bravo PD, how can I help you? Oh, that was the police, that's right. It actually worked though. Yeah, it's the police. Uh, nothing, uh, forget it. I'm glad they uh, <laughs> let you do little things Lewis like that. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. 
Not to mention that he's a rabbit. That was your dial rate, remember? We try that too. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Well, it's me and the rabbit. Hang on, Lewis. I'm just going to hit some numbers on the phone. Just to see what happens. Let's go 555. Five, five. Three, two, one. It's ringing. Yeah, the voice acting is good. Yeah. No answer. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes. Pizza. <laughs> That'd be pretty cigarette cool. butts. I wonder if there is any kind of like Easter egg in it. You know. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ivanes home? I have some things to take care of. Sonny, do you know anything for you? Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Until Deborah. next time. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. <gasps> Another My chicken? Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. To the police station, huh? Anything else that Lewis will say to us? I can always count on you. D -d 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 don't even mention it, my friend. Why are rabbits always stuttering? You got these? anything planned for today? I thought I'd visit a nightclub. It's New Year's Eve, after all. He's going to be a busy little bunny. Well, I didn't mean to hold you up. I'll... I Ask a favor of you someday. <laughs> I owe you a lot of those, don't I? That, 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 that's true. I, I, I don't deny it. Murky brown swill. I should improve my standards. Could I ask you a few more questions, Deborah? Oh, I can talk to her some Feel free, Sonny. Mm. <clears throat> so now we have a new function, ask. Uh, we can ask about any of these things. So we can ask about the hotel. You think my whereabouts aren't a secret? Do you think they ever were? Well, I was hoping. Clawville is a big city, but not so big that Santino Feather can hide is. in it. Oh, please, flatter me more. If anyone wants to check, like, on howlongtobeat.com, I'm kind of curious. Whiskey is cheap on the table. Brown swill. I've already told you more about myself than I wanted to. Like your sign is the dancer. Afraid you'll get your hands dirty. I'm afraid I already did. All right, let's ask about Hobart's. So, the gangster Ibn Wessler, eh? You know you could have dropped the bomb a little earlier. If I started with that, I'm sure he would have thrown me out. You're right. He's one of the most dangerous gangsters in the city. I only know he's an influential businessman. Isn't that the same? Not even you can see the world as that black and white. Seven hours, the main story, 11 with extras. Hmm, that's not too bad. Sonny, I've already told you what I know. I've never read the message. My job was to give it to you and nothing more. You really are this innocent, aren't you? I'm not sure I get what you mean. Let me give you some advice, sister. Leave the city and get as far as you can from the likes of Ibn Wessler. I work at school? It's not so yeah. simple, Mr. Featherland. They My mistress needs me. They definitely hit that noir feel. Is she really that important to you? That you drive around in the dead of night to questionable places to deliver messages you know absolutely nothing about? I would do more than that for her. I see. I should uh, change my camera to black and white. Real smooth. Thank you, Mr. Featherland. Sunny, please. Just Sunny. Yeah, I already told you once, lady. All right, let's ask about her mistress. So this Natasha, Dame. Natasha. Look, I'm just the messenger. 
You have to talk to my mistress about the details. Miss Katsenko was very clear on this matter. Are you guys like me? And if there are subtitles on something, even if you can hear them very plainly and you know exactly what they're saying, you always watch the subtitles. I do the same thing. My wife puts subtitles on Netflix for everything that she watches, not because she's hard of hearing or anything like that. I don't know. She just has them on. But anytime I watch something with her on Netflix and she has them on, I just watch the subtitles. I don't actually see the show. Hard not to, yeah. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> I see, but... Now I'm going to watch the chicken and the deer. It's like a read a book, yeah. Please, Sonny, let's not make this even more uncomfortable. I lasted about two seconds, and I looked right back at the words. Okay, understood. Too much anime, always it. reading the subtitles. Thank you. All right. Can't ask him anything. I don't see colors anymore. Only emptiness. Move subtitles. You do too, German. Let's go, German. I need another drink. Uh, do we look at everything? I think we did. Okay. Scene types. Main scenes. Main scenes move the story forward. These scenes also determine which locations open up or close down. You need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. Limited scenes. Limited scenes are open for a specific duration, which is determined by the main story progression. If you are a completionist, be sure to visit all of them before you move to the next main scene. Close. Close scenes cannot be reached for the time being. These are this state will often change throughout the story progression and can be temporarily or permanent. Top tip. Pick the next main scene if you're absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited scenes anymore. You may not be able to visit them later. Can you drink it? I don't know. I mean, each time we clicked on it, he didn't. He just talked about it, but. So at the moment, we can only go to the primary primary quest place. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. What's your native language? Every see? day was the same. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but yeah, our that's what I was thinking, yeah. While others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who hates me. But I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. No matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? Whoa there. Chapter 1, Detour. Sin City vibes, yeah. Some real strong Sim, Sin City. Not Sim City. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived a night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. All right, let me check the timer on the bounce here real quick. Uh, we got 20 minutes left, so. Phyllis. The producer's name came up. Oh, when it was going through their credits? I'm not sure. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the names that much. Probably though. Phyllis and Roy's. 
Two hedgehogs with an arrogance typical of novice cops. They're as prickly as they look. Officious little shitheads, but harmless. Wow. Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny. It's not the voice I expected, I don't know. I heard the big boss threw you out. Hungarian, gotcha. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. Hey, you don't have to be so peckish, old bird. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. Malloy is in charge. Malloy. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. <laughs> If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range, <laughs> as always. <laughs> Their raincoats are just filled with holes. <laughs> yeah, raincoat full of holes. I don't think this is doing anything for you, Phyllis. Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? Back in the day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but... It used to have its advantages. This game's pretty entertaining so far. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what they're supposed to do, right? This looks really familiar. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive aggressive game for us with the Chief. For the crown, for the king. Hang on. My wife just messaged me. She said, I'm unable to use the chat on the phone right now, but WTF am I seeing? <laughs> uh, mod wife, lady, you are seeing a noir game of People with animal heads, pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of games you watch play on here. It's top five of awesome. <laughs> Bullet holes. This happened when that old bloodhound, Blood Boil, was promoted to chief of pretty police. Much. Wow. Oh, Did police you miss me. No. Same here. Okay, let's go in. Here we are again. Yeah, we got about 15 minutes left at the department. bounty. If you're wondering. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, <clears> the place holds the secrets of the ages and some drunk pigs in the basement. There's so many things to look at. Um, all right, Monica. The chicken cults. Monica Rosen. Receptionist in theory, but in reality, she's doing literally everything around here. Like the beating heart of the PD. She's too good for this place. Even for this city. It's a lizard guy. Mort. Hey, Monica. She's a hummingbird? <laughs> I mean swine or other police that's a good point i didn't think about that yeah so when he's when he says pigs is he talking or swine is he, is he talking about actual like animals that are pigs or is he referring to i mean he's a policeman too but yeah i don't know hey boss bird what are you doing here shouldn't you be <laughs> celebrating somewhere those glasses are doing you no good, Monica. Your eyes are on the side of your head. Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? 
You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Big Beak McChicken. Like always, I can go for a McChicken. And if he carries on like that, he's going to use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. The animation 17 steps past the uncanny line. Yeah, we're beyond uncanny valley. Thank you, darling. Chicken with extra beats. Don't mention it, boss bird. Boss bird? I like the sound of that. You guys start calling me boss bird as well. Not you guys. Please don't start calling me boss bird. I should be careful what I say when I play games. Bell of the Panther. Ooh. Chicken police novel. Oh no, Stasis. No, snapshot. <laughs> no. Oh no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll be, I'll be right back. Stay, stay right there. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm getting real into this game. I'm getting real into it. This is my life now. Thank you for calling me Boss Bird. I have become the Boss Bird. <laughs> All right. Mr. Boss Bird, just Boss Bird, please. <laughs> I just happen to have this over there. I just happen to have it. Strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. All right, let's talk to Mort. Mort, you scabious beast. What the hell did you do? He's got a beard. I'm no biologist, but I'm not so sure that lizards can have beards. You better get extra money for this. <laughs> Someone, quick, send this to the developers. Scary. With the game and post it on their social media. <laughs> yeah, I should, yeah. It's more tea to you, sunny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bearded lizard. Someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> Dude, George, welcome in. Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sunny boy, go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's <laughs> Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. So he have his... He has his shirt tucked into, like, some... Sweatpants? Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still <laughs> sniffing around you? He has no ears to hold his glasses on. We need a full playthrough of this game now. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to see more of it, let's let me know. We can squeeze it in at the end of some streams. Uh, 
Jeff is a good boy, Fanny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? It's become a 12 hour bouncy. <laughs> oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sunny, I have no one else. Do you understand that? Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, Sunny boy. I really am. Are you? He may, yeah, he might just be. Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. I don't talk to that insane owl. Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Buffalo. Buffalo. Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sunny boy, <laughs> you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Clucking pigeon. Oh, excuse me. Pigeon. In this, in this world, clucking is a bad word. Done. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good night. New person. Bosco. All right. Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha. Clucking cluckers. Nah, he's just a lap dog. A lap dog? <laughs> Wait, in this world? I don't I have all kinds of questions. Like if you scratch him behind the ear, will his legs start twitching? He's a lap dog? Does it mean like literally lap dog? Like like or figuratively or literally? Will this guy curl up in my lap? Holy wild one. Look what the cat dragged <clears throat> in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I totally new meaning. <laughs> as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? <laughs> still? Did you not see me get this? My wife just came in the room, had no idea I was in this chicken costume, and she crept in really, really slowly, like, what the crap? No. Uh, I said something about, call me Boss Bird or something. I was like, no, 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 I was talking about the game. And then, like, 10 people in chat started calling me Boss Bird. And I was like, well, fine. And then I went and put this on, came back, turned myself black and white. She seems really confused. <laughs> I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant you start calling to me, me as it is to you. What? Thanks. Thanks. She did it. All right, all right. No you feel for my wife? Don't, don't be mean. You. you have Moses and Plato for that. <clears throat> of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. All right. Turn people. Your mom used to have a dog that looked like that. Dog with a tattoo. 
Also, his fur was all the way, like, almost down to his uh, wrists. Are you putting the cat on in black and white? <clears throat> you guys want to see Aries in black and white? Aries, who do you see? Come here. This way. Closer to the camera, Aries. It's a black and white cat. You can be in this game, Aries. You just need to learn English, okay? You look tired. <clears throat> What's the mountain lion's name? Officer Jardine. Officer Barkman. <laughs> no. That's a creative One name. Blood Boyle's favorite. It's Mainly Kitty Noir. He's a dog, of course. He looks tired. One of Blood Boyle's favorites. Mainly because he's a dog. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. Kitty. Noir Kitty. All right. Looks like we're going down to the shooting range. We get to see our, our partner. This is going to be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand, and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. For a second, I was like, why is the game so much quieter? Then I realized there's chicken between my ears and my headphones now. Do you say don't be a chicken this game, or is it discrimination? Well, we did tell that porcupine guy or whatever that he was being racist, so I think that is racist in this game. Don't be a chicken is racist. It's another noir cat. This time it's Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't like being held. She might jump on me. Uh, what is this poster? <laughs> Keep your gun clean, Mr. Lawman. Long thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. What does it say? Hey, you. If you let the ammunition boxes or you leave the ammunition boxes open again i'll kick your clucking butt kick your clucking butt assuming disbelief uh, she's used to it her favorite games to watch the that cat are horror games for some reason we don't know why it's a little disturbing so she's used to the chicken suit left watching room world came back to this uh we're doing a bounty exclamation bounty uh d don't ask why i'm in a chicken suit in black and white that was completely by accident. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a sponsored segment of the stream to try out this game. What? Oh, the guns have names. We got Big Bertha the second. Her Majesty Big Bertha. Or rather, Big Bertha two, because there was one before her. A sawed-off little broad, but we lost her in a swamp. Marty cried for a week. But once he saw this giant lady here, the balance of the universe was restored. Yeah, but Bounty is, uh, like I said, a sponsored segment of the stream. A gun named Linda. I believe this piece is forbidden. Cops can't use it, but this is Marty's personal collection, so it doesn't matter. At least nobody has <clears throat> ever complained. Is Linda a Tommy gun? Claudia. Claudia. Tiny, dark, and angry, and hits you where it hurts the most. I know her well. Susie. Marty calls her Susie, and I have to say, this little she-devil pulled us out of many tough situations over the years. All right, Marty. Let's talk. Oh. I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice... Maybe turn on the lights first. Yeah, it's fine if she wants to see him. You're right. I'm gonna do that. Oh, we can actually do some shooting practice? Oh! I still remember her kiss. What can I say? It's the experience of a lifetime. Linda. Or maybe Layla. Alright, let's do it. Shoot the dark debuff. <laughs> It's gonna be like good guys I'm not supposed to shoot. Oh, there was. I literally shot the good guy in the head right after I said that.
Oh my god. I keep forgetting I have to reload. Oh, they're coming up fast now. No, I shot the good guy. I shot the I shot the parent. All right, one more time. I didn't even beat Plato. Holy crap! Make sure I reload here. Not shoot parents. I mean, they should be parents too. We don't know. Lady, move. I didn't know there was going to be an action element in the game. Why does this business elephant keep popping up, huh? What is he doing out here? Yeah, yeah this will always remind me of Men in Black. Where he shoots the little girl. And then he tries to explain to the guy. <laughs> that she shouldn't be out there in the hood at this time of night. Other people belonged out there. So it resets the timer or something when I hit some of these? Must. Achievement unlocked. Oh, I got second. It's a raccoon. I wonder what happens if you beat him. If I hadn't hit that one elephant, but all right. Marty looks good. Big and loud. And there was a time in the movie when I killed always. good guys. No, 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 no. Go back. Hey, Marty. Sorry, back touch. Use this boss bird as a seed in RimWorld. <laughs> nah. That'd be awesome if you got like extra chickens. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. Why, Are hello. You lost? This is the PD building, you know. Got this shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on. Let's forget that. What's past is past. Uh, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Jeez, man. Well, it's a start. Okay, Let's... I've said it. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's... That's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? <laughs> Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? <sighs> all right, Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. Marty's wanting to shoot some people. All right. I think we are done with the bounty. So I'll wrap it up here. But if you want to see the rest of the game or at least some more of it, we can finish it off in the streams or something like that. Just let me know. Um, like in the Discord or something. All right. It's pretty interesting, though. The Trigger Happy Chicken. So for anyone uh, interested in it, the game just came out less than a month ago. So pick it up. It looks like it's between 10 and 15 hours. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of chicken sin city stuff. It, I mean, it was pretty good what we played of it. It was funny. 
interesting enough, and uh, the voiceover is good, which is a big thing. A lot of games like this don't have good voiceover, and that just ruins it. But a good voiceover can push things over the top. All right, let me start the recording here. Yeah, no. Stream tomorrow? No, I don't stream on Sundays. It's my one, my one day off. My one day off. All right, let me end tracking on the bounty. For those of you that stuck around uh, throughout that game, it helped me pay one of my bills through that bounty. Very appreciated. Like I said, it doesn't pay a ton, but that was enough to pay a bill. I'm not allowed to say how much. Let's just say it paid the water bill for the month, uh, which is very, like I said, very helpful. All right. That's it for me. I'm going to get out of this chicken suit. I'm still black and white. Okay. All right. Let's go on turtles. Welcome in. My wife favorite the 10 bits. Boss bird. Yeah, thanks, Night Spark. All right, guys. Thank you for bringing it out. It's very much appreciated. Uh, thank you for an awesome stream week. I'll be live again with more RimWorld on Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. More RimWorld will continue our challenge. Colony 16 is alive. We're actually up to, what, five or six pawns? Uh, we got we got mortars up just in time for the sieges, which is awesome. I was really worried about that. Um, now, the main thing I'm worried about is getting that backside set up for sappers and then trying to push our research and our wealth. Uh, but it looks okay at the moment. But you never know. You never know. So, anyway, that'll happen 9 p.m. Eastern Time Monday. Have a good night. Hopefully I'll see you all then. Uh, have a good Sunday. And if you are a subscriber or if you're a patron or excuse me, patron on Patreon, uh, either of those two things, you can join movie night uh, tomorrow. I don't know why this is not showing all the followers and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, you can join movie night if you'd like, which is Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time as well. Uh, all the information for that is in Discord. So again, Discord is free for everyone. You don't have to be a sub for that. But for movie night, you have to be a sub or a patron. So check that out if you'd like. Cast, thank you for hanging out and uh, using all your points on that giveaway, by the way. I know I already thanked you, but... All right, guys. Thanks again. Have a good night. See you Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time.